Hello. There's been much, Shinchi. It's time for more Dark Souls 3. Just gotta keep going through every handle. Mm, got our funny music, cause we got the eyes of a firekeeper last time. So this is where we got to- Oh! Hajime Mashtenshi! Good evening to you! Thanks for popping in, and sorry for being a little bit late. I... Presume it's pretty late for you right now, so... Sorry that I had to make you wait even longer, but I'm chilling out here in Ariandel, and I'm wondering whether I'd like to go to the chapel? Or the other path down here first? Something ahead, because that would be... The Corvian Settlement, I believe, and I'm trying to figure out how best to progress through. So I've got a pretty standard... Oh, nice! So has anything... What kind of developments have happened since? Because I know last time you were talking about how... There was the Druid, you were the Storm Cleric slash Cavalier, and... He said it was a dragonborn war bard who was new and had joined. Okay, so this up here, the Ariandel Chapel, I believe, and back over there is the entrance to the painted world with that Millwood Tower, and down there, I believe, that's the depths of the painting? Not entirely sure. A lot of that over there seems to just be sample terrain with nothing real, no real substance to it. Okay, let me see. I wonder if the painting gal is going to be over here. I'm not entirely sure. Let me just continue onward and... Oh, we got you. Is this a Corbian or a... What is your deal? I... Some kind of Merkman or... Not entirely sure. Well, may as well just obliterate them for a bit of extra souls and to ensure that they don't oh ambush me from behind unfortunate possibility Epirus where to the capital to try to get more people to fight and help you out in the war so does it look like it's gonna be all that successful or we can't open this up right no we can open this I wonder if Sir Wilhelm is gonna say anything now that we open this up kind of inadvertently. I was hoping to... Okay. Hello, friend. Your lady Yuri is Lord of Honor. Oh, he's commenting on that. And yet, you slipped into the In fact, he knows because of Sable Church stuff. If you've lost your way, the words of Lady Frida will guide you. I guess we'll fight her. Now, go on inside. So it's good that we waited a bit. And listen carefully. Here we go. What's keeping you? Go on, Go right, on. S right inside. Hello. Show respect, and let Lady Frida speak to you. It is interesting that he hasn't What's given us his show? name, and we will have to fight him eventually. Hold him right by him. Makes sense. I guess that would imply he was from Londor. What's interesting is that his item set was actually cut content from the base game. I think it was called the Grave Knight set or something. Oh, interesting. So what's with this lever? I think we can get him to briefly unload. Some do a weird sort of position. And detour required ahead. Is that actually a door? Can anything be done there? Huh. Is it a door that does not open from one side, or is it even a door at all? And I don't believe we can actually attack her here. Okay, and there's a ladder up there. So there's the path to the Corvian settlement, and the path, the ladder up there, and maybe the door around that way. No comment. Critical foe ahead yet, because it's her. Welcome to the painted world of Ariando. Thank you, happy to be I here. I beside our so the for one, the ones outside. The rest of the forlorn. But mm. forlorn, thou seemest not. I'm just chilling. Lord of Hollows. Ah, yep, calling me Lord of Hollows. Interesting. Yeah, just go away. And kill Soul Cinder and end the game and don't do the DLC. Return. 
from whence thou camest. No, thank you. I presume it visible to thee. Let's teleport there. On the fire here in this room. A meek and faded thing. It started Thessaly. Nonetheless. So, do you think they'll need some sort of coaxing to really get involved, or just to know, do they just not know about it? Oh, yes. Yep. No shoots by rights possess. What are you gonna give me? A remembrance of this Remember, cold world. Great ward of Londor. Interesting. May it help thee bear thy duty. Moscow, sir. Oh, a chill by rain. Return from whence thou I wonder gates. if we have to be to place Lord of Hollis world. to get that. And that alone is cause to rejoice. Interesting. Now, well, sadly, you're a relevant boss fight, and I can't just let that stand. If you're killable, well, actually, I wonder what would happen if we attacked her in her NPC form. I don't imagine it would instantly start the boss fight against Ariandel and Frida, but... Okay. Over here is, uh, the Gale's Lady, and her painting are over here. We can come back and give her the Blood of the Dark Soul much, much later. Let me see. Charmer ahead. She's not here right now. Can't break that. There's nothing on there. Interesting. Let's just draw back down. That would be... I might have been able to live that fall, but I'm not sure. Twin Realms. So are they just called the Twin Realms, or do they have a separate name beyond that? Okay, you know what? We're going back through. We may as well beat these guns up as well. Another time. I guess the real question would be, if we just hit you once, would you get up, and what would you do? Oh! Okay, they are Corvians. They're just entirely passive until you hit them once. And then they do their real attack, and they've even got daggers. <coughs> ah. Crete and Rhodes. Okay. That is interesting, because... I wonder just how much history is in there, because... Were they ever called that in real life? I'm genuinely curious, because I don't know much about Crete and Rhodes specifically. So it wouldn't surprise me if they had some sort of political relationship in the real world. But I just don't know. What I do know, the one thing I... Oh, okay, okay. Well, what I mean is that... Were they ever called something like that in real life? Referred to as a sort of twin realm or twin kingdom? I wonder what kind of changes your DM made via V. Oh my goodness, bit of lag. The real world. But, as I was saying... One of the things I do know about Crete is that the Mycenaean civilization in Crete predates ancient Greece and has some of the oldest examples of written language in the world. Oh, okay, so it's very, very Lord of the Rings. I see that, I see. So, down over here, I believe, is the Corvian settlement. Around here, we got another item. And that, large little bit unknown traveler, I think that's the depths of the painting. I'm not sure how I'm going to get there, and that I think might be where Vivid Pyromancer Dunnell is. I know there are going to be some other invasions later. That's where we came from, that was a one-way slope, you had to slide down. Hmm, I hear somebody or something coming. Let me see. I should put... Play mark back on here, in case someone or something shows up. And where and what is... Okay, something should be lock onable. These are just random Corbians, are they? There are Titanite Wizards somewhere in... Oh, hello! Interesting. And it took time for you to be available to actually hit or anything, and... Okay, so you're basically... The crawling corpses from Bloodborne, it seems, and for whatever reason, some of you spit poison? Well, that's certainly something. And we also seem to have some of the... Sen is that one of the centipede monsters from... It is! It's one of the centipede monsters from Irithal. Worker raiding parties, demon... Oh! I... I didn't even think about it, but... 
This setting has non-human sentient races too. I guess I should have known, but I kind of assumed that there would be, and of course they dropped poo. That it'd just be humans because of the whole ancient Greece thing. That's interesting. So you might have said it already, but are the orcs specifically sort of the Persian stand-in in the setting? Orcs, elves, dwarves, gorgons. Wait, wait, so... As in, a Gorgon is in... From Greek mythology? Because I know that in... Okay, and... The fire E is making the difference between a one-hit kill and a two-hit kill. That set a full combo would still kill either way. I know that in base D&D, the name Gorgon refers specifically to... Sort of a mechanical bull-like monster for whatever reason. And they call actual Greek Gorgons Medusas. So, is your DM using this sort of D&D &D definition or the Greek mythology definition? Okay, good. That never sat right with me. It always just really weirded me out that for whatever reason... And it's about 60 damage added functionally. That's really good, actually. Let's keep on going, keep hitting these guys. Very, very good damage. Budding green blossoms, and I think those might only come from the painted world. Okay, so there's something on top of that little... Maybe not island, that might not be the right term, but I'm gonna have to jump off from the upper layer. And, oh, who is... Okay, you're right here. Thank you, thank you. I gotta say, fire mazes, fire hammers, are just an incredibly inspired weapon concept. I use the... Boom hammer a lot during my Bloodborne playthrough, even if it wasn't really strictly the best option I had most of the time. I had a lot of fun with it. Oh, it's this Corvian with the crow quills. Okay, and just swing and okay, a little bit more. Thank you. Are you gonna drop the crow quills or no? Just so arch titanite shards. So I guess they were just some sort of mini-boss assassin enemy. Okay, alright. Swing the hammers, and Lord Soul of an Unknown Traveler. Okay, flame mark's gone. I better reapply it. Question is, how am I... Okay, there's a ladder over there. Question was, how was I gonna get on top and get to that ladder and that jump, drop down, and similar things. It's complicated here. How do I want to do with this? Uh-huh. Allow me to... Okay, an ember. That might be useful if I want to use it for a boss fight. I think... Uh, this should be the place. So we can... Wait, were you... Oh, no! Okay, you're a... You talk. It's a good thing we didn't instantly kill you. I am Ash. Finally, you've come to burn things. Fire for Ariandel. Of death? Yep, exactly. Destroy everything. It's insane. And is that the painting girl or Frida? Actually, no, not fire that you seek. Hmm. Oh, interesting. So do they not have Grumsh or a sort of god of the setting like they did before? Oh, hi, Kozu. How are you doing? Oh, goodness. That afflicts our world. So Elfrida fooled and buried the flame. But why did Elfrida choose rot over flame? Grant us one wish. True, and burn this world away. See, flame have only to show her. Please receive, timidly rotting away, fools on the outside. Okay, okay, and don't worry about it. So, in that case, if the, if the orcs are a godless race, that would mean they don't really have a sort of evil nature. I, I always do find it interesting that, at least in base D&D, &D, orcs are kind of an inherently evil race that has an 
sort of an independent ontological existence. Interesting. Well, I mean, aren't they all? Aren't they all in a certain sense? Because what's very, very interesting is that it can be easy to see sort of base D&D's idea as orcs as inherently evil as sort of taken from a sort of crude sort of Western Abrahamic cosmology or maybe just from Tolkien, but in Tolkien... You know, orcs arguably aren't even really a race, they're just sort of a depraved state of elves. To the extent that they are inherently evil, it's because they're the form that elves who have chosen evil or been corrupted to be evil have be the state that they take. But Gygax, with his, you know, inherently evil orcs thing, that's something beyond Tolkien. That's something Gygax came up with, and it's not even really a Western Abrahamic thing. So we go in something like Milton's Paradise Lost, you know, all the demons are inherently fallen angels. Is that the sort of... The idea that nothing is depraved by nature, and that evil is always something that's just... something you choose to do, is kind of important for the philosophy. It, it is very, very interesting, and it's pretty different than a lot of people would probably instinctually take it. Okay, but being able to one-shot things is very, very useful, I will say. It's... I know that it's kind of beating a dead horse, but it does... does not open from the side. I wonder if we could break it down. Yeah, ex exactly. Freed from there. Yeah, and it... I think just... It might be getting too into the weeds, but philosophically it's sort of... If there's something where, quote-unquote, evil is its good, it raises the question of what evil is to begin with. You know, it's sort of the difference between, you know, is anybody or anything inherently evil, or is, you know, assuming you have a belief in objective evil, or is, or is evil always, you know, mistakenness, foolishness? Can evil really be anything's true good? I don't know. Maybe I care too much about these questions. Okay, so we ran into so the ember over there, that one dropped down on that island, two doors that didn't open from the side, something about a detour. It's curious. So down there and over here, is that gonna lead over to the island or? I'm getting curious. I think somebody's trying to hit me from behind. Okay. Mm -hmm. And is that an- okay, there is another one. So the question is, how am I gonna get inside, and what was this over there? I clearly can't make a that jump. And that was just down from before. Oh, so the way over there is... People have a weird thing to forget people. Oh, interesting. So are you trying to say that it might be something set or setting related? That someone or something might be messing with people's memories? That would be really interesting. Manipulating information. Okay, so let's... Oh, and what just... Okay, another Corvian with a big... Poison... Poison vomit. Okay. Interesting. And again, dropping it... Okay, just another dung pie. Okay. But... At risk of getting too preachy, I think it's very, very important to always see good and evil as evaluative qualities instead of imputed qualities. Because if you get into good and evil as imputed, had a village elder. Oh, so do you think they, your DM might be doing a false hydra kind of thing? Have you heard of that? I, I'm not a huge fan of the Angry GM, personally, but, oh, and the Crow Quills are right there, interesting, I, I'm not sure we'll use that, it's an interesting weapon, that might not, essentially, there's a D&D blog called the Angry GM, and if you're familiar with the Zelda Ocarina of Time, there's an enemy called the Dead Hand, who's this weird sort of pale white bloodstained corpse blob, 
And your DM might not like me telling you about this, but I want... You know, I might help you out. Which is essentially... this The False Hydra, which used the appearance of Dead Hand, an enemy from Ocarina of Time, is... This weird sort of eldritch abomination type creature that sings a song that manipulates the memories of people. And the most annoying part about it to me is that... Normally, you're not even supposed to be able to roll against it. So there are very few things that the players can actually do to counter it most of the time. But basically, just gradually kills and eats people. And once someone's killed and eaten by the False Hydra, everyone who knew that person forgets they exist. It's, it's as if they never existed at all. I'm not, I don't remember for sure if the memories come back when the False Hydra dies. It might. Again, I'm not sure. But that might be what's going on. And I think that might mean that you would be able to negate its effects by wearing earplugs or otherwise getting rid of your hearing. But yeah, it's Angry GM or Angry DM. It's one of those. And if you looked it up, you'd be able to find out more about it. So if you wanted to get one over or find out what's going on, though again, your DM might not consider that to be entirely fair play. Okay, so there's a gate over there. There was something to jump down over there. We got the islands. And I think we can jump onto the part of that wall if we angle ourselves correctly. Yeah, but frankly, one of the reasons... Well, the entire deal is that the song is undetectable. It's not a sound you can actually notice. And that's the thing about it, is that there isn't really a lot of counterplay because you can't even notice... That would be, well, for one, insight is more mental and perception is more physical, depending on, well, that might depend on how your DM runs it. That's at least the way I always ran it. But the big thing is that it's not even, it depends on how it's run, but the way that Angry DM says it suggests that it might not even be something that's supposed to be detectable at all. Until the DM basically decides to say, Oh yeah, this monster was killing and eating everyone, and you just couldn't tell. There was no way to tell. Which, again, is not something I particularly like. Okay, so was that just the simple gem? That was not exactly something crucial. Okay. Let's go back up. Let's see what we gotta take out. I do find it interesting that the simple gem is the equivalent of a basic magic infusion. And must be you, timidly running away, and he seems to have moved a little. Is that simple in DS3 is basically the equivalent of a basic magic infusion, while barring the regen effect in earlier Souls games, but it's actually locked behind progression more strongly than... Oh, goodness. And, oh, another Corvian assassin, and why are you attacking the others? Just going crazy. Oh, thanks for throwing knives. All right. And let's take the big one down and, okay. One, two, oh my goodness, and oh my, oh, oh please. This is tough. And one, two, three, oh my, oh, oh please. Well, this is certainly something, okay. Dodge, hammer, and our flame arc ran out. That is not good, and oh please, I, mm, oh what? All right. Okay, we need to get this up. Mind-bending demonic cult. I think that might be more likely in the end, but it the false hydra is something that I've heard a lot of people talking about, including talking about how to run it. So it's definitely a possibility worth considering at least. But again, it I'm not an incredible fan of that level of railroading of something that the players just can't even really roll against. And to be frank, you know, maybe it makes me look bad, but... If your DM is gonna pull that- pull the wool over your eyes on that kind of level, I wouldn't feel guilty about giving you a little more of a leg up. You know, again, it might not be what's going on, but it's still a possibility worth considering, and oh my goodness, were you trying to push me off? That's nasty. Oh my goodness. Thank you. And... Please. And somebody is... Another Corvian felt... How many Corvians are up there? Uh, okay. Come on, come on. 
The fire is really, really useful in them, though. Yeah, that... Until you have better evidence, that is almost certainly the better idea. I'm just going off the rails as I usually do. And, okay, is that a... That's the poison gun. You've got your spit. Yeah, that... Though, to be fair, I think that might be some of the idea. Putting you up against some you probably don't have the sauce for right now. Who knows, really. And, oh my... Ooh, that was almost bad. I do have tears up right now, but still. Hmm. Some kind of sorcerer. Is that a Corvian sorcerer? Didn't even know that was an option. And what's over here? Log sold an unknown traveler. God damn there, we could probably get inside. Some. So what's this up over this way? This is stock dunk by. And a couple of Corvians around here. And okay. So until you get up, I can't even lock on to you. That's great. That's just amazing. And this is just... I can't even go out through there, so... What is going on? Yeah, exactly. Focus on something that is currently within your pay grade, and don't overextend yourself, so to speak. And how much will that home in on me? Okay, actually not that much. That's good. Guess the question is, what if I went to the other... Oh, please, come on. Hammer, hammer, swing. Oh, interesting. So that's going to be sort of the first real ploy to try to get allies then. Interesting. Okay, and okay, you're up there and you're... Oh, more sorceries. Don't like that. Okay, so we got to keep going around, try to find our way. Way in. And is this where I... This is not where I was before. Corvian settlement's actually... Actually pretty big. So there's that path, the drop down, the roofs. It's just, I don't want to interact with the bonfire until I absolutely have to, because that'll respawn everybody and everything. I guess the thing I'm wondering about is, do you think your DM's gonna sort of wait until you have everyone allied you to the final fight, or do you think you'll have to have everyone with you in order to actually win, or... Because I think... The way I would probably end up doing it, and this is going to make me sound utterly ruthless, frankly, is... I would make it sound like you abso absolutely needed to get everyone involved in order to actually win. And then I would spring it on you. I would have the enemies show up earlier than you originally expected, earlier than schedule. So that you'd have to fight them while believing you weren't prepared. But, of course, behind the scenes, I would calibrate it so that it would be well within your pay grade, or at least, you know, the amount of enemies I exp the amount of allies I would have, would have expected you to have at that point. So it would feel like, even if it wasn't act actually a victory against all odds. Oh, interesting. Well, at the very same time, I think, and I hope this doesn't ruin the magic, I think it is a very, very real real possibility that the DM has been, you know, implying that it's a possibility that you might have to fight them relatively unprepared. But that's what they've been planning all along. And they plan on giving you basically just enough allies to make it work. And if done right, that would be a good way to add tension. But, you know, playing with your player's expectations is always very, very risky. You have to know what you're doing. Oh, goodness. And you're over up there. Oh, right, right. And you said you were trying to come up with, with your DM, sort of a, sort of an ascended ring wraith kind of character. Sort of what would happen if a Nazgul got stronger. That is cool. I wonder what that would be. I presume they'd have a lot of necrotic damage related abilities. Maybe. And the other Corvian's over. Oh my goodness. Alright. And two, three, and. Oh my. Ooh, you're tough. Tougher than I expected, at least. So, slam. We gotta do a bunch of running then. And. Oh goodness. Alright. Corvian got hands. 
Crow Talons and Crow Quills. Okay, so we got a Pure Claw option and the Piercing Sword Paired Weapon. Yeah, either way, you're winning. Exactly, you know. Whether you turn into a cool Ring Wraith or get to save the day, something interesting roleplay opportunity-wise will happen. Into an... Oh, to a Death Cleric. So do... Wait, so Death Cleric or Grave Cleric? Is there's a difference, right? It's been a while since I did a lot of unearthed arcana reading, but those are different, right? Death, okay, because Grave's the nice one and Death is the evil one. It's just... I know at least one of them has an ability that makes... Let's you max out damage dice for necrotic damage, if I recall correctly. Okay, so this is one of the doors that doesn't open from the side. There are the roofs and the other door and the other path. Let's see what's down here, if anything. Oh, so I guess this is just a shortcut to the roofs if we ended up dying and having to come back later. That makes sense. This is number one, and that's back there. Oh, wait, so they're actually... So if I recall correctly, they get healing on Spare the Dying, maybe? Or at least sometimes for rest? I don't entirely remember. So there's an item over here that I almost missed, just a soul. Okay, okay. That is an interesting ability. You know, some level of somewhat limited cantrip healing is cool. That said, it... I know people have said... And you may agree or disagree that healing in general in 5e is kind of a kind of a suboptimal option in the sense that, you know, the best way to heal, quote unquote, is to just kill things before they damage you. Or at least, especially because of things like, if I recall correctly, oh my, ooh, and you have lots and lots. I think it was called Healing Spirit or whatever, the... Really strong healing spell that heals you whenever you walk through an area, which makes it so that when that corpse is foul. If you do out of combat healing, it's just basically free full healing if you cast that one spell for one second or third level spell slot. Whereas for in combat healing, it's basically healing word or boss. So let's go back up here. Does that get over there? I wonder what the reward for all my poking around is going to be. Hello there, hi. Two, and uh, we got you both with those hammers right over there. Surrounded where I was before. And this, which one was this? Okay, so I got inside there. This is gonna be the other, the other one. Can I even get on top of there? I don't think I can really. So it's all in. So we got inside here. And where we, okay, this is just that one house. Wildfire Druid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's good to have healing utility, but it can't really make for a full build in the same way. You know, anything with actual use is gonna have other capabilities, too. Okay, and, oh my goodness, Slam X. It's a good thing that her damage output is still pretty capable. And what's on you? Oh, the Slave Knight set. Gale set. Let's look at the description of that real quick. Slave Knights red to vibrantly ish signify their stature. Warriors use a spotter in the bleak of battles that only the undead. Crepit, charred black bones twisted, went mad, never relieved from duty. And. Craftsmanship symbol of honor. And. Let's see. Slave Knight gauntlet, same as that. Craftsmanship. Okay, so we can open this up. There's no ladder over here, but there's something on top of that little tower over there. So we gotta see what's all inside before we progress on to whatever's next. Wildfire Druid was cool. I might have mentioned this before, but some years ago I tried to run and it failed due to logistical reasons, because I tried running it with multiple groups in a sort of PvP setting. A campaign based off of the Fate series, so the players were going to be in a Grail War, though I did intend eventually intend for them to team up. And one of the characters, because it was based off of something I'd run for some friends before, so it was a bit silly, but everyone had a servant, and their actual player character was basically a sort of self-insert. So one of the characters in game was actually my dad, and I had planned him out as a wildfire druid, 
who was gonna use this sort of fire, ele fire elemental transformation as a sort of combat trump card. This sort of would be a character focus. Character focus in what sense? As in characters over plot, or there was basically one character who the story would be based around. Assume some of these core beans are gonna be and oh did where did that crystal lizard go? Oh come on, I Alright, we need to run over and take you down, take you down. One, two, three. Okay, what are you gonna drop? Okay, one twingling tide nine. Do I really even need that? I'm pretty sure I don't. And okay, I'm pretty sure that this won't open from this side. Yep, so we need to go around on we had to go around on the roofs. Go on that bridge, drop down the other side in order to get in. That makes sense. Oh, but how am I going to get over there? How would I... Oh, just dropping down over here. Okay, cool. It's a good thing I checked. And, okay, another Corvian. No, these are actually the giant flies. The dark gem. And, oh, this is disgustingly rotten. All these maggots. Okay. Interesting. So... Did they reveal who or what character it would be, or is it still up in the air or occluded from you? Oh, as in one nation where each of the players would have the focus to be on them and their backstory. Oh, that's really cool. That's really more of the high elves. Interesting. Okay, it makes sense that the high elves would live in Athens. It's still funny, though. I like that. I... One of the campaigns I tried running was going to be based off of Smash Brothers, and that one went well until... It's back when I was in high school, so that's when things... When scheduling really got in the way, not just logistical issues, but scheduling itself. It wasn't just a matter of getting a bunch of groups together, but just... I didn't have the time to run things at that point. And, essentially, it was various video game worlds, especially ones in Smash Brothers, mapped out, taking the place of islands in the map of Zelda the Wind Waker. And so, understandably, the idea was when any individual player got their... Oh, interesting. Hello there. Got their world as the island, they would be more connected and related. And Oh, interesting. I... Let's heal up before you kill me. Interesting there. Okay, dodge, 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 dodge. Oh my goodness. I... Okay. Heal and slam, slam, and... What, 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 what? Oh my, oh, oh, I really, really don't like that. Okay, heal, heal, and heal, heal. Oh my goodness. Okay, at the very least, I do have that tower back up. That should help. That was painful. That was really painful. Okay. Cleansing Chapel from... Cathedral of the Deep. The Corvian Knights are... These guys are ruthless. I was not expecting... Though, to be fair, I had overextended myself a little. I was trying to get as far as I could without bonfiring up in order to not respawn enemies. But I found a good number of... Shortcuts? That's not bad. So, Ariandel Chapel is actually after the Corvian settlement. That's interesting. So, let me simply... Oh, but I already have tears equipped, right? So, that was redundant. What I really wanted to do was get a free flame arc before resting so that I'd be able to get... All of the FP back for maximum conservation purposes, so... Let's just run through and avoid as many of these guys as possible. But anyone in our way we should probably try to get rid of. I guess the real question is... Will, are those Corvian Knights one-time spawns, or... Are more gonna... Oh, they're not one-time spawns, which means... Oh, interesting. So if I want to take you down, I should. There we go, attack you while you're hitting other Corvians. The annoying thing is, of course, that you... Oh my... Oh, what? Okay, one of my messages was raided. That was nice, but I... Okay, oh, my... What? What? Oh, what? Okay, slam it. Oh my goodness, I... I am dangerously close to running out of health, health, and... Oh my... What? Do okay, slam, slam, and... One, two, three, four... Do okay. This guy is... Well, thanks for popping in and talking. It's always fun. See you around next time. And, oh goodness. These guys are absolute shooters. I guess the question would be, maybe I might be better off using 
instead of hammers, maybe sell sword twin blades. Quite frankly, I should check. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me look up Corvian Knight. Corvian Knights are weak to. Oh, they're hollow too. Oh, they actually are weakest to strike. That makes sense because if they're birds, they would have hollow bones. Very, very brittle. Weak to any kind of bludgeoning. Okay. Gotta unlock other stuff. Interesting. And you are right there, so let's take you down. Thank you. The hammers are always good. The hammers are always good. Pretty much. Okay. One, two, three, four. Then we should try to drop down, maybe. It's hammer and. Nice! And we got you. Someone else is over. Dodge. One, two. How many more? We got you. One, two. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, and where is. Oh, you're over there. Interesting. Uh, Alright. And slam, slam. I thought you would have died, but I wasn't paying enough attention. Clearly. There's that other tower I had to drop down. Hmm. Alright. Alright then. Alright. Bloodstains over there. Should probably cart this up again. I guess the real question is is their biggest elemental weakness? Corvian Knight. And. Oh, they're actually resistant to fire. Very weak to lightning. And magic. Weaker to magic, but. If we wanted to, I guess we could try using. The priestess's ring in order to put dark on there, maybe? Or. The big thing is that lightning blade is not an option for us right now. Okay, thank you, and. Oh, we should have. Oh, goodness, and I, Okay. Thank you. One, two, and... Oh, goodness. And... Oh, my... Oh, well, I... Oh, well, I... Didn't die. That's good. Do need to recast tears. So is it gonna come down here and get me? No, I will say... It's very nice having tears to protect me from... Any and all non-fatal falls. That is... Quite frankly, one of the better use cases of tears. Junk pie again. We gotta go back up. Mm -hmm. Alright then. I need to keep on going. Link back to where I was before. And who is... For a beaten sorcerer over there? I do not want to deal with you at the moment. That I don't think they're using the storyteller staff, though. That's the interesting thing. They're decently resistant to fire, but are still strong. Pretty weak to bludgeoning, and it would be lightning that's most effective against them. That's the weird thing to me. And wait, what? Well, you know, go ahead, fall off and die. And of course you dropped an item that I might want to pick up. Always. Always. Okay. Let's pick up that thing up. The knight's corpse. Sharp gem. Alright, I guess. But even with the relatively high resistance, I deal good damage with the fire on these hammers. The effect's just that strong. Okay. Let's put up Karthus. Gotta open that one gate back there. Honestly, this most surprising thing to me is the fact that I haven't gotten enough for a level up at the moment. It's going to be some time, and I'm not sure how much I'll be able to level up in the Painted World, because it's not supposed to be as hard as Ring City and Drag Heap, and it's not as long either. Real question to me is, what would... Being able to get to 30, 30 Faith in order to actually use Lightning Blade would be nice for Soul of Cinder, but I'm not going to expect that. And anything over here, or... Did we get up here already, or, um, am I crazy? Am I crazy? Couldn't get up here, but... So what was the purpose of this? I don't know, is there... 
I can't imagine there was an illusory wall or something, just a way back in case you wanted a way back. I guess. Weird. Gotta open up some of those things and... Nope, nope, you're not killable. Okay. In, in the end, it doesn't matter all that much who's weak to what. We can kill these guys anyway. And, alright, thank you. Oh! Oh, we got toxic. Fun. Let's just use that. Sure. And slam. <laughs> Even though it gets resisted pretty strongly, frankly, the fire's damage contribution is actually very meaningful. Okay. Let's go back. Bump up again, get hit by one soul arrow on the way out. Yeah, classic. Okay. Sticking back to full. Gotta open that part up. Out of our flame arc again. Yeah, because presumably... Well, I guess the real question would be... How much more damage would... Crystal Chime do an infusion than Heretic's Catalyst? Because... In theory, Crystal Chime should only apply the intelligence portion of scaling to magic... Magic weapon, but... Still... You can't really know until you know for sure. So who is... I guess the Corvian Knights just killed them all already? Hmm. So what else? Who's up where? Is someone to drop down to ambush me, or... Hmm. Uh, a ladder. So that's down there, so we could use that to get back up top if we wanted. So what's all in here? That's the real interesting question. Various scaffoldings and drop downs and hmm. Get up, we should definitely open up that gate before anything else. Something back over there, I presume that might be depths of the painting. Or a way to it. Okay. Let's turn a rod over here. Open that up, so only that other door by the other part of the chapel. Assuming there's even a door there. It might be the way to the actual. Ariando and free to fight, though I'm not sure. That opens, and... Hello, hello. Got a Corvian Knight in here. Let's take you down, I suppose. See what we can kill before we have to otherwise leave, and... Oh, interesting, hello. Can we... Just stuck in... Oh my goodness, I... Alright. One, two... So there are knights with crow quills and knights with other stuff. Alright, hi, okay, cool. Thanks, and, well, I... Nice. Okay. I'm gonna want to test out... Hmm. Which version of magic weapon is gonna deal more damage? Hmm. Huh. 25 versus 168. Mm -hmm. Frankly, among other things, I could actually upgrade Heretic Staff. I should. Back to Fire Link would also prevent us from getting invaded. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much? Hmm. Ah, So we could try buying kinds of Titanite, I suppose, but hmm. Dragon Chasers of Ashes. Chose the path of the ancient dragons, grant strength to the most unrelenting warriors. I wonder if that might or go with the Hawkwoods. Passing fine, nourishment, new wares content me. Item ends. Let's see how much it would cost to get. Tiny night chunks are expensive. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Let's see. Let's reinforce our heretic stuff. And it wouldn't even increase spell buff, so actually not right now. Okay. Wouldn't really get all that much higher from upgrading, I believe. Let's just see how much damage 
Crystal Chime does in comparison then. Hmm. Three crystal magic weapon. How much is 30 intelligence on crystal magic weapon? So hmm. I need to take a quick bathroom break. I will be right back. Not every day, but I try to do it pretty often. Are you an artist of some sort? Damn. Okay. Okay, we gotta go back to Corvine Settlement now. Back over here and test out which source of magic weapon is going to be more effective on the Corvines. Huh. I play... it's various kinds of action RPGs, so... Sometimes Souls, sometimes Genshin, derogatory. So let's test out the damage of this thing on one of these Corvians. This is... 522. And with Heretics... 22. With heretics, it would be. Let's see. I sometimes make music. 22. 514. So chime is still better. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so even though they resist fire more, the sheer strength, because of the magic adjust to the pyro flame, makes it better. Interesting. And also, I. Let's take that off, put on the chime. Staff weighs a lot more than the chime. Okay. Let's simply reapply flame arc. Thank you, what about you? 
I am, for better or worse, an American. What about it? So, we got our tools up, and that just barely one taps. That's nice. So, thank you, thank you. And keep on going. And I would presume, so are you then? Okay. Thanks, and Corbian Knights over there, so we can. One, two, three, four, and oh my, ooh, all right, all right, and I need to go up before this guy just, oh, oh my goodness, and I slam, and oh my, ooh, all right, and out of the way, and how we can, do, okay, slam, dodge, oh my, one, two, okay, well, I, I'm not looking for anything at the moment, but if I do, I will keep you in mind, I'm up, dodge, dodge, okay, please, please, Die. Oh. These guys are insane. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, I think you know where to reach me. Big thing is, if I can hit the Corvian Knights while on the scaffolds, I can hopefully avoid fighting multiple of them at once. Which would be nice. Okay. My username is the same as the one I use on here. Okay, so. So, how do we want to drop down and try to get inside here on top of the rafters? One of these should be... Yep, it's the same as the one I use on here, so... Don't worry, it's not complicated. It's not too complicated. So, how do I want to... Maybe actually using chain spin might work better. Oh, well, okay, slam. Oh, well, I... Uh, uh, how can I... Get out of here, 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 and keep on rolling, and thank you, and, oh, please, I, okay, so who's gonna get stuck, spin, slam, okay, all right, and just dodge, dodge, Estus, Estus, heal, thanks, we need to, dodge, 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 oh, please, I, one, two, three, four, and, oh, my, ooh, oh, what? It's just... It's just the one I use on here. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I forgot to put myself back on. Never mind. Okay. Well, you know, whatever. Okay. Not the first time I've forgotten something important. Okay. I'll just back up and... Uh, it is... Level costs are getting untenably high. I will say. Thank you. Having Pyroflame at plus 10 is making a very pleasant and important difference though. Okay. Thanks, thanks. That intelligence thing quality build. So, that's just one, two, three. So we need to take down the Corbian Knight, and one, two, three, and slam. Okay, and I, mm, I, all right, all right, and just dodge. How are we going to get in here? One, two, and spin. Oh, well, I ran out of stamina. You're kidding. You're kidding. Okay. Heal, and just... Dodge, slam down, one, two, three. Okay, so I'm getting better at fighting these guys, but it's still obnoxious. Okay. Just can't run out of stamina. Gotta see if I can hit any of the guys while I'm still on the scaffolding. Is this a way down there? No, that won't work. I need to go through here. That'll drop down successfully, and I'll go slowly and see if I can hit one of the crow guys without activating him first. And then if I manage to get the weapon art off, that would be really good. Don't imagine they're actually backstabbable, but that's life. And there's anything behind there? Is this just a way to one, two, slam? 
Want to spin? Oh my! Oh my! What? What? Really? Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm still on stream right now, so I won't be able to talk, but I can try to do stuff later. Thank you for contacting me. Okay. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Put my mark back on. Oh, those core beans are tough. I feel like maybe a jump attack or something might be the best way to try to hit him. It's, it's otherwise running in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, every kill is slightly closer to level up, which should help things too. I think it's strength I need to level right now. Stop. Okay. Thing is, if we take down you, we can. Okay, dodge. And one, two, three, and. Okay, so actually, the spin attack is not how I want to do this in the slightest. Okay. Cool. And how are you going to pathfind around here? Okay. One, two, one, one, two, and dodge. Thanks, and I. One, two, three, four, dodge, dodge, and. One, two, three, and now you're dead. Ugh. I hate those guys so much. You know what? Let's pursue you to the ends of the earth. Okay, thanks. Let's go and take down more of those guys. Mm -hmm. What a mercy. What a mercy. Right here. And yeah. So fight those guys successfully. I need to find a way to get in there. But to get in there and not die. Nothing on that little bit over there. It's just, who can I get? Oh, maybe if I just abuse the ladder and just spam plunging attacks on them. That could be a funny option. I might go for that then. Okay, so... It's very hard to... Sneak up on you. Basically impossible. Let's go ahead and get that in. Okay, cool. Thanks. And what are you doing then? I alright. What if I slam it? Okay, cool. Now we just roll, 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 and come on, run, run, and roll. Go up the ladder then and see what you can do while we Thanks. Guess you can't climb ladders. Isn't that fun? Okay, so... What if we... Slammed you... Slam and... Okay, alright, alright, and, and... Oh, please, please, and... Oh, what? What? What a ridiculous combo! I... Alright, alright, and... Thanks... Okay. Uh, uh. Well, like I said, I'm not... I'm not in a position to be talking at the moment. On Discord. So... If you could kindly wait until after the stream, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Not that, not that. Thank you. Hmm. Right. We did go and kill... Scorpion Knights without dying. Okay. Take one out. The big thing is that if we fight two at once, we are dead as a door now. Maybe what I could do is actually take some kind of sorcery spell and just find a way to hit, hit, one, two, and slam, and oh, alright, I. Mm, mm, mm. Just spam it at them from the roof. That would probably be the smartest way to do this. Dodge up, okay. Oh no, not like that, not like that. Uh, the claw ones are actually worse than the sword ones, arguably. One, two, three, four, and slam. Okay, well, I will be happy to look at it at a later date, 
but right now I'm attempting to continue through the Ashes of Every Handle DLC. I should be able to look at it later, so thank you. Okay. Put that back. Let's play Mark up again, but yeah, it's just... Maybe if I had a slightly different ring. Yeah, I don't need the pretty face ring. I just need to have my spells attuned. Let's just pick this up before something else happens. We got the Soul of the Crystal and Knight. It's not nothing. Just go over and run. Running slam. Thank you. Thanks. All right. And cool. Oh, thanks. Okay. And then we... Okay, dodge it. Slam you down. And die, 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 die. Oh my. All right. No, you're kidding. Christ have mercy. Okay, stupid. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to a position where I can take pot shots at them. Hmm. Tuning. Hmm. Do not need that? Put on Saints Ring, sure. It's a tune. We're nasty again. Tune a bit of. Great Heavy Soul Arrow, sure. There we go. Okay. In that case, let's put our Crystal John in the other hand. Reapply Tears. And then. Okay, cool. Still want this for getting through the first area. Aside from that, we'll be chilling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why not? Why not? Thank you. Okay. So great damage. Take you down. Thank you. And then right over there. Right over there. Right over there. And the big thing is, I'm gonna take down you. Okay. So, oh my, oh, all right. I interesting. I don't like that. You were actually really, really tough to engage in range. And how are we gonna dodge it? Oh goodness! I still this is still not as good as the hammers. I okay. Cool. I, interesting. It'll be good for the second half. For when I can fight them at range. But it's generally not as good as the hammers. That is interesting. Okay. Hmm. Great heavy soul air for one of them. And frankly, I guess... May as well get Dark Moon Ring, because it is just a strictly better version of Saints. It might weigh a little bit more, but I can't imagine that would actually make a meaningful difference. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And... There we go. Okay. Let's take you down. And... We're over there now, so... One, two, three, four, and dodge. Thanks. Dodge. And, okay. One, two... Three, four, and dodge. And dodge, and... Oh, goodness, I... Alright. Thanks. And just... How do we want to deal with you? And dodge, and dodge, dodge, slam, and dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks, one, two, three... Thanks! For finally biting the bullet. I mean, for finally biting the dust. Okay, so... Every Corbin I see is... Soon to be dead. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now I need to get my blood stain back at least. And then, hmm. Or hit him the better. But oh, actually, I would be better off with using. If they're weak to lightning, I should be using lightning. I'm stupid. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm already here. I may as well. Okay. Start shooting at him and see what happens. 
Will this hit? No, it will. Okay. And you fell. Alright. Hmm. Can I get... Oh, my blood stain is not anywhere I can really access it right now. That's fun. Oh, and I... Hmm. How do I want to... What if I... Oh, and hitting you is... Trouble. Thanks. Thanks, and... Hmm. How do I wait till you get in a position and stay there? Can actually hit you. That worked. Gonna be a slow and painstaking process then. The nice thing is that at least I stay in place. And boom. Definitely need some more soon. This is still working, it's just not as good. Okay. And oh, alright. You go for the jump, but you can't actually hit me. That's good. Come on, come on. Thanks. And frankly, maybe Theron Dart would be a little better in at least some senses. It's, I literally have Lightning Spear. I should be using it on them. Okay. Come on, come on. And dodge. We got one down. That's good. Got to figure out how to get the other down. And I'm wondering what I'll be able to do with Crow Quills. Okay, and... Thanks. Will you actually try hitting me up here, or...? That's the real question. Oh, come on. Come on. And will this hit? It won't hit. Okay. Is this a goofy and scummy strategy? Of course it is. But if it works, it works. And... Ugh, you're kidding. We only have so much Ash and Essence to use, even. Hmm. But frankly, at this point, you're down enough that I can just get this ready and go for a plunging attack on you, presumably. Yeah, okay, cool. Plunge, and one, two, three, four, and that garbage is done. Okay. Thanks. And we are actually almost in range of a level one because it just took us that long. Okay. Question is, is there... Oh, okay. Wave like Coronas, though, underneath that Corvian. And Titanite Shard, and it is a pretty much useless spell, too. Best part. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I literally have lightning. I keep forgetting because I just only really think about weapon buffs. There's a well here. What is this? Painter World of Arianus? Okay. And, alright. Down in there is... Nothing, I presume. Look at that one well in Dark Souls 2 that you could drop into. And... Guess there's nothing here? Okay. Cool, I guess. Huh. Uh, is there special loot? Hmm. Let's try the crow. Quills and crow talons at some point. They are a cool weapon. Hmm. Question is... Where's the next bonfire? Okay. Down around this way is... Nothing really. Yeah, I might have thought there would be an item, but it does not really seem like it. Maybe I'll try to drop on top of the bee? Wait, is... No, okay, I thought that might be a cave entrance. It was not. Go down here. Okay, it's... Oh, and you can't go over the middle, but you can... Go over... The... You can't go over the ridge in the middle, but you can go around the sides of the ridge for whatever reason. That's profoundly strange. The question is... Yeah, what's going to be through here? And if I... Get to depths of the painting... Where would I go? And... And this is... Interesting, too. It's a graveyard. Hmm. Okay. Where I'm going... So there's a sea... I 
tunnel and veins over there, I believe. Vivid pyromancer tunnel and okay, young light branch and a tree woman, just like the first area. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be something else. Where can we get to it? Right, Young Might Branch and who over here? Mustard Coin. All right. Go through the depths of the painting, presumably in that little chapel's over there. So we're gonna have to get to the other side through a detour to get to the Ariandel and Free Fight. Or, huh? I. Oh. Time and time. Oh, Sir Wilhelm. Hello. Every free man must be called. Every secret must be on earth. Such is the Oh, I know. How the, oh, the secrets whisper so sweet. Truth. But in the end, oh. you lack the stomach for the agony that you bring upon yourself. Torquedo. Okay, hello. And do oh, alright. Interesting. I should try to bet out that grab attack. Oh, here's your buff. Two, spin, and slam, thanks. All right, and you're gonna dodge. Two, jump, one, two, spin, and slam. Good attack as always, and one, two, oh, what? Oh, big heal, I, okay, interesting. Interesting, what are you gonna, go ahead, use your dark hand. Two, or we'll just roll catch you, slam again, and what are you gonna use? Oh, all right, I'm interesting, and presumably you'll do something else. I guess it's just interesting that the blade actually doesn't have the... Sorry, sorry. Contraption key. The Alfreda. Got the Onyx Blade, which is also... Could be an interesting weapon to try to use. The dark and fire aren't really... There's nothing left to use dark and fire on. Hmm. I guess maybe New Game Plus. Unexplained, center and thrust Elfrida's black flame. Sword to her knight, eldest among her sisters and leader, farewell grift. As resignation from Elfrida's service, black flame similarly new flame that smolders within her. This... Oh, it actually deals more dark than... It might be useful against... Mmm, that's standard, not slash. It's gonna say Demon Prince. Let's see what this thing looks like. Oh, that's really cool. Kinda like Morian Blade. Hmm. Then. And a thrust attack on that. Hmm. It's basically. Kinda like Health and Steeple from. Elden Ring them. Hmm. Alright. Well, interesting. And that contraption key. Contraption exiting the library attic. Contraption leaving the attic of the archive found on the edge of the Cordian settlement. A white haired woman to the attic of the library kept this key as if it was his life. So, was that. The lady? Gail's lady? Or... I'm not sure. Maybe the painting girl? Okay. You know, maybe actually a torch would be nice right now. We're not over-equipping, which is good. Let's just keep looking. Mm -hmm. Now there's some illusory walls in here somewhere, so... I think we're gonna get ambushed by somebody or something. There's something stirring. Don't like that. Let's revolt somewhere or. Alright. Pull the lever with the contraption key. And. What is moving? Oh, it drops a bunch of stairs down, so that's why that was lit up. Okay. Hmm. Gotta look and find a way through. I hear somebody or something, and I don't like that. Hmm. Around over this way? Okay, clearly. Then will this be the way to the depths of the painting, or what? Oh, hello. 
I believe. I can feel the scent of the ash upon you. True fire. Thou the one of whom Uncle Gale spoke. Exactly. The one to show me flame. Mm -hmm. It is good. When this is done, may I return. The door is open thanks to thee. Hmm. It is good. I'll head off to paint. I promised Uncle Gale I would. It is good. The door. There we go. This openable or does not open from this side. Classic. Can you run this way or? Oh, it's just over there. Okay. All right then. Hmm. That was kind of superfluous, frankly. Well, all right. So, Soy Mountain Pass. Let's go back to Firelink and level up once. I suppose in that case, maybe intelligence, maybe strength. I just want to see how much. 168, 152. Hmm. Okay. 68, 152. And 70, 154. Okay. Well, all right. Keep on going back to. Let me actually see the chapel. But what she has to say now. Hmm. It would be funny if this just started the boss fight. And okay, so that door over there. Door the elevator. And, oh, presumably that's actually noises that Ariandel is making, whipping himself. Blood to appease the flame. Be forewarned, eager Ash. And he killed Sir Wilhelm. Should this world wither and rot, even then would Ariandel mm. remain no home. Leave us be, Ashen One. Thou art the Lord of Londor, and have thine own subjects to guide. Well, maybe. Leave us thou. Hmm. Talk to the painting girl real quick and see what she might have to say now. Just use our coiled sword fragment to go back more quickly. Hmm. Alright. And oh, she hasn't come back yet. I guess we have to go through first. Susan. Is this Twin Princes? Far less rested at. Hmm. Oh, right, right. Right. Teleported here. Hmm. Oh, well, actually, I may as well grab the Dark Moon Ring. Maybe. Let me just see. Back over to Yorshka's tower. Come on. Oh, Yorshka. I have to walk over oh, there. Good blade of the dark moon. Welcome home. If I can provide thee succor, I'm not to the most, Genshi. I'm gonna offer these ears to get a better spell slot ring. Good to see you. And they said it would never happen. My blade Again. of the dark moon. Thy deeds merit great worship. There we go. Hmm. As captain. 
is my duty to honor knights of great accomplishment. Nice. Please, it is thine, and not lightly given. Thank you very much. As a shade of Father Gwyn and Sister Gwyneth. That you would never show up. It was a joke. Severe in thy nightly duty. Would be foes. Hunting down the gods would be foes. Thank you. At the Dark Moon Ring. The Dark Moon Knight. Elder brother, Dark Son of Wendell Whitman. The illness, leadership of Knights fell to me. Pontiff took me prisoner. He got eaten by Aldrich. If only he were here. I'm sorry, I can't do it right now. I'm still middle of the stream. As most assuredly would he. Long ago. And in the fire, Cinder, champion, Dark Moon Knights, watch over lost proper night. Off so soon, may the dark. The opposite, actually. I can't expect to. I can't expect these things. So also, we could go over to Water Reserve and offer ten human dregs in order to get another spell, but it won't be good as Black Flame Orb. Hmm. Much to think about. Let's go over, over to where the dead guy is. Good old Archdeacon McDonald. Hello. For human dregs, offer. Ten. Should get. Great deep soul. Rank gained. Okay. Let me just check out my covenant stuff. Warrior of Sunlight. If I equip Quit of the Dark Moon, it'll say. It doesn't say plus one or anything. Let me just think. So we got Dark Moon Ring. We also got Great Deep Soul. Let me... Dark Moon Ring does wait a little more. Many slots. Adds two Moon Day to Gwendolyn. And commits the Dark Moon Knights. Bestows this ring upon them. Alright. Let's see something, actually. I think there was a ring I didn't get. There's A hidden chest. Interesting. <coughs> ah. <coughs> ah. Okay. Let me just try some out. Yep, and I can put that on too. We have five slots. That's good. Now we can equip Great Deep Soul, Powerful Darkens. Parted by McDonald. By McDonald. Cathedral Stagnating Souls, Gorgeous Bedrock of This World. Let me just see. And, oh, it's nice and big, and it, it's pretty fast, too. That said, there, again, there just isn't anything left to use Dark Damage on. Big thing was Dancer of the Boreal Valley, and that's gone. Mm -hmm. What do I want to use right now, then? Guess I could have... This and Lightning Spear on there. Just to have access to every form of damage in case I need it. Sure. Mm -hmm. There was one more thing in the Dark Moon Tomb. A ring in a hidden chest, apparently. That I just did not get. And in the interest of completion, I should pick it up. Oh, but how are you doing? How are things going with you? Come on, come on. Let's get back up here. Yeah, but it does look decently like the painted world, even though it's very plainly not. Okay. Come on, come on. Push that lever. Oh. We can run down while the rest happens. Okay. It's nothing you have to worry about. Don't worry either way. I am more than capable of protecting my own dignity. Okay. Well, us to continue. Get some tears of denial. 
or not, actually, because we're just going in here to pick up a chest from somewhere. Oh, I agree, but I can just purge them and... If it's a problem for you, I can just ban them on sight, but... You know, it does rub the number up ever so slightly. There's supposed to be a chest... Okay, and it's right here on the side. Okay, cool. Thank you. We got the reversal ring, which... Basically makes you walk like a woman if you're a man and vice versa. Use the alternate animation set. And there's nothing over this way. Let's just see... What it... Look at its description. Divine Ring Gwendolyn. Through the orb of a moon, a sullen brooding goddess. Female actions. Oh! What do you mean by changed character? Yeah. Well, that's why I purged their messages. And or mute them. Every, every little bit, making the number bigger helps. Oh, oh, the charger, charger, okay. Right, because it's a smartwatch, right? Okay, so there's something over here, a mountain pass. Also, the depths of the painting. I guess I just didn't open that? Okay. Hello. Not to paint. Promise Uncle Gale I would. Hmm, alright. Run to any more core beans. I switch over to Miracles. And then. Hmm. I Donald is somewhere around here, but. Oh, I don't need more darkman stuff right now. Let's do that and. Pull this up. Oh, that contraption does not move. Okay. So to get that, I'll have to come back later. Interesting. Now let's play mark this. Oh, so you got a better and more expensive watch then? Or was there... Are you talking about a cost for replacement? One, two, three, four, and... Oh my, okay. Alright, and... Slam. Slam. Oh, that's really, really good then. Nice. See, that's... That's why you gotta be polite. People will give you stuff. I have gotten free food sometimes as a result of being polite. It always feels good. Oh my goodness. I, okay. Not expect that level of what? Okay. Interesting. You know, you, you gotta take these things as they come. Okay. And tears. Then. Play mark. What? Oh my goodness. And then you told her you were in your 20s. I don't know, I guess people look younger these days because they take better care of their skin. Dodge. Come on, and... Oh, okay. Wow. Fair enough. Well, you know... Again. With these things... The secret is to figure out some way to take it as a compliment. Gonna come down here, or... Now go ahead, drop down. Oh, come on. Well, that's good, then. Down over here, and... Oh, my goodness. One, two, three... Then... Got more of you, and... Oh, my goodness. The fire goes... Farther than I might like. And slam... Slam, and... Oh, my goodness. I... Alright. Direct hit from the Dravelin was... Vile. Yeah. You know, God, God has a special place for fools. That's what people say. Okay. Oh, darn. That... Breaking that out. Okay. Oh, goodness. And I, oh, please. There you go. Good damage. Good hammers. Let me see. Who else is here? Like a... Like a chihuahua or something? Like a toy poodle? Well, if she's a chihuahua, at least it means you can toilet train her. 
And, oh goodness, I, all right. Come on, come on, and die, die, die. I might have asked you before, but what do you think about the not on dragons? The dragon transformations? Funny dinosaurs? Okay. There we go. And so many of these Huron followers around here. Oh, whatever. Okay. What's that bell? Oh, the, is that what they were referring to when they said the bell was not ringing? Interesting. I think we have to drop down here. Forward shield. Hello, hello. One, two, three. Hong is we can preempt you and kill you. Oh, are there ends? Thanks. Alright, and thank you. Two oh my ooh, oh alright. One, two, three. We need a bit of healing and someone is Tossing javelins. Multiple people are tossing. What? Okay. All right. Oh. Oh. As in, to a network or? Oh. Yeah. Well, at least you. At least it was pleasant. At least it was pleasant. Wait. So are they resisting fire, or I can't really tell. Okay. Just reminds me of old dial-up internet. How internet actually used to be specifically connected to phones. Okay, and oh my goodness, I all right, I mm-hmm. Oh my Okay. Surprisingly fast on a charge, if I hmm. Then Wait, you actually had dial-up? I'm not sure whether I actually ever had dial-up. Well, we had a modem, and being able- occasionally I couldn't connect my DSi to the internet, but it depended on the provider we had, because sometimes I couldn't, sometimes I couldn't, and it depended on the internet plan we had at the moment. It was weird and variable. Because I know that every now and then, occasionally we would switch provider, and that would determine whether I could make internet connection work on the game. Okay, this bell just... It's there for world building purposes, I guess. Can't really do anything with it. And, oh, hello. Go ahead, refire. Oh my goodness. Die. Got that. And how much more is... Where... Oh, a Titanite chunk. Alright, I guess. And who else is in here? Gotta find my way through. With a... As in a... A thumb drive? As in it was a Wi-Fi antenna that was USB activated? That's really crazy. Uh huh. We are going through the painted world. That is... The long and short of it. At least, hopefully. Trying to find my way through. We got to a later area, which is nice, but it's complicated. Like Waluigi. Okay. Hmm. So we can drop down here. wonder what this will lead to. Is this an illusory? Yeah. Well, maybe your aim will get better. So... Went past this Corvian village. That was the main thing it took. Pretty long time, frankly. And then... Got a few weapons. You're welcome. Hi there, hello. Come on, and... Okay, you can aim that up higher than I expected. Slam, and... Oh, but that didn't one-tap? Interesting. Okay, so... This lead to depths of the painting, or... Not sure. Oh, but what? Okay, alright. One, two, three, four, see ya. It's a bit of extra poise while you were doing that one attack, or what? And what is this? Where is... Hmm. The eye? 
doesn't seem to be anything over here. Weird. Alright. So we'll keep going. Essence is starting to run low, and I don't quite like that. Huh. Okay, I thought for a second that might be a ladder. It was not. Goodness me. Ugh, 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 ugh. Can I go over here? No, that's not a way up. Find another way to ride that stump and use it as a bridge over. Interesting. But the big thing is that we fought a guy who is the helper of the woman I mentioned who was going to be the final boss fight of the area. We took him down and got his sword. And in addition to that, she addressed us as the Lord of Hollows, so she was referencing that part of the quest we did. Yeah, yeah. It was interesting because I did not expect them to acknowledge the whole Word of Hollows thing here. It was cool though. So I presume that some of this might be... Contraption, elevator, secret passage ahead. Is that true? I don't presume that's true. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Is this... That does not work. Oh, but this goes up, so this is... Yep, it's a shortcut through here. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Do you want to try to get, in that, get to the next bonfire first, though? So what is over this way? We can't just... Well, we could drop down there, but there wouldn't be anything to it. The big thing is, what if I went down here? down here. Would there be anything of... No. No! Okay. Alright. What word? Just say it phonetically. I promise I won't mock you. At least not too much. So the easiest way to get back would be actually going up that elevator. Why? Is it offensive? Is it schadenfreude? I am not going to mock you! I promise! Okay? Okay. I need to put flame arc back on. Take this and just find a way over to that side. These followers got hands. Actually, they have weapons, but who's counting? And, oh, goodness, I. Okay. Interesting. Gotta find a way to. Oh, interest. Okay, you can hit me through there. Gonna come over here, or... Dodge, and... Oh, interesting. One, two, three, four, and... Dodge, all right, and... Follower gloves, thank you. Dodge, and... Okay, please. One, two... Oh, well, I... All right. Slam. What about acknowledged? Okay. There you go, now you know how to spell it. See? Okay, what about it? Fair enough. It is interesting seeing what specifically difficult about English to non-native speakers. So let's go up here. Okay. Well, I promise not to mock you this time, so I won't say anything else. And is this gonna be the saber? No, a titanite chunk. Huh. Then, what else is gonna be around here, if anything? I guess that was... We got a titanite chunk and that was it? It should. It, 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 it should. You know it's a one-time thing. Oh, come on. Gotta keep proceeding through and... Oh, I think that would lead to... Depths of the painting and the Arandal fight. Speak for yourself. Turnabout is fair play. And I'm not talking about Ace Attorney. And did we... We did go down through here. Okay. Else over this way. Hmm. See a bit of rot. Oh, oh. Well, right, right, right. Well, cause he he was an NP he was basically a mini boss. 
His death was important. Important for the progress of the DLC, so it makes sense. And oh my, okay, all right. Please, please. Fair enough. There we go. And ah, uh, other stuff over here, and uh, this rotting tree. Feel as if. Could we hit this down? Yeah, we could. We can fell that tree. It's because it's rotten enough to do. So, oh, that's the hidden passage they were referring to. Frankly, that shortcut isn't all that important. But still, okay. It's still nice. I still want to wait until I hopefully get another bonfire first. And teleport back there instead of having to wait for something else, but to be fair, that shortcut might imply that might be a ways off. And I am running out of Estes. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. If I could do that, I would be pleased with my own success. Good grammar is always a good thing. Okay, the question is... Go around the side way to get back into the chapel. That's oh hello. I certainly wasn't expecting that. And who is oh what? Oh goodness, who did that? I okay all right dodge. Uh, did, oh goodness, I did not expect Millwoods over here. How do I get into? Hmm. Interesting. Well, difficult or not, I believe in you. You can do it. You have the potential. Okay, I guess the question is... What would be the best way to take out the Millwood Knights? Drop down there and... Hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is... That just loops around, so it's a way to loop them if, in the case... Uh, in case you want to do that. Yeah, I'm running out. I don't have the capacity for these knights right now. Presume they'd be weakest to lightning? So it's good that we have it now. And yeah, we do need to... Oh, interact with that checkpoint then. Alright, cool. Let me just see. No hood, knight. What are they weak to? If anything. Weak to... Oh, they actually resist lightning. Which, I mean, they, re they resist fire, so I should use lightning. No, I didn't... S I don't mean it in a sense of, you're stupid, I mean it in the sense that it's... I meant it in the sense of, it's interesting to me to see what people find difficult in English when they're non-native speakers. I was not intending that to be derogatory in any way, shape, or form. Shaking my head. Okay. Well, all right then. So I'm gonna toss a bunch of lightning in those mill woods. See what happens when I go down that ice area. I guess the question is, is that snow gonna drop off again or what? Yeah, it, it's not as logical of a language as it should be, frankly. Nowhere near as much. I'll increase our damage, but we need Oh. So those rings are heavier? Let's see what... Armor's decent. Guess we'll wear their armor. For now, at least. Yeah. English is, quite frankly, kind of a nonsense language. I will be the first to admit it. Well, because it's a stupid nonsense language, that's why. And somebody just fell off and died, did they? Oh, hello. Hello there. Interesting. Thanks. And hit. And hit. And... Oh, interesting. You can't... I don't think you can hit me here at all. Wait, so how did you get inside that part? Wait. And where are you going? Oh, is that another tree I can fell? I think it is. That's... That is a cool shortcut, then. Yeah, just how do I get to... Is it that everything is pronounced exactly opposite as you would spell it? Oh, oh. Yeah, it... 
It's a silly language. Okay. Two, three, four, and eight. Exactly. If you have to do things basically by feel, then it's not a language with real rules. There we go. And just, hello, hello there. I uh, let's dodge that. And just toss and oh goodness, your shield has higher lightning resistance than I might like. And oh my, oh my lord. Okay, okay. Hmm. Alright. And how do I toss and dodge and okay toss and oh my ooh 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 okay okay what end up oh please I all right all right loop around here hopefully and toss and toss get another and we're gonna hmm. hit and of course you've got that up now I all right. Dodge, dodge, okay. Hit and oh please, I, mm, I did not mean to do that one. Did not mean to do that. Okay, this is obnoxious. I okay. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, hit and can we? Okay, we did manage to do that. Or try that shard and we drop down. Can we take some damage? But oh come on. All right. Don't like that you have a ranged attack. Don't really like that. Dodge and okay. Oh no, that's the battle axe, right? Different from the normal axe and the hammer too. Okay. Right. That's what's going on. And okay. Please, please. Hit and swing, swing, and I. Hmm. I. I guess I did. I. Oh wow. I, okay. Dodge. Dodge. And, Oh, oh, stupid. Okay. I think I should unequip Dark Moon Ring for now. Oh, okay. Put on Sage's Ring instead. Deal with. Okay. Thank you. And we'll change our spells around. We don't need Flame Arc right now. We just need that one Lightning Spear. Former. Former. But sure, tell me. Can't be all that bad, can it? Okay. Hmm. Millwood Axe. No comment. But what are you, what were you gonna say? What were you gonna say? Oh, and right, I did take off prisoner's chain in the interest of hitting them better. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they had Kim and Kanye West kids sing. Isn't that right? I think I heard about that. Thank you. Thank you. I did know that they had a stage play version, but I wasn't under the impression that the play itself was horrible, but I can see it being executed very badly. Well, it... The people you should get bad at is... Oh, okay. I mean, the people to get mad at would be... Kim Kardashian for... You know, knowingly talking about how fame screws you up, and then... Saying, oh yeah, I want my kid to be famous. Okay. Come on, come on. Let's drop down. No, we gotta get... Well, it's in from wherever it is, which is right there. There, over there. Okay, cool. Let's just take you. Oh my. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. One, two, three. The speed is good. And I. Okay, nobody is chasing me right now, which is a good thing. And just toss more lightning. 
And all right. Thanks. And oh goodness. I, okay. All right. And I just what? 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 Okay. Come on. Come on. And I know there's another one over there, but you don't see me yet, which is good. Good. And lightning and dodge. Dodge. Oh. Wow. Okay. More lightning. Thank you. And you're not dead yet. Okay. And I. Oh wow. Okay. Dodge. Mm, please. Not. What? That fast? Stupid. Well, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it... There's a cynical side of me that says that maybe it looks stupid. As sort of an emperor's wearing no clothes kind of thing, in that once you get to a certain kind of wealth, you start caring almost inordinately actually about what people think about you and your wealth. You Well, there there are a lot of people who, despite their money, are very insecure. And you need people to basically bow down, or it's not enough to just have money and be able to spend on the luxuries. Well, maybe I think that might be it. Like I said, just deliberately stupid to basically get people to kiss the ring. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Two, three, four. But we gotta get our blood stain back and then. Come on. Thank you. Oh, wait, what? I. That's not good. That is really not good. Okay, because if we fell down, we'd probably take a lot of damage or maybe just die, and I don't like that. Oh, well, it activated even after we got hit. Hmm. Okay. Well, after a certain point, it's kind of, you know, there's a sucker born every minute, I guess. If you still expect anything from American popular culture in this day and age, got another thing coming. Okay. All these. Every now and then, people will mention, I got an ad for this Netflix show that no one talks about and nobody watches. I saw someone talk about how, arguably, it's been the best time ever to be a bad actor. Or a bad screen actor, because Netflix just pumps out just dozens to hundreds of shows that nobody seems to actually watch that probably just exist for the sake of tax write-offs. If you can get yourself to an audition. As long as you can do that. Okay. We need to go as far out as possible so we can hit... Hit the guy and hopefully not engage with the rest. Okay. See how many we can take down. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. And... Alright. And pretty good hit stun, actually. Oh, but I mm, dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, interesting. Another one, and oh my goodness! All right, that's the sub. Ashen, Ashen up, and dodge that. Thank you. One, two, and okay, we killed one of them. And okay, the weapon art is no longer doing anything. Yeah, that's the big thing, isn't it? Loss of dignity. Dog. Oh, okay. All right. All right. And, mm, mm, one down. Only a bunch more to go. Hard soul of a crestfallen knight. Something behind. So the question is, can I get them to put their shield down? That's the idea, at least. What's through here? Is this? I think this might be the mill with an axe. Yeah, the earth seeker. Nice. Well, 
It depends. I think, arguably, to some people, that might be part of the difference between old and new money. That when you're new money, having money is enough. You don't need to be fancy. You don't need to put on errors because it's good enough to be rich. But if you're old money... Oh, goodness. All right. And... Hit. Oh, come on. All right. One, two, and... Okay, I just need to hammer you down then. Okay. One, two, three, four, and... Slam. Okay. Yeah, you've got that shield up, but you're also not as threatening as the other guys. So, dodge, dodge, what? Oh, this tackle. Okay, interesting. Tackle hit me, and I... Jump it. Okay. One, two, three, four, and... Okay, all right, all right. The big, the big axe one, the big hammer one, I can just take down with lightning because they don't shield or anything, so. Earthseeker is a special axe that the one guy was using, and we can actually use that. I think I'd probably have the strength by now to wield it, but it's not all that special, frankly. It lets you do that earthquake attack we saw them use before. It's interesting. Okay, so we're just gonna slowly back off. Hit him with the lightning as much as possible. Pray that he doesn't charge us or anything, and there we go. Fun. Okay. <clears throat> Heavy gem, and... We could... Yeah, thank you. Let's actually check out the description of that Earth Seeker real quick. Of course somebody's doing that. Earth Seeker, and... Yeah, I could use it. Earth and Wrath, Primitive Earth Worship, Chief of Knights served as High Priest. Unwitted Axe, Bronze, Ceremonial Weapon for Sacred Rites, Earth and Wrath, The Prayer to trigger explosive tremors. Let's try that thing out then. And it's standard. So there's an axe in Elden Ring that does something pretty similar, actually, to Godric's axe. Okay, the big thing is, is... I don't want to keep going like this right now. I want to... Go back to where I was, where I came from, and... Actually, what's down here? Now this is where we could have dropped down before. It's fun. But it's pretty, pretty slow. The only time that I'd really be able to use it is if... Quite frankly, I had better armor and was in a situation where I had to get rid of a bunch of enemies at once. Okay, so I'm gonna use that coiled sword fragment to go back. That bonfire changed my rings around a bit, and... Ugh! Ugh. Okay. I'm pretty close to another level. Alright. Put on Dark Moon Ring again, and then Pontiff Eye and... Pontiff's right eye. What was the other thing that was right? Prisoner's Chain. We've gotten to the end game. We've gotten to a point in the game where I can't afford to be pretty anymore because it's actually gotten hard. I, I know it hurts you on a deep and spiritual level. Four night. Yeah. Well, that's life sometimes. Let's attune. Some other spells. In case I run into more Millwoods, I might want to put that in that slot. And then I guess we could take, just in case, maybe an actual Fire Orb in case run into something that I just want to use pure fire damage on. Oh, always. That's why we get along so well. Okay. Put flame mark on the hammer, and then go back up the elevator and see what else is lying in wait. So the depths of the painting and the way back to Ariandel Chapel should be open relatively soon. Let's see what happens. Then after we hopefully take down Alfreda, we'll have the way open for the second DLC. thing is, 
The Alfreda fight in here is... Not really. At least I don't want to. People would watch me. Up here is... Wait. Right, that tree, so that shortcut. That mill with night. Keep on going. And somebody just fell and died, as one does. Thank you. One, two, three. Then let's take you down. Slam the hammers. Run in, preempt you. Thanks. And of course you're right there. We do. It's my life a lot easier. It's a kill I don't actually have to get myself. Hmm. Yeah, but... There's a follower saber, I presume, but I don't know quite where it is. It's down there with the Earth Seeker. I got that already. And I gotta put Flame Arc back on. Time flies. Run. Turn over there before. How to get through here. Hello there. Hi. And. Okay, and. Oh, please. Uh, oh, my goodness. Alright. Thanks. And. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a follower saber, and I think there should be. I think I saw its name once. I'm not sure whether it'd be an item pickup or a drop. Here's something. Oh, more wolves. Thanks. Slam and. Goodbye, wolf. And then, let's over here. This is. Two large Titanite shards. It is interesting how many of those there are. In here. Given how hard it is, because it is! You can get here as soon as you go through. If you get to Cathedral of the Deep. What's interesting is that. Well, actually, that'd be a bit of a spoiler. But. The question for me is something about damage types. Essentially, that it's interesting that since there's no dark damage type in Dark Souls 1, dark magic deals. Let's actually put the spears back on. This is what we use the spears for, so let's actually use them. Okay. And just dodge, dodge, and please, please. Okay. Come on, and dodge. One, one, two, and oh my goodness, I, all right. Where are you? You are... Okay, you got here fast. Interesting. Thank you. And, okay, die. And dodge, stab, thank you. But that dark damage in Dark Souls 1 doesn't exist. It's just dark sorceries deal physical damage. It's interesting to think, because obviously part of it is that they couldn't, wouldn't, or didn't want to add a new damage type for just for the DLC in Dark Souls 1. It's also interesting to think about it from a lore perspective. Because Dark Souls 1 was canonically sort of the last time you know, the game we play where the influence of the gods was strongest. So it would make some sense that Dark would not be able to manifest itself as a purely independent source of power or in its full form in a world where the gods still ruled. There's another mill with night over there, which means we should switch to our sorcery setup, which for now would be lightning clutch and don't want to get rid of that ring then. It's an interesting idea, though it's almost certainly something that they didn't put that much thought into. That's lightning and oh hello. Hi. Lightning Spear. And one mill with knight is guarding the position of the other. I don't quite like that. Hmm. Turn back now? Yeah, you are. Okay. Get a quick shot in on you and... Oh, no, never mind. Alright. Gotta worry you over here somehow. I just use the hammers. Okay. Alright then. So where is... How far are you going to get over here? Not very, it seems. Got to put the other rings back on. You and then Pontiff. I. Thanks. Okay. Then we can flame arc up again and. Uh, Got to figure out how to take out 
you and okay and walk away didn't quite hit so annoying though oh they're high just one two one two three four and fall we're not we're not oh please I, okay dodge dodge slam the hammers and one two oh goodness I, hmm. dodge and we get dodge Dodge. Oh, all right. I, okay. And hit and dodge. One, two, three, four. Okay. Finally got you down. Well, that was a pretty interesting encounter, frankly. So let's put our miracle stuff back on. That and lightning clutch. Then. Okay. Dodge that. Lightning spear back on, you will dodge, okay, and thank you. You're not gonna pull out a weapon, we can just stun lock you while you try to thank you for reading my message. Nice, and okay, cool, and another one, and that's all. Goodbye. You can drop that down, but isn't there not a way back up? Well, that's interesting go down here, but won't let us get back around. It's certainly something. Pontiff I and... Question is, I guess, what... I guess I would use Steel Protection for the boss fight. Fourth Ring in place of Dark Moon, because I wouldn't really be using spells other than Karthus Flame Mark for a bit of extra damage, which would be quite effective there. Okay, so we drop down... Yeah, whatever this is, just a large tide night shard. Okay. And yeah, visions of pointless. Or shortcut ahead. Thank you. Nice. Thank you for being rotten, I guess. Weird thing to say, frankly, but. And through here is. Wait. A bit more rottenness. And are these Corvians or. I think this might get me to the chapel again. So in that case, I should go back and try to... It doesn't seem... Oh, you have to go through the stuff to get on the trunk. Interesting. So what that means is we're going to go through the rest of the little bit of the area. See what more we can find before we again rest in a bonfire and spawn everything back in again. But I wonder where that goes, whether it might be if that's the chapel or depths of the painting or something else. Uh, let's go up this way and hold on, hold on. God to be kidding me. Is that it was one way. Went over. That's where we went. Yeah, this was the way we went before with that middle of night just now. So this is going to be the other actual path. If not ahead, then at least to somewhere different. Path to something different. Okay. I think there was a guy there who I hit. I'm killed? I'm not sure. And oh, hello! Oh, it's actually just another mill at night. And then the end of that. Let's put our lightning back on. So let's first board and hello. Hi. And a red-eyed mill at night. And, okay, well, we can still stun lock you pretty capably. That's good. And we're out of that, so I'll just dodge out of the way of that, and, okay, cool. Thanks, thanks, and toss, 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 and a couple more. One more, one more. And you are stronger. Okay. So what's in here? Okay. Oh, the Quakestone Hammer, so... Ah, interesting. So did we get, actually, no Battle Axe, or... Let me see. I, Yeah, I did. I think I picked it up in that tower. Ethereal Oak, War Cry, Weep Straight Toward the Enemy, and a Fearsome Roar. Ethereal Oak, Mightiest of Warriors, and that hammer would be... You know what? Let's just equip it and see what it does. No Battle Axe. 
What if I did this? And just see what happens if I... Interesting. Charge attack with that, and Warcry is active right now, I believe. Interesting. It's a cool attack. Okay, so there's nothing past there. The it's got to go back and then go through the shortcut. Okay. Got a lot of cool weapons, but... Not a lot I'm particularly inclined to use. The big thing is, now I've got... Ah, ah. Ah. Enough souls for another cheeky level up, so I think I'll do that. Warcry's in fact lasts a surprising amount of time. Let me see that quickstone hammer then, and... Well, I just can't use that, period. I'm sure if stone, earth itself, all this milled symbolic of that relationship. Great slam, upheave earth, shock that rumbles like a mighty war cry. Then we've also got the Crow Quill, a special paired weapon, Sister Frida, painting the fire, execution of their own brethren. So that's why they were killing the other crows. Thin edged blades in the left hand, substantial illusions of the four thin edged blades. Interesting. Let me see. Like this, we do this, and. Hmm. Got slash and thrust. I guess the question would be if I. Because you can put flame mark on this. The question would be if I did. Oh, um, the cloud does not seem to get the infusion, but I'm not sure. And actually, if I. Hmm. I'd have to test this out on somebody, but whatever. So the Crook Talons, which I won't be using. I mean, none of these I'll really use, but especially if they're mixed damage types, so that decreases the ability I can use them to target weaknesses. Perpendicular slashes, heavy bleeding, infatuation, raptor fury, like a broad set of wins, you know, with consecutive attacks. Interesting. That's a fun one. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Claw, and like this. Hmm. And how would we launch it into a tornado of consecutive attacks? Interesting. And if I upgraded this... So that just keeps going no matter what. Let's try this out, and yep. Two fiery claws. Now that's cool. That said, I don't imagine be as useful as Sellsword. Oh well. What, what, what happened? Okay. Prisoner's chain. I would... Yeah, it was. I would prefer... I would like to request you not die on me. So, let's level up our strength. Put a bit more damage on our hammers. Thank you. Haste thou thy peace discover. Go back to the mountain pass. The depths of the painting. Other things too. Hmm. I wonder if we could take the demon prince down today. That would be a nice goal if possible. Take that. Demon prince is. The first boss of the second DLC. All the the other three are all in same area. Well, technically, actually, the final one is back in the first area, but you have to access it through the second area. It's it's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's an alternate future version of the first area. So, hmm. All right. Slam, hit. There we go. Okay. Go up here. Go up the other shortcut. 
And there we have it. On to the next part of the area. And we do seem to be getting close back to Oriental Chapel. Set it. it. Mm hmm. Wait, so what do you. Did you buy it used then? Let's keep our torch up. Follower torch for our followers. Plus, from the body, comes with fire. Oh, this is much heavier. Interesting. What if. You have the Herald armor? You know. With all the support you give me, I feel like I can at least do that much. And oh, lots of giant flies. That's great. And they take more damage when they're in flying, as one does. Okay. Cool. Okay. These are actually not that hard to deal with. Okay. I suppose. But in a certain sense, that's why you get... You buy one that's lower on the rack. I mean, back of the rack. That is the habit that my mom always tried to ingrain in me. Because you don't know what's happened to the ones in the front. Is that going to be an illusory wall, or... Attacking required ahead, so... Aha! Uh -huh, okay. Interesting. That's smart. Handed to us by the nice lady. It's all down here, then. Then... Can be any more illusory walls, or... More stuff down here, more giant flies. Okay. And... I guess the big question would be... I went for one single hit. Would it deal enough damage for one hit kill, or... Oh, goodness. Okay. I like that you're weak to bludgeoning. It's good for me. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they want to get rid of the stuff. They want to get rid of the stuff that is going to expire faster first. Exactly. And, oh, it's flies with maggots. Or, more accurately, they just have a maggot spit attack. Interesting. They do take double damage while in the air, but it can be hard to guarantee a hit on. Hmm. Oh, alright. Find more stuff. So, I guess this might be underneath Ariandel Chapel. This is clearly the rottenness. Not the source of the rot, and one of the greatest points of rot. Oh, a blood gem! Interesting. Is that... Oh, what? What? Do they have a grab attack? You've got to be kidding me. Of course, there are maggots on me now. Stupid. Luckily, I can just use that to get them off. It is nice that, it, despite this place having maggots, it's also... What? You're kidding. You're kidding. Okay. And frankly, it makes more sense than anything that the flies would have a maggot attack. Or than all those other infested whatevers. Okay, so the ones with glowing eyes, I think, well, they all have glowing eyes, don't they? Whatever. Okay. Just in case, let's take that. Nasty place. Really, really nasty place. Kind of, kind of Hollow Knight, frankly. That's, uh, the one fly in Hollow Knight was actually a pretty pleasant individual. And just dodge out of the way of your grab. And thanks, thanks. Okay. Hmm. You gonna drop a blood jammer? Oh my goodness, die. Oh, please. Human pine resin. Then let's go down back up. It's just... There's gotta be something good down here, right? Not just... Flies and flies and flies, I hope. Who really knows? Okay. One, two... Oh, you just jumped over me. Cool. Slam. Goodbye. What is... Oh, Wilhelm's set. Okay, cool. That was the guy I killed earlier, Sir Wilhelm. Oh, and there's a lever in here, but what that leads to, who knows? This reminds me of the other lever in the first painted world. I'm taking some damage from something, and I can't tell what. Hmm. So what do I... 
dodge the grab and get you. Kill you and hello, hello. Slam, there we go. Okay. And dead individuals, I wonder what is going on. But yet yeah, this mechanism looks exactly like so it just opens. It just opens. Hmm. Imagine that might be unlocking the final boss fight of the area. Or... Wait. Yep. Okay. Back to the door over there, then. Oh, and I can see her sign very slowly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? Statues turned around and okay, so yep, secret door. To presumably the boss one. Hmm. Okay. All right. Ugh. Okay. Ah, it's underneath. Frankly, that just reminds me of the crypt for the Abyss Washers Arena. Ever seeking fire. Mm -hmm. Here we go. All right then. Let's just poke around the rest of this little downstairs area to see if there's anything else to find other than that one Oh, Jim and Bill home set and all these corpse flies. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Interesting. There is yet another hidden area. That's interesting. With a crystal lizard down here. Mm -hmm. Well, alright then. As one does. Slam and one, two. Good thing I checked that suspicious looking archway. And anything over. I think this is depths of the painting. It might be. What is. Can't get over there, can I? Or... Yep, it is. It's depths of the painting now. What if we drop down here? This... Jumping required ahead. I... I'm not sure about that one, but... Huh. Well... Oh, you drop down here gradually. Bit by bit. That's how you get there. Interesting. Okay. And over here is that... Kind of reminds me of the Great Hall in Dark Souls 1. Hmm. Come on, come on. Please have mercy. Where do I want to drop down? Would this be death or would it be... No, I can hold on to that. I can land on that successfully. That's good. Let's go down here and... Every little bit counts. Let's see where the items are. And then... Hmm. Thank you. Keep dropping. Where's that? That arena looks like... I think that's where Dunnel is. The one invading Dark Spirit in here. I think that should be where he invades. And yeah, this looks almost exactly like the ending portion of the original Painted World. This looks like Priscilla, Priscilla's Arena. Paramancer's Party Frame and Two Homeward Bones. Jumping required ahead or... That is funny, because that's how you got there originally in. Skipped originally Dark Souls 1. Plan encounter ahead, therefore Ember required ahead. Thank you. Okay. Cool. So in that case, I think I will simply... Now that we're out of the dark... Hmm. Yeah, but there isn't a way back up, is there? Ah. Oh. Have to... 
How am I gonna get out of here though? No tail ahead. If only I had a tail. This was if not exactly where Priscilla was, it's meaningfully similar. Let's fight Donald here then. Got a few embers, so let's take them on. Then we can put that and there we go. Mad Dark Spirit. Oh he's a mad spirit, okay. Hello there. I think he has Chaos Blade? I'm not sure. One, two, three, slam. Alright. One. And what are you gonna- Okay, one, two, and- Oh, goodness. I- Not great. Not great. I- Okay. Well, the damage you deal is actually not amazing, so I- Alright. Dodge, and- Got your Chaos stuff, and- Luckily, that running attack is- very easy to knock you out of. So, one, two, three. You've got a lot of assets. Okay, oh, alright. And just dodge. One, two, three, four, and. Not even sure you'll drop anything at all. One, two, three, four. And don't fall off, why don't you? Get in close. Please. Okay, you're around here, and that floating chaos is nice and far away from me. Oh, goodness, I... Alright. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Very fighting game of you, frankly. And, okay, alright, I... Okay, cool. Dodge. Hmm. It's an interesting spell, and I'm pretty sure he drops that on death. Dodge, dodge, okay. Wait, what? Oh! Do I have... Do I have Gauntlet of Thorns on right now? I can't tell. I, oh, my goodness, I, that's not good. One, two, and... It's not... Die? He's out of Estus, so the only thing left is... How much FP do you have? I wouldn't be surprised if it was infinite, but... Hmm. Dodge. I should have poised you out of that. There you go. Cool. Goodbye. And we can hit Ford and Chaos now? I think. Yeah, we got Ford and Chaos. I was talking before, actually, and there was a video I saw talking about how... This spell is something that gets used by those demon clerics in Smoldering Lake. See, ceremonial art employed by the clerics of the Smoldering Lake. Fire spitting chaos orb. Chaos burns away the monkey knife. Primordial life born in the bed of chaos. Screed the symbol of Isola's sin. That it can only just spit those three fireballs because spawning a projectile, not an NPC. And the actual enemy equivalent of it is an enemy NPC, not a. not just a projectile. Which. I can't live that drop, but I presume I should be able to live a different drop. Is there anything else down here, or it seems like it. Find a way down that won't kill me. If there is one. Mm -hmm. Well. Alright. I... There's a way down around here. I don't think this is it. It might be worth checking other areas, but the fact that there were homeward bones there suggests that this is kind of a dead end. Let me just check. Weavid Pyromancer Dunnel. Dunnel invade you if you're embered in the bug crypt out. How to get to him. Hmm, let me see. Lucery Walls in Dark Souls 3. In Painted World, one of the archways, crank handle in the crypt, giant flies, shortcut between the crypt, only archway leading out of the room. Dead end. Wait. Huh. Well, out disguised as a dead end. Crypt in the Arundel Chapel? Shortcut bonfire? Let me see. Two crystal wizards? Huh. Rotting Flynn, the NPC invader. I presume that this is... Yeah. Once you get down here, I don't think there's a way back. So we're just gonna have to use that and deal with certain things respawning, I suppose. Okay. Fun! Amazing. At least we got rid of that guy and got a special spell. But it... 
It would only really be good for PvP. The damage isn't amazing. The only big thing about it is providing firing support to kind of mix things up. Okay. Let's go back through them. Keep on looking. Oh, and she's departed. She's gone back. Interesting. Okay. Like I said, in that case, all we can really do now is find go back to Frida and then do a little bit more drag heap. Maybe. Alright. Hello there, hello there, and run in, hammer you, hit you again, and alright. Go back up, go to that crypt behind that chapel. The chapel. Hmm. Go through here then. Some flies to kill. Alright. What else is. Well, there are more flies, but I think that will be about it. Opened up the way to the boss. Alright, and. Thank you. Oh, right, so that was just a drop down. Got double damage while they're flying. Great stuff. One, two. And then, hmm. What is on the other side, though? Swat him out of the air. Oh, boy. This guy's is a dead end, so that allows us to open up some kind of shortcut. I've been told. Let me see. Over here is the worry of a bug. Oh, hello there. Hello. Let's actually just fire a view. There we go. Goodbye. That wasn't too bad. Throw this flame and take two dung pies. Yay, poop. Okay. So what else is around here? Oh, there was some other shortcut. Let me see. And let me... That torch being too much is still kind of crazy. And let's see what else there might be. Some kind of shortcut somewhere, and... Where is this? Let me see. Oriental Chapel, and... Oh, here it is! Here it is. And presumably Alfreda has departed. Now she's over there now, which... interesting. Alright. Mikhail, what do you have to say to me? Leave us be, fashion one. Hmm. Thou art. Okay, same as before, but that would just add a lead of the boss fight, and you are. Waiter at a separate location, some slave not Gale. So he would show up later in the boss fight in phase two onwards. Which is interesting. Doesn't help you the whole way. Okay, so there was another crystal lizard around here, apparently, so... I'm gonna go back to that illusory wall, then. This down here. What I opened up before. What it led to. Okay. That crystal lizard, and I guess the question is... How I'd get to the depths of the painting. Yeah, the light goes away when we do that, so... Look around a little bit more, I suppose. Kill a few more flies for the sake of it. For self-edification. Cool, and... alright. Hmm. Yeah, I... Not sure how I'm gonna get to the depths of the painting, that's the thing. Alright, alright. And slam the hammers, and we're over there now, slightly taking notice, and cool. Dodge, dodge, slam it. Oh my, okay, alright. Slam, and okay. Dodge, dodge, oh my, okay, okay. Take that out to get rid of the maggots, and slam on you, slam on you, and oh goodness, alright. Thanks. Okay. Uh, it is pretty gratifying to be able to just crush all these flies. 
Not the most beloved of animals. Okay. We can just do that to eliminate the maggot threat. And then it's just... I'm not sure I would get to the depths of the painting. So there's that over there, that hidden archway, and aside from that, though, oh my goodness, thanks. Thanks. Okay. Let's take that out and then car this again. Or if I want to be funny, I could just throw stuff at them. Oh, and right, I've got... Don't have the hammer. I mean, I should keep shield on for this. Well, it's not like we, like we fought anything specifically worth fighting, really. Whatever. Okay. Check around, see what else we might be able to find. Probably nothing, really, but still. Okay, and just... Alright. Come on, come on, and... Barely hit. And then... Kill a few more flies over here. Go back through, try to find that other crystal lizard, I guess. Okay, and... Alright. Wow, you are remarkably bad at hitting most of the time, sometimes. Come on, I... Alright. Oh, and the... Interesting. The maggots were doing slight damage to not just bleed build up. Not sure if that was different or the same as before. Oh my goodness. Alright. Then we can spin and... Oh my goodness. Alright. And slam, slam... Dodge, dodge. Oh my goodness. Okay. That did not go as well as I would have liked. Okay, so let's... Poke around a bit again. There was that other archway, which presumably... The lucky said it had two crystal wizards in it. Who knows? Who knows? I don't. It is interesting that the flies drop human pine resin. Because it is obvious that they're eating people. And it makes you wonder if that's because it's, they secrete it because they eat people. Or... They secrete it because they're naturally dark affiliated, and they eat people because they're dark affiliated. Mm -hmm. Chicken of the egg, I guess. So where's- oh, you're right there! Right behind that. Interesting. Oh, what? Huh? Okay, well, alright. One Trump and Titanite, and... I feel like if anywhere would be, depths of the painting, it would probably be around here. Mm -hmm. Or... Maybe not. It's over this way. We went over here then. Mm -hmm. Depths of the painting. Can't tell how I'd get there. Painted world of Ariandel. That's. Huh. Wilhelm. Sister Frida. Kids up there, and Pyramental Dunnel is down there, and so the painting would be one, two. Can't tell where. Ladder, ladder, ladder. I'm trying to figure this out. So the painting ends. Great Wolf, and this is... can't tell where I need to come from. It's weird. Let me see. World of Ariandel. Map 4. That... wait. It's over there, but... wait. Is it? Just... Huh. It's down to there, but so does... I feel like the branches would have to be involved somewhere in order to get down there. I don't see any other way to it. Hmm. Big stone hammer. Or seeker. There. That, that would be to something, or did I? Titan that shard, and this is getting somewhat confusing. 
And the map seems to maybe be a little bit off in some regards, but, um... Mm hmm. Talks about a bell. Huh. Okay. Getting all kinds of confused. There were some other things... Yeah, because they look like branches. That looks to be the depths of the painting. Aw. Oh. Weird. Okay. I just... Clearly, I think I need to go down there to get to where I want to be, but... That doesn't seem to be workable. Hmm. Where to? Where to? Mainly, I just don't want to die, because if I die, I lose this ember, which was, quite frankly, pretty nice to get and have. Why do I want to go down here? I've already been here with Dunnel, but I... Hmm. Well, whatever. This doesn't work. We can work it up, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a way to live that fall. If we can't, depths of the painting are around here. I just don't know what we can do. Suppose the way might be just trying this. It's all flowers, but jumping required ahead. I don't predict I'll be able to survive this, but huh. You know, there's something down there, so we might be able to just barely live this. I'm gonna put on Silver Cat and Ring of Sacrifice just in case. Okay, let's see. And can we live this? We No, we can't! Okay, but we can... There's gotta be a way down there, though, so... Huh. Oh, alright. Hmm. That was interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well... Gotta figure out how to get down there, then. I... Hmm. Might be from... The chapel itself? Or the chapel? Something around the edge that I wanted to check out. Which I couldn't get to. Let's talk to the painter girl and see what she might have to say then. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. You're up here now. It's something. Silence. Thou art Ash. Hello. Thou hast a pact made with Uncle Gale. I suppose so. So I wish to tell thee all. Oh. Ah. If it's to be a cold, dark, and very gentle. Making a new place. painted world. But first, I must see Flame. Mm. I wish to paint a picture of a cold, dark, and very gentle place one day. It will make someone a goodly home. That's why I must see flame. Mm -hmm. I wish to a one day. That's why. All right. For inspiration or to burn away this painting? Well, that would imply that maybe only one painted world can exist at once. For whatever reason, and for a new one to exist, the old one must be obliterated completely and utterly. Yeah, but depths of the painting. Oh, I get there. Painting. Two depths of the painting. It says it's down there, but. Hmm. Oh, you have to cut a rope. Huh? Okay. Weird. 
Or is that rope? Safe zone ahead. What rope is going to get cut? Oh, you have to... That's interesting. You have to destroy the bridge. Oh, okay. And it's just like catacombs of Carthus. Frankly, I should have guessed. Frankly. Okay. Alright then. Time to make my way down. <sighs> go back down here. We're gonna break the bridge. Take us down where we need to go then. Interesting. I did not see that coming at all. Corvians, Corvians. Sorry. It's only gonna be one way, so we hit the bridge. Thank you. What will happen if we break it? It'll break down here and. So that side gets totally destroyed, but this side lets us climb down. Interesting. Okay, cool. So that's how we get to the depths of the painting. Alright. There's gonna be another boss in here before Frida. But not one that should be particularly crazy to fight. Okay, and oh hello. Rhymeboot Moss Clump. Apparently the Faller Saber is somewhere around here. Could be somewhere we drop down, but... Hmm. And you right there are. Okay, alright, and... What? Okay. I did not expect that to happen. Embarrassing. Okay. Interesting. Hmm, hmm, hmm. trying to get the drop on that follower, but clearly that was not in the cards. Okay. That's actually carve this up again. And then we can do this. It is kind of sad that you can't drop down from Dunnell's arena. It is what it is. Though having that ring of sacrifice did save us a little bit of time. Okay, cool. And over this way, thank you. So let's knock the bridge down again. Thanks. Almost. There we go, okay. Drop down, ladder, ladder. Okay, cool. Tell me when I can descend. Cool. It's interesting how they decide when that works or not, because yeah, it's the planks are rungs and the ropes are the sides. It's fine. There are some things here. There's a rhyme blue moss clump and flower saber should be around here, so. So I'm in, Oh, that didn't work at all. Dodge it. Okay, uh, okay. Interesting. Die. Don't knock me off, please. Awfully precarious place for someone to be, frankly. Well, whatever. That's how they want to die, that's how they want to die. Okay, and oh, somebody's shooting stuff at me. Isn't that just peachy? So, let's avoid. And is that a Millwood Knight I hear? Clearly somewhere. I don't like that. And, alright, let's. Oh my, what? I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. Yep, exactly. You don't just have to dodge the arrow. You have to dodge the explosion. Not cestuses, but cestae. Very Latin. So let's take that. Throw this up again. And then we can go over here and go back to the depths of the painting and try to make this actually work and happen. Yeah. Is the boss battle at the bottom is quite frankly more of a mini boss battle, but that's long. Okay. 
you. Thank you. Yep, partially broken. And then we can knock it down again, and there we are. Cool. So in theory, we could have actually accessed this as soon as we got to the chapel. I just didn't know how to do it. Didn't know it was a thing. Alright, cool. Descend over here, and is there anything up there? Anything up there? That's the question. Clearly we can kind of loop around, I think. Maybe. It's possible. But I... Oh, you're right there. I don't like that. Okay. Two, three... Then we could... Oh, you drop... Fall gloves. We already have those, though. We found a way to get up there. We could... Loop back, I suppose, but... Just get out of the way of that. Don't need to run, just need to walk. One, two, three. Okay. Then let's... Let's go up here, and... Nothing! Nice! Okay. And where did... So it can't reach me here, which is good. I don't even know where that Millwood Knight is shooting from. Well, whatever. Not my problem right now. Let's drop down. Kill the Crystal Lizard. Oh, they're high. Slam, and... Oh, my goodness. Let's... You know what? Fall off and die. That'll work, too. Once you die, we'll get your item. Or we yeah, we will. Okay, cool. One, two, three, and roll. Okay, so we're gonna need to get back up somewhere. Then... What is... We're right here. Hello, hello. And... Slam! What else? Then... Get one ember. Not bad. Over here is... Where are you shooting at me from? I don't know. But I... Hmm. I don't hear anything. I mean, I don't, s don't see anything. That's the thing. But okay, so you're clearly up there then. Taking these spirally brambles would be a way to reach you. Find a way up to where that Millwood Knight is. Oh, huh. well, all right. Go up. Can we even, we can go up here. So I, hmm, Flower Saber. Saber? Oh my, okay. Cool, oh, all, all right. Slam, and one more, heal. What, what? Oh, seriously? Oh, he's... He's all the way down there? Okay. Hmm. So that explains some things. So now I know where that knight is sniping me from, so that should be useful. Flower Saber... Would be... First Saber, Prying Wedge. Swings upward, breaking their guard. Chain attacks, roots not worse, taken by the best owned to face men, yet to lose their human aspect or their likely as prey. Onslaught with a fatal blow. Let me see. Okay. Interesting attack, won't be using it. Hmm, alright. Uh, those Millwood Knights are real shooters, literally. So, we'll flame mark again. Keep trying to progress down into the depths of the painting. The Follower Saber is the one unique thing we got there, so I'm glad we picked it up, but... Hmm. So the question is, I don't remember specifically. Was it Twinkling Titanite or Normal Titanite to reinforce that thing? Oh well, whatever. Come on, come on. Hit. And then we can let the rope ladder down again. That was the way to Corvian Settlement. And they're already- Oh, but it- I guess after you hit it once, you don't have to hit it again, it just inevitably breaks. That makes sense. Yes, as soon as the first hit is done, the final death is inevitable. Okay. You know what, let's actually... I mark up 
again, just so we don't have to refresh it. Like we did before, with possibly inopportune timing. Okay, cool, and... One, two, and three, two, three, four, die. Okay. We just gotta take out everyone we can. To ensure that as few enemies as possible get in our way. Do not want to get killed by a Milwitite again. Is that giant blood stain? Okay. And dodge out of the way of that, and... Thank you, and... You can hit me from all the way down there. It's kind of crazy, frankly. But whatever. Okay. And there's somebody else up there shooting at me, too. Great. Okay. So that's why I was confused. There was someone back up, someone up top, and someone down below, and I was getting them confused. I'm getting shot at, as one does. Then... Hmm. To get up top of- oh goodness. What do you mean almost lost you? As in you couldn't see where we were? Hmm. Okay, okay. And... alright. I'm gonna switch out to my... lightning stuff again. Give me... Rings. Oh, 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 as in you almost fell off a, a ladder. Oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm glad you didn't fall off a ladder then. If you were about to fall off a ladder, wait, what, did I quit, quit, no, god damn, kill yourself and go to hell. Ah, I needed to practice quitting out. If I had quit out before I fell, I could have saved that bloodstain. Stupid. So I can't drop down there? Can I just not actually? Is there no way to reach that Millwood Knight? I mean, it's possible. I guess. Oh, stupid. So stupid. I don't... It, it, it would not say. That's not the kind of thing that guides talk about. Or, especially since Google is fucking useless these days, I would have to find some other way to check. Okay. I mean, it's almost all AI. It would be aggravating to find a straight answer to that kind of question. Okay. So let's go over, go back, whatever. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it... Well, well the big thing is that... The, the sort of, the finance team at Google, the monetization team, ended up winning out over the engineers. Basically, the engineers were very much, if you go really heavy on monetizing and advertising, you're going to destroy Google's reputation as a search service, and, you know, because it'll destroy the search service. And because the finance team is just, it's not just that they don't want to be long-term thinkers. It's that they can't be long-term thinkers. And... Let me see. Essentially, at least, or especially in America, Shareholder primacy is basically the most important thing you need to know about business functions, which is basically a business legally cannot operate in the interest of anyone except its shareholders. Which means that it literally has to be focused on next term to the exclusion of everything else. Well, it doesn't theoretically have to, but functionally it does. Because shareholders, as a rule, don't really have an interest in the future of the company, except to the extent that it directly profits them. Which is why you have examples, so many examples of things like, like with Red Lobster, how 
basically a private equity firm bought off Red Lobster, sold all of its land, and had them rent it back, which even if they weren't deliberately intending to destroy the company by doing that, if they were actively attempting to destroy it through legal means, they could they could not have done a better job of it. Because it just made it impossible for them to operate their own business. But let me see. Keep on going. And this was all established in an old landmark court case known as Ford versus Dodge. Question is, can I drop down here? Okay, I can. It was just a weird near miss. Okay, so the one. Millwood Knight, I can. Wait, what? What in the goddamn? This is so stupid. Okay. I, mean, I should be able to get him, but it requires so much precision. I'd probably have to roll off to get closer to the ledge. But it just... Ugh, I am... This is infuriating. And in the end, I guess I don't really have to kill him, but... Mm, whatever. Okay. This is aggravating. I am losing it. Uh, yeah. Assembly. It is interesting how when you equip Prisoner's Chain, it increases your max HP, of course, because you get more vigor, but it doesn't increase your current HP. So it makes you no longer at full HP. I don't know, when I beat a when I beat a hard boss or I'm otherwise not dying in Dark Souls. <clears throat> okay. Level 113. Alright. Vigor, attunement, endurance, vitality. The question is what I want to have for the boss fight. Well, actually, not, not, not really. It's not as bad as you seem to think. If it were really all that bad, I wouldn't be playing this game anymore. Okay, but there's something up there, I think. I have to loop around a lot to get there, though. It's okay. I'm used to it. Thank you. Thank you. And... Hmm, where do I want to go then? Over here. Take that other forward, just in case you try to get me from behind. Yeah, I... I saw someone stream Dark Souls 3. I've seen someone else streaming it right now. Someone from Kozu server, and I offered to help that guy out because he was having a tough time. A really tough time. Okay. Come on, come on. And he's actually been leveling a more conventionally good build than me. As in, he just has a bunch of vigor, strength, and endurance and nothing else not even vitality not even vitality which is the craziest part to me he has basically zero equip load then we get that yeah i didn't want to say it but yeah okay i mean because it's they, they are hard games i'm what in the Really? What the hell? It's just... Sliding off the edge of that is so stupid. I... Oh. oh. It's getting infuriating. It's... Elden Ring platforming is actually really, really good and really, really fun. And it's because you have a lot more control over your jumps. And also, when you get the horse, the horse can double jump. Which is pretty cool. Horse double jump. Okay, well. 
I just... This is starting to drive me mad. You know, if I can get a clear shot on that mill at night... Well, the thing about them is that they're not even jumps. They're drops. That's the, that's the craziest part. You're not supposed to jump, and if I jumped, I would almost certainly overshoot it. Probably what would happen is that I would jump down, land on it successfully, and since usually when you do a jump, when you fall, when you do a jump and fall a long distance, it'll do a roll at the end, and usually that will knock you off whatever you try to land on. This game is hateful and evil. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, it, it really is. It really is. Th this game itself is probably my strongest anti. More than even you. Yeah, it. It's not fun to be in a battle with the mechanics. Oh, but I could just go up here. Yeah! Cower and tremble, I guess. Before we go up, we need to eliminate everything else over here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Dog. Oh my. What? What? Okay. Thanks. One, two, three. Heal. Exactly. I'm not fighting the enemy as I'm fighting the game itself. Which is not how you want to be. What? Huh? Well, you know, we made it, I guess. No, we didn't. We fell upon getting up. What? Excuse me? Now that was stupid. Now that was stupid. Okay. That's just... And I think this raises an inter interesting question of... Dark Souls 1 may be objectively a little jankier and clunkier than Dark Souls 3 was, but it's also a good deal more forgiving. And that's the thing about it, is that the more difficult a game is, and the less room there is for error, the more significant it is when a game has janky mechanics. Because when a game is a bit more forgiving, it doesn't matter as much. You can recover from the game kind of screwing you over sometimes, and that... That was the thing with Fury when I played it, which was... I think it was some time before you started watching, actually. It was a little over a year ago at this point. Yeah, yeah. Well, it can, but then it's just a terrible game. But... Essentially... There was a lot of hitbox jank, and the game in general was just a lot more complicated than it needed to be. And it it would have been better if it was simpler, for one. But the big thing about it is... A lot of the hitboxes were really weird to dodge around, as a game that was at least partially a bullet hell shooter, which is not the way you want to do things, have vague hitboxes, but usually didn't matter because on normal mode, it wasn't all that bad, there were healing mechanics, healing pickups even, just in general it was actually a decently forgiving game. But on higher difficulties that very much stopped being true, because there were no healing pickups, enemies just were a lot more unforgiving. And a lot of the issues of the game became a lot more apparent than they otherwise were. So that's the thing, you have to... You have to strike that balance. Okay. Oh, come on, come on, just... Go down here and... There we go. And... I have to walk out of the way of those and... Find a way to... Oh, goodness, what if I... Okay, we had to roll on there. Alright. 
Thank you. Now we can just shock you to death. Lovely. And what if I dodge, dodge, oh, well, all right. Thanks, thanks. Okay. We'll fight you on more solid ground, which is good. And then one more will do it. Thank you, finally. So what's going to be up top here, then? Okay. Get up top, climb on this branch. I guess the question is, frankly, is it going to be a reward, or is it just going to be a way back to where we were before? I don't know if I'd be happy or mad if we got something good. Because on one hand, you know, a reward's a reward, but on the other hand, it would say, oh yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get this if I hadn't done this really, really aggravating thing, which is frankly way harder than it had to be. Okay, let's try not to die here. So what's up this way, if anything? So it... The only thing you get is a path back up without teleporting. Amazing. Okay. I was actually kind of anticipating that, but actually I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. Because it means that if I had just gone away, I wouldn't have missed anything of significance. And this is garbage enough that I might have ended up just calling it quits eventually anyway. Okay. Cool. And let's keep going down. Go on these branches. And thank you. Thank you, Millwood Knight. You're gonna shoot at me. Okay, cool. Let's go down here. Whittle by whittle and dodge and slam the hammers down. Anything over here or no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we've been here before. Oh, there's that Millwood Knight. Okay, so interesting. Big question is, what if we take these off and put our miracle setup back on to kill the other guy? Let's roll on the way to that then and Thanks, spell ring on, and we don't need that much, actually, so dodge. All we need is enough lightning to shoot at you. Dodge, and so this is how we get down here, this is how we get down here. Thanks, 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 thank you, thank you, and drink. Oh, thanks, all right, and... That's a fall that can be easily survived then. Thanks. Alright. So even without Sage's Ring, we still deal enough, have enough speed to take them out decently. Okay, so after all that pain and suffering we got through, lots of blood stain, and we would have been able to get another level up by now if that hadn't been the case, but that's life. Yeah. And we put on Prisoner's Chain, and Pont of Eye, and... Okay, we're good, we're Gucci. So the question is, what would be up here? Ooh, that leads to something. There's gonna be a bonfire down here, which will lead to... Grave Tender Wolf, I believe, and... Oh, it's nothing, it's just... You get to touch... Ice. Okay. No, let's do... Let's do the whole funny Dark Souls 2 joke where you say, try, try tongue. I'll tell you to lick an icicle. Hopefully someone will get here and find it funny enough. Objects, body parts, tongue's gotta be here. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. So, comedy. And the bonfire should be in this general vicinity. Yep, it's right here, depths of the painting, and around somewhere is... That a fro frozen crab? Let me see that. Mm -hmm. That is no secret ahead. Yeah, yeah. How sad. This is... Could this be a lava? No. Depths of the painting we got here. Good. Okay. Wanna see. 
PS3, giant crab, and a wiki dot, great crab, and painted world is weak to... Painted world is weak to fire. Okay, strike and fire. Hmm. So the big difference between the Pharaoh Keep Crabs and the Road to Sacrifices Crab Crabs are just the Pharaoh Keep Crabs are immune to poison, which makes sense because they live in the poison swamp. Okay, cool. Well, are those millets coming back? I think they probably would, but... Yeah, that... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Let's see what else is around here first. This just leads over to where Dunnel was. Where a pincer attack. Wait, is this... Where Champion is... Actually? Wait. Oh, so would it just be underneath Dunnel's arena? That's fun. Either way, first priority is going to be killing the crabs over here so what I can maybe grab from that. We do that and then we fight Frida. Hello there, hello. Hi. Dodge. Mm, dodge. And... Do something. Thanks. And slam. Oh, but another? Another? Okay. One, two... Three, four, and... Okay, please. Alright. I, did, I didn't think there'd be multiple. Alright, okay, alright. Mm -hmm. Where'd the other one come from? I... Alright. And dodge, and... Around there, and swing, and hit, roll, roll, and... Mm -hmm. Dodge, and hit, hit. Oh my, oh, alright. And squeeze. Roll. We're close, we're close, and... Well, alright. We got frostbitten, but we're not dead. One, two. And we could... Dodge. One, two, three. Finally, dead crab. Okay. Probably want to... part this up again soon. So just... Dodge, dodge, and... Thanks. Slam. Okay. Dodge, and... Oh, well, alright. Dodge! One, two, three, four. Slam! Dodge! Uh, got too far away for that. I wonder if we could actually visceral. One, two, three. No! Hmm. Actually, I think the underside seemed to be more effective. Dropped a crystal gem. So what else is going to be over here, then? That Millwood Knight, who doesn't see us right now, thankfully. And oh, more tree women. I think this is where we could get snap freeze? Not entirely sure. Here we are. Tree women, thank you. Frost, my... Oh, but you're stronger than the others. Okay. Homeward bone. Then you're over here. Hello. One, two, three, four. And... What's very interesting is that these are, to my knowledge, the only enemies in the game that are actually specifically weakest physical-wise to standard damage. Which might seem weird, except for the fact that standard damage is what axes you. So very specifically, it's them being weak to axes. Happiness. Here we go. Oh, so what I hear? She might. Oh, okay. She might be the one who talks about Solomon. Oh, oh, what? Huh? Oh, you move. They can move. Okay. That's new. Huh. Okay. Just tears up, Carthus Flamework, and. <laughs> no, right, we wanted to do that again, and then. Taking on the crabs. 
two on one wasn't actually horrible, but it'd be better to do it one on one. So where are you over here? Far away as possible. And oh, they just interesting. I did not expect that. And okay, so one just surfaces after enough time, regardless of what you're doing. Okay, one two. Do oh, nice. Move in and can we? Oh, we messed that up. We messed that up. We missed our opportunity for the critical. All right, and dodge. Oh, please. Time for crab, as always. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Swing. And one dead crab. Nice. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, we got too close. Okay. Dodge. Okay. And. What was that noise? Hope it wasn't in the woods. One, two, three, four. Slam and. Okay. One, two. Okay, did I? So is it hitting the main body or hitting the pincers? I couldn't tell, frankly. Well, whatever. We'll be alright. In that case, we're going back. Honestly, we may as well use the twin blades. They're slightly better. Not as good as standard, but they're, they're the best option we have right now, so... One, two, three, four. Nice and fast. Okay. Cool. And oh, they don't. I don't think they drop any souls, actually. Interesting. One, two, three, four. No, they just. I think they just dropped them earlier than I first saw and expected. Okay. One, two, three. And. Okay. One over there, and if we don't get too close, I think she should actually... I talk about Solovon. See? Crying. So some people believe that she was the mother of Pontiff Solovon from earlier. Or I guess she's just crying. Okay. One, two, three, four. And you're pretty tough, but... Pillage remains. Snap freeze. Nice. Snap freeze. Freezing mist and happiness. Yeah, I guess. Let's teleport back. Okay. Bonfire last rested at. I'm gonna look up. Is there freezing mist? Is there another? Spell for me to get? I think there was. Mm -hmm. Snap Freeze. Dark Souls 3. Huh? Free. Frozen Weapon. Frostbite comes from. Weaponry spells. Well, it's actually counting spells as weaponry, so it's just frozen weapon and snap freeze, actually. So I gotta see what the upcoming boss is weak to. They're all very weak to fire, I believe, so. Let me see. Grave Tender and Great Wolf. So. Strike and Fire are. Good. Let me see. Fire. Fire. Yeah, we could just spam crit chaos bed vestiges. I think that's what I'll do, actually. Just gotta go back to Firelink, change out my S's to get lots more. Passion. Let me go full Pyromancer. Crestfallen might otherwise be overcome with despair. Hmm. We could try using Sage's Ring, but uh, got decent enough virtual dexterity for casting. It's not great, but it's okay. 
Oh, but right, we can't use tears if we're doing that. There we go. Cool. It's the only spell we need now. For now. That parting flame, hideous spouse, which might refer to Priscilla. Echoes of death is an offering parting flame that's spirit damned and wander the lands. This, interestingly enough, is usually weaker, but it has a flame trail, which makes it more damaging, but only if used in melee. So it's very, very situational. Well, somewhat, somewhat situational. You know what? That'll put us right below anyway. And use the funny onion armor. There we go, cool. Fight those wolves. I don't predict they'll be crazy, crazy. Back to depths of the painting and chill. Okay. Hmm. The big question to me is... There's about enough space for two more areas. Actually, more like three. So I'm wondering if Ring City and Drag Keep are going to be separate. Like the Michelin Man? I can see that. Hmm. Fair. Whatever hmm. this way. I guess we want to be funny, we could actually attune to yours, use it, and then unattune it, and the effect would stay. Eh, whatever. Pincer attack, and... Should be around here, then. Hello. Hi. Is the arena right under Donald's, actually? Fine. Alright. Alright, then, and... Champion's Grave Tender. So what is this image? And... Boom! Okay. So a direct hit deals a good amount of damage, but you get very, very dodgy. Okay. Cool. Boom, and... Oh, nice. All right. I, okay. Mm -hmm. so, oh, what? All right. Mm -hmm. So, that wasn't what I expected. Big thing is... A direct hit, you probably need to do after... Dodge deals very, very good damage, but so we're right at 50 right there. It's a tune tears just to cast it once. And then we'll unattune it in favor of cast by messages. Then that in place and it won't remove the effect. Because doing a check like that would actually be harder than just letting it stay. Imagine if every time you change your spells, it checked to make sure any of the effects you had could come from those spells. I guess it's an idea, but not one I particularly enjoy. Okay. So we're full pyro right now. Do have our tears up, so. Hello there. Hi. Got that. And what is interesting is that there's no fog wall or anything. Dodge and another wolf. Once we do that, we'll just toss that at you and another wolf. Okay, hit and. Oh, what? Alright. Hmm. How many? More and another. Thank you. Cool. Hmm. -hmm. Can't use that right at the moment. Have to kill the big wolf. And. Okay, even through the shield, we deal good damage. And, oh my goodness, alright. And... Is the big wolf coming, or... When is the big wolf coming? Let's go to your three initial wolves, so... Dodge it. Okay, oh goodness. He's got an interesting weapon that is... A combination sword and shield. Not like in Pokemon, though. Okay. Come on. And this isn't really something we can use for Poise Break, sadly. At least his fire resistance isn't crazy. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Grave Tender Grey Wolf is coming. I don't like that. I, okay. So where is... where are you? Okay, so if he bursts you down, we can make this easier. Boom! Okay, alright. Oh, okay. 
Uh-uh. Oh, and now we're using spells. So, all right. Okay. Cool. And... Dodge, dodge. Okay, you're dead now. That's good. Yeah. Well, we fought a couple of these guys before, actually. Boom and boom. Okay. Oh, well, all right. But you're... The, the one consolation is that... It is exceptionally weak to fire damage. Okay. So we can... Oh, what? Something more wolves? Or... Now you're red-eyed. I... Okay. Frostbite. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. You're an actual threat. Okay. Cool. Yeah, fair. What? Huh? Okay. The big thing is, I'm not sure how it actually... Oh, when it does its raw spot attack, I need to run towards it, not away from it. That's the big thing. Okay. Well, let's reattune. Let's put in tears real quick and cast it. Even if I can't cast it again, because I don't have the slots for it, it's nice to have tears at least. One... Save my butt effect. Mm -hmm. It'd be funny to try floating chaos, but it's just it's not a good spell. It wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, but the wolf is more trouble than I expected. I expected the guy to be more of a problem. Also, I like that there's just never a fog wall. It's a draw it's a one way drop down. And that's it. All right, then. Hello there. Hi, and can we... Toss and... Boom. Oh, well, we... Okay. Interesting. Boom and... Okay, we got you. Oh, that's good. And... Oh, what? All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dodge and... Hit and... Boom, boom, boom and... All right, I... Dodge. Heal, heal. And... Oh, come on. I got it. Mm -hmm. Jump and... Toss, slam, and dodge. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. You have to, you have to figure it out. And just oh, all right. I, okay. Hmm. Okay. See the flower petals, which is nice. Very anime, frankly. And oh wow, you could. That was faster than I expected. So honestly, sage ring might be good to have. For this fight. Oh goodness. I alright. Sage ring in favor of one of the other rings I've been using. Maybe. Oh whatever. I okay. Dodge. Come on. Come on. Do oh! We hit. Did a counter hit, but I okay. Mmm, I alright. Mm. You're actually top. Boom. Okay. Hit and how did you dodge that? Okay. Annoying. At least you're... Oh, please. Dodge it. Mm. Oh, but... The wolf is taking good damage. That's the good thing. And... Oh, please. I... Alright. Just... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We need to run, 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 run. And... Okay. Huh. What am I... What am I doing? What am I even doing? Okay, just... Oh, please. I... Alright, alright. And... Oh. Uh. What? What? Okay. Why do you get to breathe ice? Okay. You're kidding. I dodge and we toss, toss it. Okay. One more in. Mm hmm. This is tough. And this dodge, dodge, and run, run as fast as we can. So if we start running pretty much immediately, we can get out of the way. But only if, only if. That's an what? Oh come on! I all right. Toss it. Okay. And boom, and okay, oh, okay, all right. Hmm. This is a lot tougher than I expected. Luckily, we can actually get through that. So dodge. Okay, one more, one more, and boom. And now the only thing we need to do is kill the grave tender. And I don't know. Okay. Wait, did did killing the wolf kill the guy? I couldn't tell. All right. 
Champion's Bones and Valor Heart. Okay. Champion's Bones allowing you to unlock undead matches, turn but warm bones of a champion. Card to fight to celebrate undeath, preserve what remained of their souls. Matches were born. As written in dance, grow to go for such a creature, then a fight that has no end. Well, the other big wolves in the earlier area, they actually just died when they reached half HP. Their big HP bar was basically just for show. The other ones are not like that. But let me just see. Champ, Grave Tender, and Great Wolf. If you. Let me see. Oh! It's the same wolf! Each defeat reduces its boss HP by 10%. So fighting the wolf in the other areas doesn't die, it was just fleeing. Interesting. Okay. Every time you defeat it, it just reduces its HP a little. Oh, okay. Interesting. Mm -mm. I guess that I must have ended up accidentally hitting the other guy. I couldn't tell. Hmm. But we got... Valor Heart, which is interesting, because it's a combination sword and shield. Standard Strike and Thrust. Special Straight Sword. Broadsword and Lion Shield. Champion of the match. Right, but that wasn't the champion we fought. We fought the Grave Tender. This is mine, Page, and a One Wolf, because, yep, it was his Page. Normal attack with Shield up. Shield Bash for the Lion's Roar. You probably did. I was too focused on trying to live when I had no HP. Oh, and yep, you can just use it as a standard shield, but... Stance up and... Thrust with the shield up. So while guarding. Interesting. That's cool. I mean, I'm not going to be using that, but... Okay. Hmm. Figure out how we want to take down Frida then. Well, you know, it's a job. A job's a job. Right now, Champions, Grave Tender. Want to see if there's anything else in the arena. One at a time, be wary of beating to a pulp. Oh, because this is where we came from. Okay. Someone has to do it. It may be a thankless job, but. Well, if it's thankless, then it's my fault, isn't it? For not thanking you. So this is where we needed to be. This is Donald's Arena, and that's down from the crypts. Goodness. Yeah, because what weapon did he... What weapon would he have used? Is that just a standard Claymore? I guess. Oh, so what I was seeing before from Donald's Arena, it was not a random hollow. It was the Grave Tender at the Wolves. So that's cool. Right below the settlement. And go to the chapel after, well, leveling up. Okay. Let's go back to Firelink. And then... Ah! Ah! Okay. Get a level of something. Switching things around. Okay, so... Tumen wouldn't give us another slot, and we don't really need FP for that fight, so... Vitality is one idea. Would be more armor. Probably Vitality and... Vigor or Endurance? Honestly, probably Endurance. And for next level we need 8, 2, 1, 3, 4. That's... One of these big Crestfall Night Souls. And then, two of these. Then we need about 3,000 more. Let's see how much of this gives. Ah, pretty much perfect. There we go. Level up and get a bit more endurance. Cool. Alright then. 
So we should attune. We don't need hardly any Ash and Estus for the fight. We're not going to be using spells, and that would be way too slow. So, 14 of these and one Ash and Flask, just in case. Oh! Actually, honestly, honestly, all 15 normal Estus, because this fight is. This fight is vile. Get our Sorcerer Twin Blades back. Switch back to the build we were using before with. Don't need Dark Moons, so we take. Pontiff Eye and. Still Protection. Would be able to get a better version from Wing City, but this is fine. Night King. Ancient Legend. They forgot his name is Rendell. And he's still on the inside. Towns of Mighty Dragons. Did him a little harm. Okay, so in that case, let's. So we can wear. Herald Armor. Nameless Night Helm. Then what would put us within range? Sword Gauntlet. And it's just. We'll take these. We'll, we'll be a cell sword, because we're using the cell swords. So. Tears, just so we can cast it. And then. Tears and Carthus Waymark, and that will be what we need for this way. As long as we can reapply things. Actually, actually, have this Sean in the other hand, because I'm not going to need to switch it ever, really, so. Okay, remember that we've got a good amount of stuff, so let's go back to Ariandel Chapel, take on the boss. I'm just finishing the rice real quick. Pre-fight energy. Hmm. It was an interesting idea adding the seasoning. The water the rice was boiled in. But unlike the tea, which also is kind of fraught, a lot was lost in the process in a physical sense. Okay. Okay. No thanks. Ah, oh, with a flambeurge. Go through. Oh. Every handle. Mm. So he whips himself with a flail to produce blood to drown out the flame. And for bravery. All right. The guy that we just saw, he is combined with this gal. They're the final bosses of this icy painted world area I'm in right now. Kind of see the mountains out through there. And the entire deal is that the painting has started to rot due to age. So the world itself has begun to rot and flies have taken over. And they want to preserve the world instead of destroying it and starting again. So he uses his blood to put out the fire. Hello, Father Ariandel. Talk. When talking to him, starts the fight. There's this big basin, which is kind of reminiscent of a Lord Vessel, and also kind of reminiscent of the fire giant in Elden Ring. Uh, it's basically one of those, a giant version of one of those crow people, it seems. Came just in time. Nice and ember. Like so 
So once we manage to beat these guys, we'll get access to the second DLC. Which we figure I could also do some other way, but this is more interesting. Okay, the ice howling, and... Hello there. Oh? Tis only the flame My own blood? Misguided, misguided ash. ash. What's interesting is that since I did a side quest, she mentioned that I was the Lord of Hollows. She's actually the sister of another NPC of Yuria. So, all right, thanks. Hello, friend. How much damage you'll deal to me if I run in it. Slash. Okay, cool. Hmm. Dodge! Oh, goodness. We gotta stun lock you. Okay. She's basically the Lady Maria. Also, Arlequino's fighting style is arguably based on her to some extent. Her and Lady Maria. And now she's invisible. Great. Okay. Where are. Oh, wow. Okay. Thanks. Alright. And. Oh, alright. And. Dodge. One. Two. Dodge. Oh. Hmm. And you're kidding. How am I gonna do this? Dodge! Dodge! What a- Okay, cool. One, two, three, and- Okay, you got out of the way. I don't like that. And- Ooh, alright. And- What? Okay. Oh, we could actually. Stunning out of that. Impressive. Okay. Cool, cool. And we need more Karthus. Okay. So before you do something else, let's- out of the way, and... Okay, I heard somebody or something. This is worrisome. No, oh, what? Oh, come on. At least that's only half health. Okay, all right, and... Okay. One... What? No, no, no. Please. Oh, you are despicable. I... Don't... Oh, please, I... I know there's a way to see her, if you're smart, but... Two, three... There we are. Okay, one more hit on you. Okay. Slash, and... Well, okay, alright. Okay, no, oh, please. One more... Okay, well, my tears are down. That's not good. Hmm. It's time for part two of the fight. This is a three-phase fight. It's part of what makes it so hard. I said I could try backstabbing her. That would probably make things easier, and given how crap my build is, I probably need to do that. Blood... Right to the big bowl. Okay. Hmm. So he hadn't. Oh, right, because he was averting his eyes. Exactly. Someone's not happy about this. Oh, but right, because he was... He was chained to his chair, and his chair chained to the floor. And the blood will catch flame. Alright. And yep! Second phase, the arena gets bigger. How exciting. Thankfully, this fire isn't dealing damage to me. The flame is in that bowl. It's interesting that they were actively setting things on fire just to try to get rid of me. Is she Ember now? Presumably. Hmm. Well, alright. Hmm. You can see the edges of her clothing getting all. Fiery. Interesting. Okay, heal and so should probably put flame mark back up. But both of them are targets in this phase of the fight. And every Yandel is probably the better one. One, two. Do oh, okay. Dodge. Dodge and mm, dodge. Oh, alright. Mm. Kozu is already gone. They never stay for long. Okay. Two. 
Okay, come on. Oh, all right. And come on, Frost. And now I'm dead. Don't worry. Oh, so she says that again. See her again. That's fun. Well, both Airy Handle and Frida are actually targets during the second phase of the fight. Airy Handle may be slower, but he's also bulkier. I need to use one to separate the other. Hmm, okay. Light that up. Hmm. Get that back just for more flame marks in the future, and... Yeah, I do wonder if I could try backstabbing her. That would be useful. Hello, hello. Said the... Sla oh, well, alright. One, two, three, and... That still hit, which is nice. Oh, well, we could... One, two, three. Good stuff, and... Okay, alright, and... Mm -hmm. Heal, and just... What if you... Where did you go? Oh, we can chase you down! That's fun. We know what we're doing, and... Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, alright. One, two, three, four. Okay, alright. And. Two, oh, please. Dodge, dodge. And thanks. One, two. There we go. Not for phase two. Okay. I. No comment. No comment. want to try to hit then. You're over there. Okay, interesting. Oh, alright. Okay, cool. And can we... Hmm. One, two. Dodge! Oh, please. Uh, alright. Let's heal. Yeah, I guess... It, it, it makes me wonder why people who don't seem to want to be dating men date men. Oh, okay. Alright. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I, alright. Run in, slash, slash, slash. Okay. Actually, I... Dodge it. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and one, two. All right, and oh, is he getting healed? I think he's getting. Oh no, you're kidding. Okay, all right, and so we dodged that successfully. Okay, that was good. So what if? Oh, please. One, two, three, four, and okay, we want. We could go for the full combo. That was impressive. Huh. Oh, they were Chinese? Okay, interesting. Okay, dodge. Mm, I don't like that. Don't like that. And slash and dodge. Okay. One. Two, oh, what? Alright, uh, interesting. Wasn't expecting that much damage from that. Okay. One. Dodge, dodge. Oh, please. Do okay. Two. Mm. One. Alright, you're chasing. Alright, and. One, two, and dodge, dodge. Mm. Ah. Alright, then. Okay. Thanks. One, two. Okay, there we go. Ariadle's down, which means. On a final phase. Okay, cool. Play mark up, and. We got the Titanite Slab because that phase ended, so. The fight's not over yet. Black Flame Frida. Oh, interesting. It's one heck of a start. And just dodge. Okay. One, two, and what? What? Okay. What? What? Goodness. Okay. One, two, three, and ah, oh, this is tough. Slash it. Mm. One, two. Thank you for the fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just. Oh, you're kidding. Where did you go? Where did you go? Just dodge, dodge. Uh, why do you have to be so invisible? Stupid. I. 
appear already and let me hit you. Okay. Charge. Oh, alright. I was not expecting that degree of power. Dodge. Oh, alright. What if I. One, two, three, four, and. Okay. Narrowly. Narrow, 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 and. What? Okay, alright. Mm. Thanks, thanks. Come on. Okay. Yes, it is. The one big jumping spin attack and plunge that Orokino does is technically the first Souls instance of that would be Lady Maria. But Sister Frida does the same thing with a scythe, so. It could be argued, and I would argue with it. Frida is the more accurate inspiration. I guess when she's invisible, I should try chasing her down still. That's the thing. This? There are people who consider this to be the hardest fight in the base game. I mean, in Tower Game, even harder than the second DLC's bosses. It's I'm not sure what I think about that, but... Dodge... Oh, please. The, the timing on that is... Yeah, I... This one is not... I'm not winning this one. Return from whence thou camest. Here surely awaits thee. Yeah, but, you know, she's talking about being Lord of Hollows and Yuria. Basically saying, it's okay to give up. You can still get one of the better endings. Well, you can still technically get the best ending, because... Never has a Souls DLC actually changed. The ending of the game. All the ending, the endings are all always just base. Yeah, you know, sometimes there are th things that happen during the DLCs that arguably are closer to actual endings, but never do you have to do the DLC to get an ending. Dodge and one, one, two, three, four, and okay, all right. Hmm. Maybe I should have played unlocked. Go for your stance. And... Oh, oh alright, I wasn't expecting that. One, two, three. Alright, and heal. I. Mm -mm. Alright, and. Okay, now you're over there, so. Dodge. And... Where are you? Okay. Oh, well, I. Okay. Okay, I thought that would be more dodgeable than it was. Dodge. Okay. One, two. Okay. Dodge. Hmm. One. What are you gonna do now? Uh, really? One. Please. I. It'd be nice if I could see your feet or something. I mean footprints, like I could with Priscilla. Oh come on. Uh, dodge. 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 Oh what? No? Huh? Excuse me. I. All right. And. Just kill me already. I, okay. I can't win this. Okay. Hmm. Return from whence okay. Here you surely awaits thee. Yeah, this. This is tough. I guess I could try using a shield, maybe. I don't know. But. So getting the dodge timing down better, and the DPS of <clears throat> Twin Blades is important enough, frankly. Can't afford to just rid myself of it. As in, in the pair form. Or maybe if I want to be fun, I could try Quirk Wills. That would be amusing, but eh. So the question would be the damage and scaling be like. Especially because I'm not sure how the resources to upgrade at the moment, and. Oh, well, I, one, two, three, and dodge. Ah, come on. I, all right, thanks. Ah. Oh, all right, I, okay. Wow. That was ludicrous. Get over here. One, and, okay, now you're over there, so. Which way did you go? Did you go? And one, two, three. Okay, so actually, it's not such a bad idea to try to chase her down, because if I do, 
should in theory be able to get her mid dodge. Okay. Interesting. That is tough. Okay. One. Okay. Now you're over there and can tell a bit by way of things. Moving, moving, and okay. One, two. Oh, thanks. Move in and okay. What are we gonna do? Dodge. Okay. Ah, oh, thanks. Not. Okay, so. Went over that way. One, two, three. Okay, alright. Huh. There are limits to what I can actually. Really? Really? Okay, well, actually, got that down. Two. Mmm. Oh, please. Alright. Dodge. Thanks. Alright, okay. One and. Run over that way, so. One, two, and. Alright. Slash and okay, oh, all right. Slash, okay, cool. And don't kill me, please. Don't kill me. I just ah. First phase is honestly oh, one I have the hardest time with. Okay, there we go. Well, and then third phase, of course. But you know, that's life. Slash, 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 slash. Okay, cool. So we got that a bit down. Isn't it nice that they share an HP bar? Isn't it nice that they share an HP bar? Okay. The Riandle is the bigger target by far, but... Okay, there are limits to what I can do with that. Okay. Okay, and thank you. One, two, three. Oh, please. Uh, all right. Thanks. Uh, it's an interesting concept, but... Mm, okay. Spreads it across the ground. Dodge, thank you, and... I feel like... Some of that might be good too. One, two, dodge. One, two, three, four. And did that. Oh, nice! We can actually visceral him. That's fun. I mean, not visceral, but critical, so. One, two. And you know, there we go. Pleasantly simple phase two. Because of all the fire. I. I well, quite frankly, yes, because, among other things, the big thing is that, oh my goodness, I dodged, oh wow, okay, Do oh, well, alright, and thanks, well, what, oh, what are you doing now, I okay, where are you going? Where are you going? And I, all right, thanks. Just out of the way. And thank you. Okay. And we didn't break your invincibility. Would have have to hit you to break your invincibility. So what? Dodge. Oh, what? No, Arlequino teleports too. You just haven't done the fight, and you never will because you quit the game, which is probably good. Probably healthy. I know. What I'm saying is that Arlequino has a teleport too. It's just. She only does that in the second phase of the fight and the second half of phase one. So it's. I only ever did that fight once on stream for real. First was a story mode version, which is not the same. Okay. So we're gonna fight Frida again and hopefully not. Lose as much essence this time. I should focus on bulk, maybe. It's an idea. Two, three, and that did not hit. DPS is quite good. Honestly, I feel like dark or fire clutch written might actually end up being better. Dodge, dodge. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, I'm saying that because you clearly don't want to go back to playing the game. And I'm trying to help you feel better about your decision. Oh, oh, what? Okay. Well, you said it was incredibly stressful for you. Oh, that launches you? Okay. Well, that's weird. Okay. Which way did you go? And just... Where are you? Where can I find you? I... Alright, and... Do oh, what? No, seriously. This... 
Well, if you, there are things you have to do, then clearly they're not things you want to do. Which means... You might like the idea of going back to the game in theory, but only in theory. Clearly over there. I, okay. Come on and... Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, a little bit is left. Let's carve this up again real quick. I'm gonna use too many at least. Do oh, alright. Dodge it. Slash. Thank you. Heal. Go in. Okay, before all that, let's take you down. One, two, three. Nice! Good damage. Oriental, maybe. Gulk here, but he also is. Do okay, alright. And. Do oh, okay, thanks. Heal, heal. And Oh, well, alright, and come on, come on, come on, uh, alright. I have to wait until he gets in a position where I can really, really hit him. Well, and, oh, well, alright. Mm -hmm. Come on, just, ah, oh. dodge, 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 okay, thanks. This is a good spot to be in, but dodge, okay, thanks. Dodge, okay, and... Slash, dodge, what? Come on, I... Alright, you are clearly going to... One... What? Okay. Weird. Why does he have ice on him? Okay, whatever. I, okay. One, two, three, four, five, and... Okay, oh, right, and... Dodge, thank you for the explosion. One, two... Okay, one... One, two... Three. There we go. Okay, cool. Time for the last phase. That's not bad, at least. It is funny how it just drops a Titanite Slab at the end of phase two. I guess what's interesting is that means there's a reward for the fight, even if you can't beat Black Flame Free. Fire's still decent against her, even in this phase, actually. While I'm using the buff. Oh, also, I just don't have another thing to do, but... Oh, okay, I alright. It's not expecting that. Cool. And then just... Dodge that and... Can I... Dodge. One, two, three. Hmm. Tough. What are you going... Oh my goodness. Where are you? Where are you going? And... I'm over there, so clearly... Or not, and... Which way are you going? I... Gotta run around a bit more until we find you. Uh, thanks, and, Oh my goodness, okay. That's a one tap. That's a one tap. Okay. Alright, uh, okay, alright, and. Dodge, okay. One, two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, alright, and. Dodge. Oh, please, uh, alright. And dodge, dodge, oh, what? Huh? How did that do so much damage? Okay. What? Okay. Guess the question is... Is she doing more fire or ice damage in that phase? Huh. I... Let's see. Uh, dark damage in addition to... So she deals magic damage, fire damage, and dark damage. Pretty much everything except lightning. So I think, honestly, we should take... That could be okay, actually. Speckled, because three out of four of those are getting dealt pretty significantly. Sure, why not? Okay. Now this... It's a cool fight. Might be a bit beyond my pay grade right now. Maybe. Guess the question is, what could I reasonably do that I'm not doing already? That said, frankly, I'm not sure I'd get that much out of... I'm getting that much out of... Pontiff Ring, because I'm not hitting her. She's evasive enough that I'm not getting too many hits in at once. Okay. What? Okay, alright. Cool. That's already lost. Total lost cause. Okay. Okay. 
Cool. I was, I was just adjusting the weird chair set by hand. Okay. It's basically, it's a wooden chair with this old paper envelope I put on it to, to protect it from getting roughed up by the amplifier I use as a sort of booster so I can actually hit, sit on my dodge. Okay, thanks. What? Thanks. One, two, and okay. Dodge. Oh, what? No. That was insufferable. Let's go back and get this and then try again. It. It isn't incredibly uncomfortable, but it's okay. And quite frankly, having a chair that's too comfortable is not a good thing. Because. I need to concentrate a little. If you have a chair that's too soft, you won't be able to concentrate as much. Okay. I guess maximizing dark and fire resistance might be a good idea. We'll see. Uh, I mean, the backstabber would be good. We'll see. Come on, dodge! Let's see if we can... Mm, we have to be speedy to backstab her, but... Dodge, and... Okay. One, two... Dodge! Dodge! One... Okay, I... Alright. Mm. Where did you go? I... Mm. What is breaking? I... Alright, and... Dodge! Oh, what? I guess... Staying as far away as possible might be the best idea. Because I, I just don't know where she comes from. And, of course you do, stupid. Dodge it. Oh, what? Okay. One, two, three. D yeah, I... Not gonna happen. Tracker. Snow the opposite way. Oh, floating chaos tracks her when she's invisible. That's an idea, I suppose. But it would also mean not being able to use Carthus Playmark. I always have to be really silly with how we cast tears at the start of this. I don't know. The dust clone goes left, she went left. I mean, left, she goes right. Because if it's big and central, quote unquote, apparently she jumps behind you. Okay. One, two, three, four. Nice. So she's not all that durable, but one. And she went to the right, so. Where did she? Dodge. Okay, where are you? Dodge. Okay. What? Huh? Okay. All right. I. Okay. Cool. I guess. No way. What? Oh. Stupid. Dodge. So she went behind me then. So I. Dodge. Okay. Thanks. One, two, three, four, and oh. All right. Come on. Oh, all right. And, uh, dodge to wait. It's tough. And so she went that way, which means... Over here? Over here? Okay. Well, 
Fun. Okay. And you're over that way then, so. Okay, one, two, three, four, and. One more hit, one more hit, and. Oh, please. I oh, come on. Let me. Slash, and. No, where did you go? No, literally. And just. But actually, where are you? Okay. Slash. There we go. Okay, cool. Nice. Let's cut this up again. It's an okay phase one. Not impressive, but... On. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks. Okay. So if we get every handle between us and Frida, we could... Or we can deal bonus damage by hitting both of them at once if we really know what we're doing. Three, four, and five. Okay. We're frostbitten, but that's fine. One, two, three. Thank you, and let me just... The pause to... Alright! That was easy. Okay. Thank you. Hello, hello. Just go on black flame mode now. Okay. The big thing is, I think we have to dodge behind her when she does her big jump attack. Is that flame, big flame drill goes out to kind of track us. Yeah, okay. Dodge! Okay. Well, behind is good, but we have to get more behind than we thought we did. Dodge, 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 okay, dodge, dodge. What? What? Huh? You're- What? Okay. Just gets so much harder in that phase. Big thing, I guess, is if I... Uh, take her down. I just need to stay in the center part of the arena. Because she was... She got me stuck against that corner. And that was, at least in part, why I failed. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh. I guess... When it says left, does, does it mean my left, or...? Do okay, we didn't dodge in time. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Dodge! Oh, what? 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 Okay. I'm not expecting that. Just the variance she can do... She can just do... Sometimes she does the big running upswing, sometimes she does the spinning slash, and it... There's gotta be some kind of tell, but I don't know what it is. Hmm. Okay. Put our buff on. Run. There we go. She is also actually quite weak to the Twin Spears, if I recall correctly. It could be worth a try. Well, we can see. Okay. One, two, three, four, and dodge. Hmm. Yeah, we got about a third of her health down right there. Go. Oh, well. Really? Okay. And she went over there, so... Or, or, okay, dodge, do, okay, alright, and... One, two, three, four, do, oh, alright, and... Thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Slash, okay. Slash, two, oh, please, that... Alright. We went over there, so... Can we find you? Well, if we find you... We're not gonna find you. I, okay. I guess the dust cloud was just weird because of. Oh, stupid. I, all right. Thanks. Okay. Dodge. Uh. I'm gonna try the spears once. 
Wouldn't be able to wear as much armor, though. That said, I don't predict it would make all that much of a difference. And yeah, we... I am not going to try using... I need another defensive ring, frankly. Okay. Let's see. That's it. 302. Spears are it. Three oh five. The big question is just whether the increased reach would help us out, and if so, how much? Be able to hit from a bit farther away. It could counteract a bit of her dodginess. But standard will be tolerable. But she's also weaker to pierce and such. Also, I believe. Okay, it says 444, but that's clearly because of uh, other stuff. Not just this. Let's see how all these spears work. Dodge. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four. And. Oh, I. Yep, it's really, really bad. Actually. Because. Yep, it. Nothing hits. Because. of the way the twin blades work. Well, because the spears go straight forward and she dodges that to the side a lot, which means it's just not an option. Okay. It was an interesting idea. It was an interesting idea. But frankly, I think, actually wearing the Pyromancer outfit, we have it, might be our best of that. It was, a, it was an interesting idea. It was an interesting idea. So these bad boys are going to be my option again. Crow quills are interesting. Okay. I presume sharp would be the best option, but interesting that I actually have less than that. Mm -hmm. Rust and slash, but yeah, because I. Mm hmm. Yeah, the fact that all of the attacks of Twin Blades have some horizontal element, or that is that is very very good. Let's see if we can. Death Crown is funny. Magic, magic attacks. I should have been using that before. Let me see. Crown of Dusk. And does it? Magic damage from spells, so it, it's only magic damage, it's not all spells like it was previously. Conjurator Hood. It's good, and it's got really good elemental resistances, too. So, yeah, Conjurator and Chats. Then let's see what we can wear instead of this. Better have better fire resistance. Grass armor, less fire, but more dark. Though on average, that should be better. Hmm. Let's see. So I can get fire and dark. Frankly, is priority. So elemental attacks are vile. And good night, still too much. Good night, pontiff night, pontiff night better against lightning and dark. Okay, cool. So we have our very, very silly outfit now. You know, I'm willing to look stupid if it means I win. I think that's actually the right mindset. The right mindset to have. Okay. Take Frida down. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Please, please, I beg of you. Oh, dodge! Okay, one, two, three. Okay, no, you jumped away, and... Hmm. Okay, well, we dodged more than we needed to, but that's live. Okay, cool. Thank you. And just... Before you do that, let's just actually... If we stick close, we can prevent most of 
That's silliness. Okay, all right, and... I just don't disappear. Let's stay on you. Do oh, well, that's faster than I expected. One, two, three. Dodge, dodge. Oh, come on. All right, and... Mm -hmm. Okay, her attacks actually don't have all that much range, which is... Okay. Where is... Where are you? One, two. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, and... Oh, please. All right. Huh. Oh. Where are you going next then? And slash, slash, oh, come on. Slash, oh, please, and I, slash, okay, cool. Heal. Yeah, that was a bit silly. Okay. Let's just slash and, oh, come on, I need Karthus then. Karthus back. Then, what are you gonna do? Okay. One, two, three. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, all right, lava. As one does, I guess. Wait, don't tell me she disappeared. No, she didn't, that's good. Okay, one, two, one. Okay. Did I... Dodge, oh, all right, thanks. Okay. And dodge. Oh, okay, please. Oh, please, can I... One, two, and... Da... Okay, what? 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 Okay. Mava, I... Had not seen him do this attack before. Alright, okay. Come on, and... Just... Slash you up. One, and... One more attack, one more attack. There we go, okay. Cool. So it's time... For another attempt at Blackland mode. Okay. And there's no way to skip past this at all, predictably. Hello there. Oh, and she instantly heals up any damage taken there, which makes sense. Dodge! Okay, please. Uh, uh, I just don't know what I should do to dodge that. I, okay. Dodge, okay, thanks. Thanks, and, okay. Dodge, dodge, uh, what? Okay. So many ludicrous attacks. Okay, so you're behind me then. Slash up you and thank you. Okay, and dodge that. Okay. Cool. So being able to read that pattern is crucial for victory here. Oh, come on. Okay, what? Oh, and that didn't work quite in the way I wanted it to. Okay, cool. And just dodge and that frostbite buildup is Something awful! Oh, please, come on. Oh, come on. Heal. Dodge, dodge, dodge. What? Alright. And this is not happening. Uh. Why is your combo potential as ridiculous as it is? Thanks. I slash one, two, three, four. Okay. And you have so much more HP in this mode. Okay, one, two, and I... Okay. Yeah, she has at least double the HP in this form, and she does it in first phase. That said... Not sure if I should switch things back to be more defensively oriented. Wizard's chain is good, that's for sure. More HP is always good, and what? Hmm. I'm actually not sure though. Maybe. More stamina is very useful because I've been running out of stamina a lot during this fight. That's the trouble. Hello, hello. Go for it. What are you gonna do? And just. Oh, alright, and thanks. One, two, three, dodge. Oh, come on, I. Alright. Dodge. One, two. Oh, please. Come on. Okay. Thank you. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. You're over there then, so. 
Here we go. Kinda. Dodge, dodge. One, two, three. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, alright. Oh, oh. Alright. Oh, come on. Heal. Shame that Estus isn't all that good at. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, please. And you're over there. One, two. Okay. Knocked you out of that, which is good. And one, two. Three. Dodge. And oh, please. You've got to be kidding me. One, two. One, two, three. Dodge. Oh. Oh. Hmm. This is going really badly. Really badly. Slash, slash it. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Karthus! And, alright, let's just dodge. Okay, dodge. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Oh, what? Alright, I. Oh, stupid. Okay. I simply cannot try at all to hit freedom in that phase. I have to go for every handle. Nothing else will work. Okay. I'm just glad that I don't have to upgrade armor. It's one fewer thing to have to worry about. Fixing up. And I can just, you know, change my clothes. For the sake of better resistances. This is just... It's a long fight. So the blood stand's empty now, which is some really frankly kind of really okay. One, two, and dodge. One, two, three, four. Alright. Thanks. And you went over that way, which means Oh. Well. Dodge. One, two, three. Do oh, alright, and oh, come on. Got to be kidding me. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Better at that, but oh, okay. One, two, dodge, dodge, and dodge, slash, slash, oh, unless you dodge out of the way. Okay, so I. Mm -hmm. You can dodge. One, two, three. There we go. That actually worked quite well. Okay. Don't have our tears up, which is going to be some trouble most likely, but that's fine. Okay. Come on. Two, three, and one, two, three, four. Dodge. Okay. Dodge. Have a little bit And just heal. I mean... Do that. Play mark. Up it. Okay. Keep on using your range attacks. Just go ahead and. Thanks. But support. Cool. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three. Dodge, dodge. Mm. I tried. One, two. And big explosion. Thanks, thanks. One, two, three. One, two. One. One. Okay, cool. There we go. And do we actually have enough to cast tears? We do. And one more flame on it. Okay. Okay. am I going to dodge? Where is she? Okay, she's right over there. Hi! Dodge all the way that and Oh, what? Okay. Gotta keep on dodging that. Dodge, and... Thanks, thanks, and heal, heal. But, oh, well, okay. What? What? Execution? Okay. That was one heck of an attack. Dodge. Oh, please. I, okay. 
Dodge, dodge. Mm. Okay. What can I punish, though? I reasonably punish. Okay, here. Help, oh, hello, hello. Dodge. Oh, please, you imbecile. Go on over that way. And slash, slash. Oh. We hit you once, but I won't do much. One, one, two, three. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Mm -hmm. Okay. What if I... One, uh... Dodge. Thanks. And one... Uh, you can only get so many... So few attacks on you at once. Okay. Thanks. Okay. And wave your eyes. Oh, well, alright. Thanks, thanks. What? Okay. Annoying. Nonsense. Okay, cool. You'll end. What? What? Oh, please. I oh, stupid, stupid. Heal, heal, and dodge. And, I mm, and I'm out of fire. Out of fire. It's just slashing at this point, and alright. And what? Huh? Of course she has a command grab. Oh, damn. But I... Stupid. Uh, the issue is, it's just... The hardest part of the fight is, without a doubt, just how long it is. There are so many moving parts. And Air Randall Swings may be the easiest. But it's still something you have to deal with. And even having Max Estes is not a perfect solution. Dodge! Okay, cool. Oh, but I can't punish that. I, it's not even punishable! That's ridiculous. She just makes it explode. Okay. Thank you, so... And over that way, and hello there. Hi, one, two. Okay. Oh, I got a few hits off at once. Okay, so the big thing is, I dodged the wrong way for that. One, two. One, two, three, four. Thank you, all right, and what are you gonna do now? Okay. Thanks, and you went over this way, which is, I hear you. Slash dodge, okay, cool. One, two, okay, we got that, nice. How's that going? Who is? Take out Ariandel. One, two, and dodge, dodge, do oh, alright, thanks, thanks, okay, cool. Okay, and while you're there, well, two, dodge, dodge, and, uh, please, I okay, alright. One, two, ah, uh, he is a bruiser. No. I thought I'd be able to try to take him on, not from behind. Try to do it from the front, and that's not an option. So we not an option. What? Okay. Come on, come on. I okay. Heal, heal. It's gonna be tough. And thanks to your fire breath or something. One, two, three. Okay, whatever. One, two, three. God, what? Ah, oh, please. Okay. What? Stupid. And have my own subjects to guide. It's really just Slave Knight Gale is not as bad. He's not as fast and not as dodgy. Even if he may be maybe a bit more of a bruiser. And Medir is bad, but I'll be using a bow on him, which should hopefully make some things work out a little better. But with Frida, there's just no cheese. You either have it or you don't. Oh. Come on. It's just lots and lots of stuff. If you, if you need... You need the mechanics. Okay. Dodge. Okay. One, two, three. That did not hit. The more we go for in the combo, the better. So I... You're around here. Hello there. Hi. One, two, three. 
Let's you take your time with that. Dodge. Okay. That went pretty well for a phase. One, and dodge. Okay. Oh. Okay. You can do now. You're gonna... Okay. Then we... You're over this way. One, two, three. Or not. Okay, and just... Dodge. Okay, so dodging behind helps, but... There we go. Only one flash used. Let me start the next phase. Okay. Alright. Getting close. Okay. Well, the more we can get away from Ariana to focus on, I mean, from free to focus on Ariana, the better. Two, three, four, and dodge. Okay, thanks, thanks, and we get our caucus back. Okay, cool. Yeah, but she's focusing on range support, which is good for me relatively. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So she should be in heal mode, heal mode, heal mode. Okay. Thank you. So we'll just get you down. One, two, three. Or not, or not. One, two. Oh my goodness, that's fast. Dodge, dodge. Mm -hmm. One, two. Okay, cool. Alright. And she fell down, I suppose, because... It was his fire sustaining her. It's hard to tell, I'm just saying. Okay. Okay, but now I kind of know how to dodge her big attack. That said, playing unlocked might actually be better. Yeah, just jump, jump, and can we run in? How can we do this? Dodge, and dodge, okay. What if we dodge? Okay. One, two, three. And, okay, alright. And, oh, please. Oh, dodge. Hmm. Fire. And, which you want behind me, so. Hello, hello. Dodge. Oh, please. Alright. You're kidding me. And just dodge, thanks. Okay. Hmm. Dodge. Okay, we gotta. Stay in range. And one, two, and just gotta learn those dodge timings, really. Nothing else to do. It's just pure pure mechanical skill or lack thereof. And, oh please. Uh, what? Oh, come on it. Dodge. Oh, please. Dodge. Oh, what? That I couldn't dodge it that way? Okay, cool. Alright. Just what? Really? Really another execution? You're kidding. Okay. Dodge, dodge, oh, please, and I, uh, dodge, dodge, oh, one, two, dodge, uh, you can't punish that, you can't punish that, no good way to punish, once you go for your disappearance, we'll do, do that, dodge, what, okay, I had a really good phase one, a decent phase two, and phase three just killed me again. It's just... I think you've learned a very valuable lesson, which is... Do not buy tech gifts for old people. Because they will make it your problem. Hopefully. Fair. But I guess... I don't know. It depends on how much of a problem you feel it is. Oh, well, alright. And Okay. Dodge. One, two. What? Ah, oh, please. There's so much poise. One, two. Mm -hmm. Final phase freed is just ridiculous. And, okay, she did the big one, which means she's right over there. Hi. One, two, three, four. And, alright, that didn't quite work. Thanks. Okay. Heal. The more you disappear, the better. Oh, that that would be good. Okay. I didn't know that was something that was big there. Having to check the vitals. Oh, come on. Alright. Thanks. 
One, two, three, and there we go. Heal. Uh, okay. All right then. Slash, slash, slash. Bit of extra damage at the start. Thank you, thank you. As long as it helps. As long as it helps you out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Frost bitten. That's oh the explosion. Oh, does he not do that usually? Not a good message checker. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I'm getting healed. Okay, and just uh, all right. So one, two, three, four. And what? All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I. Okay. One. Dodge. Dodge. Please. Okay. One, two, three. Four and can I duck? Okay, there we go. We can the post on you. Lovely. Okay. This is what we have now. Okay. Uh, the real question is, could I find a way to get in when she does that big attack? Does the big explosion, the big plunge, sort of dodge to the side and then sort of forward and in? in? forward into the sun? Wait, it's called Poo? Like, Winnie the Poo? Really? Okay. One, one, two, dodge. Oh, what? Okay. One, all right, and, okay, all right, and, mm, okay. Is there any relation? Okay. Whatever that way, then. Hi, hello. One, two, three. That is... The invisibility attack is actually probably the best one to punish. What do you mean by theoretically? They mostly just do other kinds of music then. It, thank you for executing me. Great. That makes me so happy. Okay, dodge and... Thanks. Okay. One and... Dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. What if I move in? It's slash, dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay. Oh, please. Oh, because... But either way, I presume it's because they're not actually all that hard, so to speak. One... Oh. Like, can't interrupt you like I would like to. One, two... Okay, if, it, if I know what I'm doing, that's actually pretty punishable. Okay, just disappear and... What, that way? Should be over... Oh, okay, hello. One, two, and... Ah, oh, please. They hit you once. What are you doing? Slash and... Oh, well, what? Okay. We weren't fast enough. We weren't nearly fast enough. Okay. Cool. And just... Do oh! Well, alright. And dodge. What?! Okay. So the timing on that is entirely different. That's stupid. Okay. So actually, the best one to punish is when she goes behind us. Interesting. Okay. She goes in front of us. Not. Oh, okay, so they are. Now I see. That makes sense. Well, in the end, it's Italy. Who knows? My logic falls apart when it comes to these kinds of things. Okay. Just. Uh, dodge. One, two, three, and that didn't work. Fair enough. Maybe that's for the better. Dodge it. Okay, cool. Dodge it. One. Nope. That didn't work. And you went over that way. Thanks. One, two. Oh, okay. Dodge. One, two, three. That didn't hit. Come on. About Captain Hook. Oh, so you're presuming it would be sort of a Disney-related band? Maybe? Dodge. Do oh, well, I, that was a terrible phase one. Okay. I just... I was trying to space out... Space out the side attacks, but... It didn't work too well. It's a silly, funny guy. Who isn't these days, frankly? 
Let's use that. Let's car this way, Mark, and come on, come on. Is that? What do you mean got destroyed? People made fun of him because it was silly. I guess. Oh, all right. Come on, get over here. Dodge. One, two, and oh, that didn't connect. Dumb. The ice twinkling sound sounds kind of like that. Okay. Kind of like the crystal wizard sounds. Oh, come on. All right. Not good enough. Oh, wow. Thought people would have been less serious about the poos. Okay. One. Okay. And. Oh, please. I... All right. Do okay. What? I didn't do enough damage to knock her out of invisibility? Okay. Weird. I okay. And just. One, two. Like it kind of very specifically on the edge. I can make that happen. So, hello. One, two, three. Four and oh well, all right and goodness. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. What? Okay. One, two. Hmm. Oh. And now you're right behind me. Thanks. Two, three, four, and no, that didn't work. So two hits or so seem to be necessary to knock her out of that phase. And dodge, okay, and slash, and dodge, slash, okay, cool. There we go. Alright. Hmm. The idea is, the more we keep Frida away from our yandle, the more we can hit him ourselves. That should be useful. Okay, alright. Yes. Alright. Oh, and you're invisible now. Fun. Dodge. Oh, but you're also healing. Two, three, four, and how much more? One. Okay, thanks. Hold down and go for the critical and alright, and just slash. There we go. Cool. Out of the way of that. That was a really, really good phase too. We didn't even take damage. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It is funny how much of a joke phase two is, honestly. And dodge, dodge. Okay, move in it. Slash, slash, two. Or not. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, slash and. Miss, I guess. Okay. Uh, you are crazy. But it. Which way did you go? You went up behind me, so. Slash, one. Oh, come on, you imbecile. Sl okay, and. You went over. What? Okay. Come on. And I. Now you're. Where? Where are you? I just. Don't do that one attack, please. I, okay. Come on. You're over there, and. What behind me again? Now we need to, as soon as we see you, we run and slash you up, and, okay, cool. Dodge, 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 okay, come on, come on, and now we can do that and heal, heal. Ah. Dodge, okay, one, two, three, and, or not, three. Hmm, what are you gonna do, and dodge, okay, cool, and, ah, oh, that was really annoying to try to punish. Did not successfully punish. And just... Dodge! Oh, please. Not a punishable attack. I guess. And dodge! Okay. One, two. Dodge. Oh, what? No, 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 no. That attack is actually very similar to one of our Latinos, actually. Okay, cool. And what are you going to do now? Got you done a half. It's good. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks. I was not expecting that. Which, in the way, but... Combo, combo! Okay. Huh. And you're gonna... Dodge, dodge, up away that end. One, two... Ah, oh, we got a hit in. One. What else are you gonna do? Okay, and... 
launch us. Oh, gonna dodge. Thank you. One, two. Don't. No, 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 no. Got a panic roll. And, oh, come on. Come on. And one, and two. Dodge. Okay, nice. That was good to dodge. Okay, we're, we're close. Now you're behind me, so slash up, slash you, and oh, you're still not invisible anymore. Good, good. Okay. Cannot afford to leave any chance of dying. One, two, and slash up, two. Okay, just a couple more hits. Dodge, and thank you for the execution. Die! Fare thee well, Sister Frida. You fought well. Okay. That's it. So is Sister Frida. Amber restored. Okay. Silly figured out what to do eventually. No, this place is just burning, burning. Beast, but brings the champion. Fine work, yep. Now, this is the normal bonfire, but the one back there will lead us to next DLC. Fine work, let's check out the soul. Soul of Sister Frida. Frida was the first Ash to enter the painting, but together with the good father, they chose a rod over fire. Okay. Let's go home real quick. We can get a level up, which is nice, and then progress a little into the drag heap, I suppose. Oh. Ring City, I predict, is going to take some time. This should go for a little while longer if I want to beat it on Saturday. Tournament could be. So we'll go for Peter. Okay. Thank you. Fair. Hmm. And don't talk to the painting girl again, among other things. Let's go back here. And it's interesting that this is actually afterwards. Because it's, it's a secret. It's a complete and utter secret. Unless you break that bridge down, you won't see anything. Back in the painted world, this totally non damaging fire. Hmm. Okay. Check this out and see what this painting has to say. Oh, also, oh, there was that one guy. The Corvian settlement, too. Those who want can fire. Ah, those who don't know fire. Those absorbed by fire must not paint the world. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten Mother. Mother? Maybe that would be Priscilla. Very, very pale. Looks kind of Priscilla esque. So would it be Donald and Priscilla? I can hear the fire crackle and soon. So there were a couple of other Corvian NPCs in other parts of the area. I want to see if they have anything special to say now that I've lit, lit this place on fire. Oh! Did you not see me kill Sister Frida? Yeah. Yeah. It was hard fought, but I learned how to dodge her attacks. Yeah, I, I should have just died again. I should have just died again, right? Okay. So here you are. Oh. Okay, so she has nothing to he has nothing to say because Okay. So now that the painting's on fire, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. So we're actually gonna move on to the next part of the DLC, I think. We should also be There was another Corvian NPC around here. Who I'd like to talk to because he also wanted this place to burn instead of rotting. Come on, come on. A couple more things to see. Exactly! We, you can see me die some other time. It'll definitely happen. So, we have you right here. Anything special to say? Or. Is he dead? Is he dead? 
another Corvian around this place. Let me let me just check that. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Corvian settlement. Corvian settler. Speak to him just outside his house and he'll give you a Titanite slab. Okay. Gotta go back then. Oh well, oh well. This should be around here somewhere. Oh, right, there he is. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, my, thank you. I can hear the crackling from here. The sound of my home. The painting of adding dirt. Burning away. Mmm. Got a time, that's that. The world rots. We set it afire. For the sake of the next world. It's the one thing we do right, unlike those fools on the outside. <laughs> when the world gets the one thing. Hmm. What is interesting is that it suggests that the best ending is probably the end of Fire One, because it implies that Fire will come back eventually. After a period of dormancy. Ward of Hollows one might be... It's probably not the best. It's... I think the worst is probably continuing the cycle, but... Not good either. Victory? Now the real fight begins. Travel to the Dreg Heap. Gotta wonder why there's one of those there. But either way, it's on to DLC 2. <clears throat> Wipe this up and see where it sends us. Alright. Bonfire lit. This is bonfire ends. Travel end. Okay, this is the drag heap, so presumably the next one will be Ring City and the final one would be Kiln? Possibly. Hmm. Well, alright. It would probably be good to, to get a few more ash and flasks before I proceed too far. Yeah, we're getting to 23, but I don't think... I'm not sure we'll be able to get to 25 in any stat, but if, it, if we did, I'll probably put it in faith. Maybe. Pontify back on. Because that way, with Priestess's Ring, I can get to 30 faith, which is enough to use Lightning Blade. Should be a pretty good option to use against Soul of Cinder. Where was I going and what was I doing? Right, I was all wanting Estus, right? That is what me. Thank you. This will be good for now. It will be very nice to get back to Elden Ring and be able to change that out at any side of grace. Tune and take Fire Organ Lightning Spear. Okay. Go back to the Drag Heap. It's the question is, is the best option would be weapon wise, maybe. Because using the Priestess Ring would allow me to eventually get Dark Blade. And here it is, it's... The world is collapsing in on itself. There's fire... Is that fire? What? Let me see. Let me see the sun at all? I think it would be a dark sun eclipse. Oh, your head's square on your shoulders. It's actually more round. I thought that clamoring tin can was the last. Tin okay. can? That'd be a laugh, I believe. And what is it you want from this old stone-armed hag? I've nothing for you, not a smithereen. I just like to stand here and take in the view. Well, that came out of nowhere. Another pilgrim. You think an old stone out hag would be brimming with goodies? <laughs> Who knows? I've none of that. She does sell some things. It's 
keep rowing. Purchase. Oh, we get split leave from her. Interesting. Well, you know, I guess we may as well buy it. Hmm. Long handled greatsword. Steel, exceedingly heavy, split leaf, veins of a leaf. But it's not actually a greatsword. It's brought to the halberd, but specifically it's a guandao. At the close of the age of fire. All lands meet at the end of the earth. Great kingdoms and anemic townships will be one and the same. Like a great crunch. A great tide of human enterprise. All for naught. Hmm. That's why I'm so taken by this grand sight. This must be what it's like to be a god. Mm. Oh, if you just can't stop yourself, at least hear this. Far below. Out of a tree. Dark so down cold, there. Carved out of a tree. Where we'd fight the demon prince, I believe. From time to time, voices brim from the depths of the cavity, even now. Matterings of the merry demon. Yep, the exactly. Prince the demon prince that will be in soil. Horrible sounds of an afflicted thing, yet cursing men. Hmm. At the close, great king, that there. Okay. Keep your marvels intact, love. At least until I lose mine. Yes. Street what done. Oh, if you father from the pot. Okay. Keep your marvels. So, take the plunge. You won't die. To drop down into those. Piles of ash. Well, I... If I beat Sister Frida, I think I've earned myself a bathroom break, so I'll be right back. Let's see, and I did. Side bath, side door, elevator. I got all those already.
Alright. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to turn off my mic. Alright. That's life. Okay, so we got our stuff going. Honestly, I might stay with Twin Blades right now. It depends on what shows up. It doesn't matter much. Okay. Went through here, and yep. Big pile of ash. You know, even if it was, that's life. Much to my chagrin, I do still have bodily functions. That's, oh, but I, mm, that's right, and you are. Oh, interesting. What are these guys? Oh, the Merkmen. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Wait, what? Okay. And that didn't work as well as I would have liked. Wait, am I? Huh? Huh? Well, that's strange. Is there a limit to when you can... Interesting. Mad Dark Spirit Candy Coin. So that's why I couldn't do it. Okay, cool. Alright, and... Oh, come on. I... One, two, three, four, and... Okay, alright, and die. And the rest should... Die soon? Oh, but... You do have ontological inertia. Okay. Cool. I guess the question is where you would be. Oh, come on. Alright, y'all. Oh, come on, you... Imbecile. I... Just go away. Go away right now. Okay, you... Mongrel, you monster! I... Despise you! Kill yourself and go to hell! Fuck you! Actually, fuck you. <laughs> it's... You don't get to point down after invading someone. What a fucking bastard. I hope he... I hope he probably trips and falls off the cliff or something. Okay. Okay. My, my patience is increasingly running out. Okay. How many Merkmen are there? Are you, even are there here? Okay, one, two. Oh, nice. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Soul of a weary war. What? Huh? A grab attack? Really? Okay. And I just want to know what they're weak to. It's clearly not that. And wait, what? Huh? What was that? Is that a spell or just transform into something as a sort of suicide attack or? Okay, I just need to see what the work that are actually weak to. Hmm. Rise from the depths. They're weak to fire and strike. Okay, so it's, the hammers are back. I I shouldn't be surprised by this anymore. I shouldn't be surprised when the hammers end up being my best option in any given case. So we're right at equip load. Project 50. Where's the nightly outfit? I don't need that. It, it really is. It's gone kind of crazy. How much it really is just the hammers. Okay. And is there anything over here? Oh, yeah, there is. Just an ember. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't think I'll be using that all that much. The big thing is that Demon Prince is gonna... Not sure what I'm gonna want to use against it. Mm -hmm. Hi, hello. Thanks. Oh, okay, and... Killed a couple, but the others that we summon will still be over here. Luckily, this is easy. Two, three, and four. Alright, and are there more? There's one more summoner, okay. One, two, and another. Thanks. It's the rest of them. Two, three, four, and oh, oh, oh. Alright, and okay. Wonder if I could get their Shotel. There's a dead dragon. That must make you sad. And nothing quite over here, I suppose. Uh, huh. Keep 
people I'm moving in. Oh, another Merc man, thanks. One, two, three. Okay, and apparently that murky long staff can be a really good dark casting tool at times. It depends. Hmm. Let's see. Try plunging attack on me. Because they're joking that it's just the river again. Ah, okay, these Herald Knights are... That's the question. What, what would they be... Oh, please. And, all right. Huh. They're weak to lightning, I think. Or are they? I really cannot tell. And I'm not sure if they respawn or not, either. But I... Hmm. If you want to fight them, I should... Okay. Alright. You need to look up what those guys are weak to. They're basically the Deep Accursed. Hmm. That big two-handed slam jump is one of their attacks. It's their weapon art. And you can use it in... Okay. They are decently weak to lightning and and thrust. Huh. Okay. Interesting. So I will use lightning on them. It's an option and an idea. Okay. Okay. Hmm. It's just... I hadn't summoned anyone, and I wasn't embered. I mean, I was embered, but... Last invasion I'd done was a Dark Moon one some time ago, so I guess... That would still make me invadable, but... Such a long time ago. Well, it is. It's not a cool I think it's... A pure toggle, so... That makes sense. Oh, they're high, and... Deep Soul or Great Deep Soul? I can't tell which it was. Should be another one up here. Thank you. More Merkman. Thank you. And hit. Yep, so all that's left is going to be these guys crawling on the ground. Okay. Cool. Two. Thanks. One, two. Oh, well, you still hit me. Okay. Smack. And. Okay. Well, we need to switch to. Miracle related stuff. Let's take our clutch ring on. Put our clutch ring on and take something off. Right, we just don't equip that for now. And okay. Hello there. Hello, Herald Knight. Can we hit you here or. No, no, we can't. Wait. Oh, and you took some fall damage, I think. And alright. Mm -hmm. And alright. And we're gonna jump at the end here. What? Thank you, and come on, come on. Oh, what? What? Okay. Toss and Ash and Essus. Okay. Can we stick you over here? Can we get you stuck over here? Yeah, you get stuck on this little wall. That's funny. Bro cannot go over. Okay, eventually it worked, but it took time. Okay, and that is enough, long enough to dodge. And another, another, and boom, there we go. It was cool. And it's not a guaranteed drop in them, but... Oh, they dropped Titanite Chunks, that's cool. Not a guaranteed drop in them, but you can get their sword, the Herald Knight Kirk Greatsword. And it lets you do that big guillotine slam. Which is pretty cool. That, yeah. Pawn dips red eye. No, I did not mean to do that one. Ah, oh, stupid. Well, we should be fine until we get back to a bonfire. Whatever. Wrong ring, wrong ring. And I'll put that on there, maybe. Still have Karthus, which is honestly the important thing. See, Dark Sun equips, just like it was at Author Castle. Another Titanite chunk. Oh, so there are a good amount of Titanite chunks here. So I'm not sure what else I'm going to be trying to level up right now. I don't think anything really. Maybe actually the Priest Chime, if I want to use 
faith related weapon buffs, but aside from that, Aquaman Dagger. That lets you do some magic stuff with the dagger. It's an interesting idea. Let me just try it out real quick. Let's see. Marine Dagger, Aquaman Crystal, turn to World of Incident, set off on great travels. Crystal Blade, only can have to swing as a straight sword. Bit of magic. Hmm, let's see. And if I do this, well, not like that. And. Wait. Huh. Oh, it's a stance. It doesn't hardly take any. FP. Oh, that's really cool. It's basically basically a lightsaber. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Fleeting blue crystal blade. Aquamarine crystal. Very specific. Okay. Well, nothing up there that I can get to as far as I know. It was just... We got that dagger as a reward for that little encounter with the Herald Legion Knight. So we got some Titanite. Need eight, full, eight more in order to get... Priest Charm level, because it would be our best option for weapon buffs, I believe. Maybe. It depends on how many we get in other places. Alright, thank you. And who is where? Hello there, hi. Two and do I see a big merc man? Yeah, don't do your big attack that kills you, please. Thanks. Okay. What else is gonna be in here? Twinkling Titan Knight and Oh, thanks. Clearly wanting to do that grab attack. And, oh, really? Really? Okay. Suit yourself. So where might any others be? others be, and can't go up that, which I wasn't expecting to be able to, but still. Huh. And, oh, hello there, hands. Oh, with a staff! So occasionally, I think they drop their staff, the Moki Long staff. Like I was saying, it can be an interesting option for dark sorceries, and its skill makes it really pretty good for dark damage, but I think in the end... I'm pretty sure that Isla's staff is still better in all the ways that matter. What's here? We got the murky hand side. Oh, so that's a that's a drop, actually. Not a... I mean, an item pickup, not an enemy drop. And hello there. And... Alright. Thank you. And... Okay. Dodge! Okay. Oh, interesting. And then you just die. What do you remember? Okay. Interesting. So are you sure you want to say it then? Well, I guess you are. Or you could be really mean and say you remember something and then just not tell me. I wouldn't like that though. Rookie hand side is... Wait, is it not with the other curved swords? Does it count as a reaper or something? Is that... It's not even a category this one, right? Let me see, let me find this thing, and... Serpent Hatchet, Sea Pass Shields... Murky Hand Side, Murky Hand Side, where are you? Oh, is it a dagger? It's a dagger! Quick Step, Lock Down to Target, Sure Step to Hand Side, Black Dampness, the Strength of Dark. It's got okay-ish dark damage. Uh, well, I guess... Is it, you know, a sort of, are you born that way, or is it conditioning? Oh, an angel's there. We have an angel. Take the plunge. Let me see. This is an alternate thing to the pilgrim butterfly. Dispatch directly. Run in and dodge. Curse build up. Not aggressive. Aggressive and unkillable. Kill the stone-humped hag. 
good creature, wanderer, grower. Ah, uh, okay, corresponding. They don't respawn. They didn't body. Water ring, curse damage. Golden aura. Let's hide out. And to be dispatched directly. They are weak to dark. Not that it matters, because they just respawn the angels in eternally. Okay, they're very weak to slash. And to dark. The trees below them. Less weak to strike. Interesting. Okay, cool. Alright. Take the plunge and Oh, it's Gale! Thank you, thank you. Go down here and... Alright, what's this way? Come on, Divine Blessing and... Oh, goodness. Alright. That's big damage. That's a lot of damage. And oh my goodness. I, okay. Wow. Alright. Huh. This is a Lightning Urn and... Eventually, we will be able to take that thing out permanently, but it'll take some time. Let me just see where else I could go to. Dropping down there would not be a great idea, presumably. Presumably, so... What if I went over here? What if I went over this way? And got this. This still protection, plus three. Okay. Cool, and I... Okay, dodge. Alright, alright. Thanks. Hmm. Okay. Alright. It's a nice ring to have, actually. Especially since I'm pretty sure they deal physical damage, actually. It's, it's an idea. Or I could be funny and just kill them with... How much HP do they have? We have... Oh, goodness. Wookie page isn't loading. Okay, they have... Actually, they don't have much HP. Hmm. Interesting. In that case, let's get Lightning, Spear, and... Dark Black Fire Orb. Not that one, not that one. Okay, cool. Alright. This should be useful for us. Maybe, possibly. Let's take one out to see if we get anything good for our trouble. Probably not. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Go down to that ash and... Start taking out the Merkman Summoners. This one is pretty far away, but two, three, and another one over here, or no, over there, okay, and slam, slam. Oh, thanks, thanks. Great, great. Then we can dodge you out of there and slam, nice. Now we got just you. Dodge it. Mm, that grab attack's annoying. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the corpses in Cathedral of the Deep, frankly. And just one, two. Mm. There we go. Okay. Just got to drop back down to where I was before. There we go. We fall through again. We got more Merc men to take out. Okay. Hello there. Hello. Hi. One, two, three. And a few more over here. Hi, hello. What, what, what? Oh, what? Okay, alright. Alright. Interesting, I was not expecting that. Okay. And our call the swim mark has expired. Let's just kill these guys. Cool. Nice. Okay. And there you are. Cool. Hmm. And another. All the souls we can get. Souls we can grab. 
Yeah, I think there was one more over this way. Yeah, there was. Okay. And one with a stop. We can hit you as you're crawling up, so... Okay. That's useful. Uh, Alright, then. Decent amount of souls, actually, from you. Question is... Should switch the power of one to my other hand and try. Lob and stuff at you from a distance. Okay. You don't see me. That's whatever. And, and... Go behind here. Where is my blood stain? I, okay, cool. Thanks. And... Can we... Okay, what if I... Oh, what? What? Okay. Huh? Interesting. I didn't expect that. Thank you. Alright. Any more in a place I can reach? Toss and... Can we... Mmm, you are a pain of reach. What if I- Oh, please, and I- Oh, alright. Okay. We would have to get comically close to make that work. And just get that, get that in. Cool, uh, okay. Dodge it. Can we- Dodge it. Oh, well, we- Oh, wrong, wrong thing. It was the wrong thing. Toss it. Hit end. Oh, we can't- That's just not an option for us. Okay. Huh. Okay, so it was an interesting idea, but... I could try doing something like casting Great Deep Soul on it. And I do have... How many would I need to? It's one, two, four, eight. Hmm... If I want to be funny, I could try using the Isolith staff. See how much I could hit them. I would need one more Trumpet Titanite. I do not care enough. At least right, not right now. Not right now. Okay. Get back on here. Then. Cast our tears again. Okay. Pastor Carthus. And then we continue on. Continue onward. Mm. If I had Lightning Blade or something, just put Lightning on the Spears and fight the Herald Knights that way. They are weakest to Lightning itself, so. The only way to get strictly magic damage of some sort is to use spells of some sort. Okay. Alright, and it's nice that we can just go through them that way. Two, three, then, and then. Hmm. Alright. Go over and dodge, and one, two, three. Then we'll just take them out again. Try to not dodge the angel that time. Thanks. Okay. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Cool. Go down again, and they... I don't think they drop anything, period. I'm pretty sure. To that big old tree. That's the idea, at least. And you, and you, and you are... Hello, oh, oh, hello. Oh. One, two, three, four, and it's you're over that way and okay, cool. One, two. Thank you. Okay. And over here, maybe. Over here. Hi. Right there and wait. Hey. Not show up until you. Okay, we got you over here, that's nice. Here's the summoner. Or the mage, or the wizard, or whatever you want to call him. Oh, they dropped something. Oh, they dropped deep gems, which are quite frankly terrible, especially this late in the game. Because they're dark stuff. They're dark, but they don't scale at all. Which means that at this point, they would probably be completely outclassed. Most likely. Most likely. Okay, and just dodge, dodge. Okay. 
Run again. My. Where did that Merkman come from last time? That's the thing. Okay, well, alright. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, well, you're right there. Okay, cool. And there we go. So what else, who else, and where else? Some of this with... Hmm, I know there's eventually going to be a, an illusory statue of some sort. And, oh, you are interesting. He's just... Lothric Knights of some sort? Three, four, and... Slam the hammers. All right. Hmm. One, two, three. Oh, well, all right. And... Hmm. Can't tell what kind of knights these are. Ah. Oh. Pushing very slowly, but I feel like some kind of weird lock of knight. Maybe. I, all right. Oh, and of course the angels are just going to do that. I'm, oh, my goodness. Okay. Maybe if I just lightning duel. Yeah, okay, cool. That'll finish that. Then we can put this back on. And, uh, it's interesting how I got this banner. One, two, three, four, and slam, two, and, oh, goodness, okay. So what did the other guy draw? Okay, that's the real question, and die. All right, then. Good amount of souls, too. Two Titanite Jones. Okay, baby. That's six. That, so... I guess we'll get more eventually. It would mean, yeah, a priest charm, probably. Then, soul of a crestfallen knight, as one does. Didn't even know knights had crests. I thought that was more of a Roman thing. And. Hmm. Might be a big. Looks like a big puss of man, actually. I think I saw someone suggest that possibility at some point. Hit. And. Where and who is... Oh, well, alright. Thanks. And when they do that, you don't get the souls for killing them. Interesting. Makes sense, though. Whelming head, but illusion ahead. Wait. Wait. Huh? This actually looks like... Part of Lothric Castle. Uh, this is part of Lothric Castle, isn't it? I think. Night Night John. You're getting a good amount of time, Night Men. Thank you, and. Oh, interesting. So, the illusion part of the overwhelming, I presume, is the fact that these enemies aren't exactly difficult. What I wonder is are they going to keep spawning infinitely, or. Maybe. Well, I... There's supposed to be some kind of weapon ahead. Or so I'm told. Okay, this is just... Gonna go on forever, unless I did. Okay. In that case... Hello. Ring ahead. Two, and... You're back there. One, two... Oh, alright. Three, four, five, six. Heal. Heal. So what is... Oh, what? No, no. Oh, please. I, all right. Okay. Come on, come on, and heal. So I should stay away, then. This is... Oh, Murky Longstaff. And then, what's over here? This is... These hmm. Murkmen are just going to keep chasing me, I guess. It's interesting as a way to get souls, I suppose. Oh, what? Okay, cool. What? All right. Okay. So I just need a run through without any. But we did get that murky lawn staff, which is cool. Let's see. Run through without Karen. Chant from the depths, long handed stuff wielded by the murkmen who rise from the depths, slathered with a black murkiness and fit for dark sorceries. Chant from the depths, boosts the strength of dark sorceries more than other equivalent steady chant. Abilities, but the murky log staff eventually, at least when you get to really high levels, is still worse than Isola's staff, even with its chant active. 
Noiseless stuff, I suppose, also has the benefit of being able to cast things that aren't just dark sorceries decently well, so I don't know, who knows. Okay, we got you down. One of them down already, pretty quick, so one, two, three. Let's run to the other one. Take them out. And there you are, there you are, so just, well, oh, alright, two, three, okay, one, two, three, four, got a couple, thank you, and slap, slap, it is interesting that there isn't really a lot of suggestion of what these guys are, but I guess my hunch would be that they're kind of similar to those pilgrims. But instead of being fat, they're skinny. Okay. The pilgrims, but with skinny privilege, I guess. Yeah. Thanks. One, two, three. And then, go over and take you out again. Thanks. And then go that other way, get our blood stain back, and probably just run through. Given that I don't want to die. Okay. I'm gonna drop down there. Cool. Alright. Then you are right there. And there you are. Hello, hello, and one, two, and. So, what allowed. I guess they can all turn into the giant form? Maybe. Not sure. Okay. Go ahead, do your angel thing. I don't really mind. Okay. As long as we keep running, keep on running, and there was another Merkman that showed up somewhere around here. Showed up from behind or something, and I just made that guy show up. Maybe he's on the roof? I just, okay. Huh. I'm a little worried. Don't want to get ambushed from behind. I'm fighting these knights. And it makes the other guy get up too. That's just peachy. That's just peachy. Okay. One, two, three, four. Spin. Okay. Slam. Okay. And. Ah. Uh, didn't use. Merkman does not seem to be coming out here. Two, three. Okay, cool. Thanks. Because that was the Lothric War banner that he's holding. And it. It's kind of similar to the Commander standard from. Ooh. Elden Ring. Gotta be careful here. One, spin. Okay, that is not something we can try to do. But it's interesting that we have these weird Lothric Knights. Lothric Knight Weird Edition. And there we go. Okay. Another Titan Knight Chunk. That's one. And yeah, we need 12 in total to get Priest China. Plus 10, which I think we'll try to do. I think it would be a decent idea. Thanks. Okay. The others, of course, are... Oh, well, all right. Thanks. Okay. Cool. So if someone gets in my way, I guess I'll hit them, but... That might not be strictly necessary. Okay, there's no ladder. I mistook that for a ladder very briefly. So, let's get that and continue on our path and an ember and what are you doing? Summoning more merkmen. And what will be up top over here when we get past all of you? Oh, they're high. Slam and one, two, three, four, five. Oh, alright. Thanks. Okay, okay, and ah, isn't that just great? Okay. Hit and kill. How many are gonna show up then? Were you basically the end there? I can't tell. Oh, what? What? You just summon those straight up? Do they come through the floor? I can't tell. And this is... Ah, great soul drags! So that's... That would basically allow us to do that attack, I believe, but I can't use that now, can I? So now we can kick that ladder, not that that really leads us anywhere useful. 
Or actually, this would allow us to drop down onto there, but aside from that, I can't tell. I know that there is one illusory wall in DS3 that is really, really silly in the sense that it... It's three illusory walls in a row. And are you doing the soul drags or what? It is interesting that they literally have to sacrifice themselves to do great soul drags. Okay. One, two, three, and... Alright. The question is, could I... We eventually stop now that I've killed those guys. I had the impression that once you kill the one at the very end of the passageway, that all the other summoners stop too. It's just a hunch. Just a hunch. Okay, what? Okay, alright, and... Mm -hmm. That's tough. This one crazy encounter is basically finished. Okay. Come on, come on, and hit it! Okay, alright, alright, alright. Huh. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Maybe I would be better off with something like Flame Orb. Okay. And one, two, cool. But it definitely seems a lot more peaceful now. Out of Essence, though, so I should probably put myself in this place and get a quick level up before other crap happens. Thank you. It's that other item I could have gotten from a drop, but we'll be alright, we'll be alright. One, two, three, and I'm not hearing more of these guys show up, so I'm going to presume that that was the end of the story, so to speak. Okay. Okay. Alright. Two ends. Dodge. Thank you. And... Oh, and you died from the... Did you die from the fall damage? Well, whatever. The big thing is we... Also, we have great soul dregs now, which we cannot cast. Let me see. Actually, I, I could use life on side now. That's a fun idea. Soul dregs is... And that's 40. I can't use that. Sweet for ages far within the deep. The highest form of deep soul. Hurt men who rise. Possessed by soul dregs. Great resemblance to the human form. We've got... Ring ahead. I guess it'd be on that drop down ledge. But okay, yeah. You rush to the end. You kill one of the summoners and who summons other summoners who summon other merkman it's like a self-looking ice cream cone okay get down here oh and there was ash to protect me there and oh my okay thanks that was great oh the mm -hmm. that is something Covetous Silver Serpent Ring plus 3. That goes from 10% to 30%, which would be a slightly less than 20% increase. So that was worth it. That was worth it. Okay. Question is, and what is... That fell down. So what will that make possible now? Where can I go that I wasn't able to before? If anywhere... Oh, is that a... Some kind of pilgrim. I feel like there should be another bonfire soon. I really don't know. Okay. Well, I hope there's another bonfire soon. The rest is something else. And Oh, okay, so that's the pilgrim. And is that going to kill the angel? And yep, that angel's gone. We killed its associated pilgrim. Oh, we got two Twinkling Titanite, which does mean if we wanted to, we could. Have I upgraded Mill with Bill yet? I should have. It's finally, finally over. And we did take Mill with Great Bow to plus five, so if we really wanted to, I guess I could try leveling up Isla stuff. It's a concept. It's going to be another plunge down. That over there. Hmm. How am I going to get to that? Let's see. If anywhere at all. This is... Oh, okay, so when that falls down, that was just... Oh, that broke that. That broke that wall entirely. Alright. 
it's not really a shortcut to anything, but... Oh, here's Amnesiac Lap. Hello there. Hi. Oddball ahead. Bonfire? No. Oh. Look at you. You've got your head screwed on correct. Fantastic. To meet a kindred spirit on this god's forsaken crag. This is actually Patches. I, I can't remember my real name, so... Let's just go with that. Sounds kind of similar, but speaks in a different way. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Uh oh. Oh. In all honesty, tell us about treasure, quote unquote. I'm. Oh, well, interesting. Yes. I try to play it off, but I haven't a clue about my past, who I was, or what I lived for. Not even my own blessed name. Mm -hmm. That's why I've come here, searching right. for the purging monument. The Ring City. It's said to be in the Ring Undo City, hallway. where the pygmies who found the dark soul of the Dawn of Fire reside. All I can say is, those little stones uh, aren't doing much to help me hallway. Right. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, that's the long and short of it. So if I completely forget who you are, don't be wroth with me. All right. Come on. What else can I say? I'm a bloody hollow, for heaven's sake. <laughs> All right. Well, it's coming. <laughs> okay, cool. Where could I find another bonfire, though? And that's a drop down, too. There's Lap, and we talked to him, so that should help us do his quest line, I suppose. Eventually, when we get around to it. That over there doesn't lead to anything other than that ring, which we already got. Especially now that we killed that... Uh, killed that... Pilgrim. Take the plunge, well... There might be other things if we go around that way, now that we know there's... Stuff. Hopefully. I guess the big question is... Could I get to another bonfire? Hmm. Oh, come on, come on. I think this would be a level of luck. I'm not sure. I do you have our cold sword fragments? So there's not much to lose by just going back, but even in spite of that, I. Oh, that's. Oh, another Merc Man! I can always count on you. Okay, let's use this. Grab this up, put our shield back up, and. Thanks, okay. Great, great, and dodge, and... Oh, what are you doing? What was that? And, oh, interesting, another... Another... Soul drag. Okay. Cool. Isn't that fun? Confidence in the secret. Who's coming in from where, then? Don't hear anybody. Another Herald Knight, that's... Awful. And oh, but you're right here. And okay, two, three, and then anyone or anything else over here? The question would be, what else could I find? It's confidence and then secret. If I dropped down, what would happen? I would die. No, I wouldn't. Okay. This is just. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Either way, I haven't gotten to anywhere special that I wouldn't have been able to get to otherwise from here, so... Or actually, did I... No, I did. Wait. Okay. Who else is... It's just you for now. Okay, running and sla- Oh, well, I'm... And of course there are Merkmen. Of course there are Merkmen. You've got to be kidding me. Of course it couldn't be that easy. Well, in that case, let's just go home. Real quick, and thank you, thank you, and all right. We'll go back this way now, now that we've unlocked at least a shortcut. Thank you, let's level up, and next we're getting a little bit more attunement, I suppose. That's nice. Okay. We're actually kind of close to being able to get another attunement slot. I believe it's attunement 24. 
Go back to the drag heap, and that's still the only bonfire we've unlocked. Kind of wild. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Allow me to simply cast tears and run through this godforsaken area again. Okay. Alright, more Karthus. Karthus and. Okay. Hmm. I'm going, plunge back down, it's a complicated place. So getting down the heap, all the way to the Demon Prince's tree trunk is the idea. And the big mute guy in that fight, the Twin Princess fight, was the one who killed that Demon Prince originally. So that's some of the foreshadowing, arguably, of the DLC. So you have the Corvian Greatside mentioning a painted world, which is obvious. And the only real mention of the Ring City would be through the drag heap via the Demon Prince. The thing about it, though, is that the Demon Prince was actually originally supposed to be a giant batwing demon enemy boss in Smoldering Lake. We went before with the Fire Crabs and the old Demon King. So it ended up very, very different. So nice. So maybe if we're lucky, I could. That ring will help me get a few more. Uh, a few more levels than I otherwise would. It's all about that. If I want to be really funny, I could also wear symbol of avarice, but that's a bit much, frankly. Okay. Also, switching it around would be intolerable. Thanks, so let's go over there, and before you turn into soul drags, we'll just kill you. Cool. And there's one down here, and smack, and get back here. Thank you, fall down. You've done it. Okay. And, oh, well, ah, oh, stupid, I didn't hit it early enough. Luckily, that attack doesn't do much damage, but I... And, it's honestly really easy for those soul drags to just completely overshoot you, too. Not complaining. Okay. Is there any way to even get up there? I don't think there is. Or if there is, I can't imagine there'd be anything really worth getting. Mm -mm. Go over here and... No, nothing. Nothing down here. That was just where we got plus, plus three stone blade in. Mm -mm. Are they up there? No, they just come through there when you come back after getting the ring. Or I guess when you get a certain distance away. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, we got a couple of funky Lothric knights in front of the broken wall, so. Do that and one, two, three, four. Slam and okay, thanks. Okay, cool. Hmm. You guys actually aren't as bad as the ones that castle proper, and alright, I one, two, three, four, and oh, come on, I, alright. Hmm, and alright, and please, you are, okay. I'm just not being as cautious as I should be, but still, one, two, and what? Huh? Alright. Okay. Yeah, I, going in for two quick free hits when they were spawning in is or buffing was a good idea, but there's always so much I can do. Okay. Okay. Getting to Demon Prince would be a fun idea. Might be above my pay grade with the time. I want to spend left. We'll see what happens. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Down here and take out the Merkman again. Just for fun, really, at this point. Oh, well. Two, three. Back around. Gotta love things that are weak to fire. Okay, and slam. Hit. And go back around for more. Very, very nice damage. Okay, and. Wonder how much. I give it base, because we've got shield of one covered as silver, so it'd be thir th 130 plus 
in percent, so 156 more or less. Round it down. 156% rounded down. Thank you. Oh, and we got more. Okay. Cool. And, uh, goodness. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, and they drop human drags. That's fun. That's right, that's right. I think it's also better to, might be better to farm them from, farm them there as opposed to farming them from, oh. The Deacons in Anorlanto. Very ways you can make them infinitely spawn without having to worry about bonfires or anything. Okay, cool. We're over there, so thanks. Do that and let me go through again and run out of way to strength. It's we're getting good amounts of souls, just Especially now that we've got these rings. I mean, again, it does help that every time we go through, we kill everything, which is a silly way to do things, frankly, but... It's basically the line, frankly, but... You know, deep gem, which I think they draw more commonly than human dregs, I would presume, frankly. You know, that one's a covenant item, and the other is definitely not. And also, deep gems are useless and suck. Okay. Pretty sure, however, that you can't actually you can't drop covenant items for people in other worlds well as in for other players I don't know I might try grinding covenant stuff after I finish the final boss because that is an option pretty good one of that too but dodge and oh my oh ooh, okay hmm Let's just get you over here. Get in close. Come on. And one, two, three, four, and... Oh, cool, you don't have a good dodge or anything. You don't have anything, really. Well, maybe steel protection would be good for you, if anything. And, oh, right, and... Okay, cool. One, two, goodbye. You're simple. And, all right, and... Slam, two... And, right, we... The final hit of that combat was way too slow to keep them locked successfully, but that's why. One, two... Come on, come on, what can I... Oh, please, I... okay, alright. And just another one, there we go, okay. Still took more than I would have liked, but that's like... Damn my chunk, okay, and yeah, we're... Only a couple more for... Please chum eventually, hopefully, leveling up. Something, maybe, using Dark Blade, maybe, I don't know, it depends on how strong the weapon buff is. To compare ARs and, oh, he's left! Okay. But down here will be a secret of some sort, so. Oh, oh my goodness, let's slam on you and, thanks, thanks, alright, and, oh, you just fell, okay. Two, oh, great, great. Did that kill? I think he killed his buddy, too. Alright, then. Let's just poke around a little more, and... Someone's coming. You're a Herald Knight somewhere. There you are! Two, three, four, and... Another one should be coming now, too. Thank you! Two, and... Any more? Doesn't seem like it. Drop down into the ashes. Oh! So that's where you were. Hello there. Okay. Hmm. There's gotta be stuff around here also. Merkman, 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 and Summoners, which I don't like. One, and just, oh please, slam, dodge, 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 oh please, I, all right. I need to find a way to do this then, so. Come on, just kill you, and slam. Dodge and okay. Okay, actually there were a couple more. A couple more summoners, so I alright. And something else over that way. So wait, did they just keep coming or wait what? Slam kill to uh thanks, thanks, I guess. Oh, do they are they time that Valfric Knight or I can't tell for sure. But it's definitely very possible. Getting closer. Okay. One, two, dodge. 
slam, slam. Oh, I, okay. My goodness. I, all right, and one, two, three, four, and all right. Okay. Cool. What? Okay. Thanks, I guess. Okay. Big thing is, is that I can't go for the summoners. Otherwise, that knight will just shank me and I will die. But it's an interesting... It's interesting to know. The big thing is just... It's kind of like the whole... Catacombs Necromancer thing from Dark Souls 1. And definitely not like the Catacomb Skeletons in Dark Souls 3 here. Because when I... The Skeleton Revival in Catacombs was just, they do it once, period, no matter what. Unless you use a Blessed Weapon. But in Dark Souls 1, it was, you know, they just summon enemies again and again until you kill the guy. And this is a lot more like that. But the interesting thing is that sometimes the summoners have their summoners, that there's another load-bearing enemy whose nature is not immediately obvious. There we go, nice plunge there. Let's take these guys out again. Okay. Cool, cool. And... There we go. Nice. One, two. Good! Damage! Okay. Great damage. Alright, and one more. Thanks. Oh, I need... I need healing. Okay. That was a somewhat embarrassing performance, but okay. Go back, Lockwood Knights, more guys of various sorts. You know, the more souls we get, the more levels we get, the more levels we get, the higher the chance of actually being able to use Dark Blade the Demon Prince fight is. Okay. So we slam you again. Go beat up the Merkman Sorcerer. I believe that. Are they summoners or sorcerers or what are they even called? And one, two. And I drop down from... Oh, you actually just spawn in. Wait, what's the problem? I didn't see. Oh, what? So I hit you, but not enough to break the grab? Okay, alright. Dodge the soul drag. Thanks. One, two. Three, four. Thanks. So I didn't see what was the problem. Oh, oh, the other end. Yeah, exactly other enemies, especially when the other enemies are sort of sustaining the darkness and determining whether the other Merkmen spawn back in. They are a cool enemy, for sure, but I may have bit off a little more than I could chew at this one. Maybe. Okay. Keep on going through ends. And use that, so... Go ahead, one, two, three, four, and... Thank you, cool. Are you... Oh, you're healing a little, all right, and dodge it. Thanks. One, two, three, four, and... Okay, nice, nice. I thought that wouldn't work. That was very, very close. Die, die, and... Oh, oh my, okay. Interesting, let me get out of here. I... Okay. We need to recast tears, among other things, so... That was dangerously close to actual death. We need Ash and Estus and Karthus. And then we dodge out the way that slam and one, two, three, four, and hit and oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Huh. Dodge, slam down, hit and oh my goodness. Okay. These guys are just that's what shooters. Two, three, four. Now, okay, now you're dead. And okay, the tight knight chunk. And with our, with our rings, their drops are really nice. We have enough. Sometimes they drop two. Sometimes they drop one. Really good amount of. I could get that priest jump. Priest jump is leveled. Yeah, guys. This isn't grinding. This isn't grinding. I promise. I'm not grinding. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, and there's another one of you guys, and clearly more coming than over here is you, and you're going to turn into soul drags. Thanks, and that didn't hit. Oh, their health bar still shows up there. No, you don't need to. 
I'm not, I would, I'm not deliberately trying to grind, it's just... I kill all the enemies in my way because otherwise, it, frankly, there's a big chance that they just kill me. They sneak up on me from behind. I don't need to grind. That would not be in the spirit of the challenge. Actually, it kind of is because it means they killed me and I had to do things another way. Okay. One, two, dodge. Okay. And... Oh, what? What? Ah. Uh, oh, come on, please. Uh, all right. Come on, come on. Not... I guess. It's one way to think of it, I suppose. So, what if I... Oh, what if I... What? Huh? Wait, what? Huh? Okay. That's on you. I don't like that. And I... Dodge. Slam. What? Oh. Oh. That was embarrassing. I guess the question is, maybe I should actually try... I was gonna say I could try using lightning on them, but that actually wouldn't really work at all because they have their shield up pretty much all the time and has pretty good lightning resist. Actually, eh. or I could try black fire, maybe. I know that they're pretty weak to dark. That's an idea. Hmm. The Merkmen are not weak to dark in the slightest, but if those Lothric Knights are, in fact, Lothric Knights, as they should be, they should be weak to dark. But it's just, they're not just the Lothric Knights, they're Ringed City Lothric Knights, which presumably might be a little different. I don't know. Okay. Slam it. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. It's not expecting to miss the dodge, I mean the plunge. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. They're very, very skeletal, among other things. That's what interests me about them, frankly. That they function a lot like DS1 skeletons, and also are very gaunt. Also, specifically weak to bludgeoning. Just want to see. Ring it City Loth with Knight. An overgrown Lothric Knight. Okay. They are weak to... Oh, they're very weak to lightning. Actually somewhat resistant to fire, but it's still good on them. Interesting. So I guess maybe I could try using lightning on them. Just in the interest of making things work. We'll see. I know there should be... Let me go flag mode. I can just... Hopefully hit them without their shield on. That's the thing. They're shielded. I can't do much to them. The lightning spears aren't exactly going to break their poise. So thank you. And now you come out into being farther that way. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Okay. What I do find interesting is that if anything, they look kind of like. The bluishness granted to deep related abyss stuff in Dark Souls 3 honestly reminds me a good deal of Dainsley and the little bit of abyss power that we saw in year one with him. I really do wander in. You can say say whatever you like. I will not hold it against you. Unless it's just insults or something. Maybe. Hello, hello. Hello. And we can take the other guy down, hopefully. Hi. That, that's not stupid. One, one, two, and... Okay, alright. I, yep, I couldn't go for three. I should have known. And one, two, and... Dodge. One, two, three, four, and now you're dead. Nice. Okay. Stab and slam. Slam and... Oh, I'm out of buff. Okay. Because I need to... Run for it. Very briefly, at least long enough to reapply my bot. And where are you? You're over there. Well, that's that's the idea, you know? You have to be not stupid. Come on, just... 
What are you gonna do? Dodge it. Slam it. Slam and there we are. Finally. More of that garbage. Okay. So I think that when I get down to the lower area again, I need to just toss lightning at that overgrown electric knight. It'll be my best bet. And hopefully I can beat him up. Beat up the Merkman and see what else is there. And now you're soul dragging. Thanks. Okay, and alright. Thanks. Slam on you. Should be a couple more. Round here if we. Thanks, thanks. And we come back this way. Someone spawns in. Kill you and another one drops down. Very similar to the Pontiff Knights, frankly. It's interesting how similar they are in that aspect, when they're not similar in pretty much any other way. So, in that case, let's take this off and equip our lightning-related stuff. Then, because we had Prisoner's Chain and Pontiff's Right Eye, so let's put on Sun's First Born and drop down a hit with a bit of lightning magic, ideally. You're right there, so can we dodge it, hit it, can we, oh, you're kidding me. Come on, come on, and what can we do? Oh, we can worry over here without the Merc Men, which is really good. Thanks, and thanks, all right. Interesting, okay. So we're dealing good damage even through the shield, actually, so this is conceptually, this was a great idea. I don't regret this in the slightest. There you go. Took you out. Hopefully mean. Switch back to what we had on before and then take out the Merc Men, finally. It's just, you gotta be willing to use magic. When the situation calls for magic, you toss magic at him. Take advantage of those sick, sick enemy weaknesses. And I presume that... Oh, I wonder if... The other enemies will even spawn in now. As that overgrown Lothric Knight is just gone, gone. Okay, and just dodge and slam, hit, and... Now how many more are there going to be? Hello, and just... One, okay. Two, and what is this over here? Projected heal, so that's a heal a bit of a distance away from the player, good for multiplayer and not much else, so just let me jump that way. What else is what else can I drop down to? This is I can drop to near certain death. Though frankly, that prospect does not seem all that attractive to me. Okay, so this I think means no more of them. Okay. Cool. Nothing there, but what's down here? Oh, more overgrown Lothric Knights. Nice. So that means more magic. Okay. Switch back to that. At least for now. Then we put on Suns Firstborn and cool, take off our hammers. So I don't actually want to be going down there proper. Let's see if we can... And, oh, come on. Where are you going to go? Uh, keep on patrolling. And what are you fighting? Huh, that was weird. Get up here to our sniper spot and try to... Thank you, and... Huh, this is tough. Alright. Hmm. We can hit, I guess. Get over there. You have to get a good amount of distance away while you're patrolling, and... There we go. It's a slow and painstaking process, but if it means only having to fight one of those Lothric Knights at once, I can't pretend to be complaining. Okay. Come on. I have the high ground. I, I literally do. And, okay, right, that doesn't hit. Come on. Get kind of two hits off per walk cycle, I guess. That's not nothing, but it's not amazing. Thank you. We need to take this other flask, and then 
I'm going now. Should walk over to where the item is. Yep, and this is how we have to take advantage of your motions. Go over there, go back to your little barracks. Thank you, keep on patrolling. Oh, well, we. Oh, goodness, I. Alright, I messed that up. Thanks, thanks, and. Toss. Toss it. Oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, I. Alright, thanks. Oh, my. Mm, no! Oh, okay. Stupid. The annoying thing is just how far forward. How far forward using Lightning Spear moves you. And that was the issue, frankly. Just move me really far forward. I thought I wouldn't fall off the ledge, and then I fell off the ledge, and oh, all that waiting was for nothing. Okay. Let's try this garbage again. Put on Pontiffs again, which is a really, really heavy ring. Might be the heaviest period. Not bad. Let's play mark up. And try that again. I wonder what's, what's going to be at the end of all that. I hope we're going to get a bonfire or something, but it's such a lengthy side path, frankly. You only get that if you go over to meet Lat by going to the... on the Fallen Tower, and if you don't do that, do you... Uh, a lot of moving parts to this. Okay. One, two, three, and... Alright. Then we can... Dodge that. Thank you. Cool. Then we... Can I drop anything, or... No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, oh and slam. Alright, and... Oh, that didn't kill you that time. I guess you weren't in... Weren't in movement frames. Guess that makes sense, but still. Okay. Come on. Please. Thanks, and... Alright. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So we go down. Take more out. Though, frankly, it might have been a good idea to get more. I uh, should ask this for lightning spears, but who knows, really. I... The big thing is just... I haven't found a single other bonfire. That's what's driving me crazy. Just, no matter where I go, I'm constantly overextending myself as a result of that. Hi, hello. How are you? And oh, right, we, cause we had our shield out. Stupid. Okay, whatever. I, all right. And thanks. You, stupid. Hit and dodge. Oh, and that was harder to dodge than I expected. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Another one will fall down, and we'll take you down. Oh, what? Okay. Annoying. Then we got you over here. Thanks. Run in now that we know where the placement is, and then you're over here. Thanks. Okay. I just... Ooh, we got a lot of stuff going on. Got a lot of stuff going on. And... There you are. We should probably re equip our buff. Okay. Then we can do two quick hits to one with the sword and see how it works. One, two. Wait, what? Okay. What? Interesting. That, how did you pancake me? That makes no sense. One, two, and three. One, two. Three, four, and it's a little bit more then. Okay. One more. Move in. Move in. Slam. Nice. That works. That worked quite well. Dodge it. Okay. We have to go for a stab. It. Slam. One, two. Okay. That's all. That's all we can manage with that. Dodge it. Slam. Slam, and. Okay. There we go. Okay. I've gotten much, much better at fighting those guys. So we try this again, we make sure not to fall down, or if we do, we, I don't know, take them out better, I guess. This is... Side path had better have something worth having. 
It never does. It really never does. Okay. One, two, three, and... Got one turning into soul drive, so... Dodge... Oh, well... Interesting, so... I guess dodging to the side is... pretty safe. Compared to other methods of attack. Oh well, oh well. Thanks, thank you. Alright. Then we got another one dropping down. Let's try to not let it get us. Okay, but even without flame arc, it's more than good. Okay, so now we put our magic rings back on. Try our best. Yep, and that refers to Nameless King. Ain't that cool. Okay. Now all we gotta do is take this guy out. Until we... Oh, they're high. Can we... Okay, what? What did I... Okay, whatever. I... Okay, interesting. Can't believe I missed so many. Whatever. I... Okay. Huh? That's really weird. Okay. Alright. Thanks. And... Interesting. So at this distance, you aren't keeping your shield up. Dude. Okay. Another chunk. Switch back to the hammers, take out the Merkaman, and then try sniping. Okay. Have a good amount left still. In terms of... Ash and Estus, so this shouldn't be horrible. And not like that, not like that. Let's play market up, just for the sake of some of the others. Oh, hello there. One, two, and... Thanks. Dodge. Oh my, what? Oh my, what? Excuse me. Okay, so I gotta roll through, kill the summoner, and try to... Mm, eventually you will stop showing up, but it's another summoner who... Sorcerer, I presume, and... Okay, that's what's going on. So I guess they spawn in sequence. I don't particularly like sequence. Hit, hit, and one more, one more. Cool. Switch back to our miracle setup. Try not to fall down. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe I could have gotten rid of Flame Arc, but whatever. Okay. As in, had Lightning Spear on there second, so that I could use Karthus Flame Arc. Is it? Oh, what? There was another? You're kidding. Excuse me. You're not allowed to do that. Thanks. Slam and just kill you real quick. Okay, cool. So where are these guys going? I need to... These patrol routes are a pain, but if I want to kill them, I need to make use of lightning spear and... Alright. Come on, and just toss down there. Okay, we successfully hit. That's good. It's going to be slow and painstaking. The one with the spear we'll take out with just other means. We'll just go down with hammers, but the greatsword one is annoying enough that damaging enough. I can't live a single hit from you, really, but oh my goodness. I Okay, what? 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 And I... Okay, cool. And I need that. And what? Oh my goodness. I All right. I Okay, heal in. It's dot. Oh my! What? 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 And oh, come on! Just heal it. What? Okay, I. What do I do against you? I. Ugh. Stupid. I mean, I guess I could try using a bow or something. But frankly, what I should do is just. Who cares about lightning spear at this point? I just have to go down. Get a big plunging attack. Hit him before the other one shows up and try to burst him down. I am. I am. Because things are getting really tough. Really tough. Okay. Ugh. Hmm. Is our tears and then a flame arc and then we pray. Okay. Alright. Interesting. My goodness. Okay. Hmm. Okay, alright. 
Go through again, kill more Merkmen. And then try to survive. So we can get our blood stain back and uh, get a couple of levels, ideally. I, uh, uh, okay. Please, please. I, all right. Slam it. Hammers, hammers. Another hit. Yep, it. New objective survived. That's from Halo Reach, if I recall correctly, which. I know eventually I want to play through the Halo games with one of my boys or something. It's an idea. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Come on, come on. Please. Okay, cool. Go back through, we find more Merkmen. More Lop more overgrown Lopper Knights, and then we try again to live through that encounter. Yeah, that w it would have been a better idea if we'd had a better sniping position, but there was no way we could reach him really without risking just falling off the ledge if we mess anything up really. So it just was not the great option that I would have liked it to be. Okay, cool. Alright. Then we get you down. Another one shows up again. I'm getting used to this. Okay. I really just want to know- Oh my goodness! Uh, I messed that up. I forgot about you. Okay. And just- Luckily, those soul dregs did not hit me. Okay. Alright. Be nice if those guys dropped their souls when they did that. Yes, I understand why, because otherwise you could actually maybe get here kind of early. No, you couldn't. You'd have to beat Frida still. And then grind in a silly way by making them kill themselves. I did, you know? What a great dude. So how far do I need to... Is that guy just no longer showing up? Okay. That was really, really weird. Okay, die. Thanks. Then we flame mark again and take out part of the night. Okay. Come on, come on. Alright. And slam and one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, that missed me. That actually missed me? Interesting. Getting close. Then we... One, two, and... Oh, you're not gonna thrust. Interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah. The question of whether they decide to continue into the thrust or not makes more difference than I would like it to. And then just dodge, dodge, two, and one, two, three, four, and we're at slam, and okay, now you're dead. Cool. Dodge, and slam, and hit, hit, and out of the way. Dodge, slam, hit, cool, out of the way. Mm -hmm. Stab me. The stab it, dodge. Slam and more hits. Cool. Okay. Oh, and they dropped. Oh, they dropped the Lothar Knight sword and. Oh, they dropped the armor and leggings. Like any old Lothric Knight. Guess that makes some sense, but. And. Yeah, we would be leveling up luck and then. Probably intelligence or faith or maybe. Strength. I don't know. The big thing is that no real difference has been made yet. In terms of the damage we deal. Or we, we could just use Dark Blade by using Priestess Ring. That's also true. Hmm. I'll figure this one out. But if I got to 25 straight, then I could use another ring instead of just having to use Priestess Ring for it. And that would be somewhat convenient. Oh my. Okay. Now you're right over there, so die. Thanks. Oh my goodness. Okay. And if we go behind, we don't have to worry about any chance of it. Big soul drag attack. Okay. There we go, and... Thank you. We go back around the other way, and... Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And another one drops down again, 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 again. Cool. Goodbye. Then we... Switch out to the miracle setup again. And... Hope. Okay. That this works out better. Okay. Gotta go down. We got 
the knight over there, we gotta run over, and now he's activated, so if we just toss these at you and oh my goodness, alright, and what are you doing? You're doing that, so okay, cool. Don't have your shield up, please. I like it when you let me kill you. Okay, cool. See, that wasn't so bad. Get our hammers back on, and okay, no, no, it was up here. There are too many things in my inventory at this point. I need to switch some things out. Point of right eye, and then Carthus Waymark, and then I guess we could do this now. Then we can kill various Merkmen. Then you're over there, so. One, two, three. One more. Summoner. Dodge. One, two, three, four, and. Oh, thanks. Okay. Two, and. Okay, alright. Hit, and. There should be one more, I think. Yep, exactly. One more who shows up when that happens. Alright. So that's this up real quick, and. I guess we could reapply the flame arc. The thing is, we have to drop down and hit that guy, and, okay, let's see if we can drop down, slam you, dodge, dodge, okay, thanks, one, two, three, four, and, okay, interesting, and, dodge, dodge, and we need to get this, and, heal, heal, and, okay, what did I, no, 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 oh, I'm going to die, aren't I, I'm going to die, aren't I, probably, okay, dodge, slam, one, two, and, Okay, cool. And yeah, that wasn't bad at all, really. Okay. I should have done that from the start instead of putting myself in a bad position. Lord Soul of a Weary Warrior, that... Kind of disappointing, really. After all, I went through for this! Okay. Two. And... Just stab it. Slam. Slam again, and go out of the way. Okay. Have mercy! Okay. One, and... Oh, ooh. Dodge it. Slam again, and thank you very much. Okay, so bonfire or something, and then two more levels, I guess. Oh, that's Earth and Geek Down, but from Dark Souls 2. That's right, I forgot about that part. Keep on proceeding through, and Titan Knight Chunk off of you, and what is... Oh, so that was just the way to project it heal. Wait, so is... Wait... Wathric Warbander. I want a weapon, too, so is... Where will this take me? Take the plunge, you won't die. Alright, then. I trust you. Okay, cool. I think this might be... Yep, and we got our way to another bonfire, which means... One, I should level up. It was fun. It peaks right here. It's even got the Beatles, as you see off to the side. The Beatles from Dark Souls 2, Earth and Peak, and also Road of Sacrifices in this one. Let's go back real quick, level up a couple of things, and then... Uh, okay. Mm. A little bit, and get a Demon Princess, I suppose, and try going the other way. So there were other things to grab. Let's see. So look, and then... Uh, honestly, Faith. Do that for now. Cool. So we'll go back, not to Earth and Peak, but to... Drag Heap proper. And go through again, take down that Herald Knight. And then... Quite frankly, what I probably should do is rearrange my rings. It, it's very narrow, but it's mostly a matter of determination. Because I just, I gotta beat DS3 this week, beat Sekiro in the next couple of weeks, and then just blast my way through Demon Souls. And then I'll be ready in time for Elden Ring. That's the big thing. And also, it's more mental torture than physical. But who's counting? Okay. 
What, Elden Ring? Or Sekiro? Or what? Because I would say that... Elden Ring is generally considered to be the best for good reason. It's... There, the scale of it is just... Out of this world. It's crazy that such a game even exists, frankly. Oh, okay, right. That's fair. I guess the question is, what do I do after I get done with all the, all the Souls games, you know? What do I got next? Fair. Big thing is, I don't need to go back the other way. That other way was really the annoying part. Maybe. Though, frankly, I hate those devs and I found them insufferable. As very recently, there was a bit of a fiasco where, at the very last minute, they dropped a bunch of money to last minute change the rules of a speedrunning competition for their game to something they liked more. When it had already been set up and people had already been doing their runs, and they just decided to throw their weight around for god knows what reason. And they thought it would make them look good. That's fair. But it will be a cold day in hell before I play Honkai Star Wars. That... There was a speedrunning competition that some people set up. Pretty big pro... Pretty high profile for the Crab game. And the developers of that game specifically went out and dropped a bunch of money last minute so that they would last minute change the rules of the competition. I'm not playing, I'm not playing Blue Three Maze. Keep this between you and me, but it doesn't interest me in the slightest. Well, it was because... People were using a glitch that they thought skipped, that skipped a lot of the game because... I mean, when you speedrun, the goal is to get through the game as fast as possible. And I guess they thought it would be bad publicity. But it's just... Yeah. Come on. Where are you? Why is that one Merc Man just not showing up? That was really weird. I mean, the big thing about ZZZ is that it's very plain. It's plainly very male oriented. It's. Yeah. One, two, mm -mm. get in close, chase me down, one, two, and thank you, one, two, three, four, and, okay, we need another quick hit, we got in fast enough to dodge, which is good, and there we go, took you out without any damage yet, and oh my goodness, I messed that up, come on, got too cocky, one, two, and, mm -mm. dodge, Slam and... Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know, maybe I could... I have a pretty long backlog. A lot of games I got for free on Epic. I don't know, there are a lot of Metroidvanias, like... There's a remake of Wonder Boy. I mean, a sequel to Wonder Boy, but those are classic Sega system platformers. Kind of retro. Though I don't think you'd hate that. Take the plunge and so who else is gonna be over here? I know there's a Herald Knight somewhere here, but anything over this way or what well, is time for dead end? And I mmm. Alright. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of Merkmen. Okay. Hmm. There's a Herald Knight over there and oh and then the that's when the Herald Knight shows up, you... Okay. Cool. All right. And, okay. Mm. What? 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 Okay. I, interesting. I don't like that. Okay. Cool. Well, I... Mm. All right. What if I did this? And just... Dodge. 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 Oh, they're killing the other ones? That's fine. Okay. So the big thing is we got to switch our rings out. And... Oh, my goodness. I can't find the rings I want to be using. Okay. Cool. 
Dodge. Oh, please. Okay. Instead of this, we... Stone plate. Okay, all right. Then we do that, and cool. Dodge. 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 Okay, cool. All right, then we... I should S this it up and dodge, dodge. Ah, oh, please. I, all right. I wonder if we'll get anything special from killing you. I don't presume I will. And just... Interesting. And just... Hmm. All right. And I got stuck on some terrain. It wasn't horrible, though, so I... Uh, uh. Thanks. And another one. And just... Dodge. Oh, okay. Far away enough, at least, and then we do oh, okay. Heal. I mean, not heal, but replenish a T, and then we can hit and boom! Nice. You know, we could have tried doing the melee thing, but keeping our distance from that guy was a good idea. Okay, so let's. Hammer's back on, switch our rings away, trying to get hit. Then we do that, and then we. Other one, other one, thank you, thank you. Okay. Cool. So what else can I find over here? Would that just lead me to Earth and Peak again? Probably would. Two Titanite Chunks and... One more Titanite Chunk and what happens if we walk in there? Nothing special. Okay. And, oh, there was something else over there. I, that, that's a deep gem. Yeah, it's a deep gem. Whatever. Okay. So, there's something else over here. Wirehead. Three Homeward Bones and... Now this is just more of a way to Earth and Peak. Okay, cool. That's just... Back where we were before. Okay. Mothwork War Banner was cool. Down here, and there's no way back up. Laps over there, so... Look a little bit around Earth and Peak before. Hmm. Or we can talk to this guy first, I guess. Hello. Oh, I know who you are. Great to see you still in one piece. One piece. Oh, one piece. I can see why they call this the Drake Heap of the World. No, me too. Mangled remnants from every age. A little bit of Wathard Castle over there. It actually, sort of lends credence to the old rumors that the the One Piece is real. Rests below it all. Hmm. Ah, uh, don't mind me. You needn't worry yourself with this nonsense. I just wanted to tell someone. Oh, the hag. See, yep, the steel bucket. Stay quiet. Wait. A secret? Yep, he's going to push us down, won't he? By letting you in on this secret of sorts. Past here. The tower, tower half submerged in a poisonous poison swamp. 81. 81. Not a very nice place to visit. Versus treasure in the thick of the swamp. Precious treasure in the thick of the swamp. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any use for it. Whole package so, behind. Sorry, I, I left the whole package behind. Eighty one. If I get the chance, I, I could go fetch it for you. But if that's too long to wait, go and have it for yourself. Interesting. I know who you are. Swear the solemn duty. A righteous warrior. Yes. With a solemn duty to boot. Well, grab that treasure. That's as good a duty as any. Great news. I'm sure, that's Last great year, news. No, if I, I know well. Okay. He is gonna trick us again, as Patch as always does. Go off real quick and. Oh, not enough. Okay, cool. We're close to another level up after all this pain and suffering. Okay. Let's just kill these beetles. Oh, they're high. One, two. Oh, nice. That's really, really good damage on these guys. Okay. Try not to get poisoned. There we go. Bunch of black fireballs. Not that we really have much use for them. Alright. I suppose if a puss of man showed up. I'm not even sure there are any around here, but if one did show up, it'd be good against them. Over here is. Is there anything over there? I don't presume. But what would be over this way if we went over this way? What would happen? What could we grab? Hmm. Either way, I just don't want to slide off and fall to my death. That's the big thing. Get up over here and then. That's a big drop. Over there. 
Mm -hmm. Figure this out. Anyone over somewhere or what was that? An oh, another angel. That's just that's just peachy king. And that would be death. That would be death for me. Clearly. And that. Oh well, never mind. But okay, we should still roll away and. Okay, isn't that fun? Okay. It's like time to get a quick heal. Why are you jealous of me? Because I got to kill a bunch of beetles. That you hate. Come on, come on. Where is... Angel's coming back. We need to use... That too. Get through. What, that? I don't see what that has to do with it. Okay. Keep on running and... Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, wow. That hits like a... Something else. So where is... Pilgrim? Who... Oh, hello. And Thralls? What? Okay. Thanks. And got you, and then you fell to your death. Okay. Night nice chunk. How does it drop Titanite? Desert Pyromancer Garb. I mean that Desert Pyromancer Zoni should theoretically be somewhere around here. Okay. Oh, it couldn't see me, but now it sees me again. Come on. Here is... We don't have to keep going. Over here is... We got cages, we got other stuff. Here. Oh, it was in as a safe spot. As a safe spot. Okay. Oh, but it... Oh, it moves itself over. Well, that's impressive. Didn't think that was really an option for you. Luckily, you aren't hitting me, which is good. Hiding in a safe spot too long. Eventually, do more silliness, if I recall correctly. Oh, oh my goodness. They have a poison swamp in the drag heap. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they actually have a poison swamp here. Okay. Though to be fair, the poison swamp was an urban peak itself, but Harvest Valley. So, who's the saver? Really? Come on, come on, and oh, another thrall. Then we get you, and what's in here? An ember. We went down around this way. What can we find? Hopefully. Come on, and oh, I bet that would lead to. A pilgrim or something. I think, maybe. Unless we... Oh, well, what? Okay, alright. Okay. Okay. Should have known. So there's the poison swab, the tree root, the other drop down. I'm gonna act like that didn't just happen. Okay. Got our tears. We got... Flame mark. Uh, not like that. Not like that. Okay, cool. It is interesting that Karthus costs more than the Flame Orb, but given that we're on, you know, you can get more use out of it, I suppose. I guess it makes sense. It's not I guess it makes sense. It does make sense. Gotta run through, get our Bloodstain. One of the nice things about the Elden Ring is that it shows you the direction of, not your Bloodstain, and Elden Ring gets your drop of runes, but they show you where your stop is, which is nice. Okay. Run in and slam you and hit you again. It's nice how they actually drop a decent number of souls. Okay, and then we got another guy in here, presumably. What? Where are you? Should be another, right? I think I saw one. Well, alright, I will just pretend that didn't happen. But I'm not grinding. I'm just trying and failing to get through an area. And anything over there? No, no, no. Let's see if we can... Oh, my goodness. We got more thralls over this way. So, wait, what? Okay, I... Mm -hmm. want... Okay, please. I... All right, and... Right, you're over this way, so... One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. That's the thing, is that... This is kind of a safe spot, but... Not entirely. Mm -hmm. 
I guess it is. Yeah, if it works, it works. So where is the angel? Oh, this is... Okay. Oh my goodness. I, giant door shield. Alright. Fair. The grinds are grind. If it works, it works. Okay. So there was that route to drop down then, so I... Aww. Okay. So where is the tree root itself? Can we even get down to it from there? Aww. Let me see. I don't think I quite can. And here. And wait. No. No. If I could get in, it would be the other one. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, thank you, Drug Heap. Thank you, Drug Heap. So we got the giant door shield, which... Let me actually show you that. I don't... Yeah, I can't wield it right now, but... Paired great shields. They're kind of like the funny great shields in DS2 that you have to power stance. Effect with meek, field to protect anyone, lock out, start defense, shield bash, or heave. Holds them to block nearly all damage. Because in DS2, there were great shields that were part of a set that very rarely dropped from a couple of knights in an earlier area. I mean, in a later area, in the Undead Crypt. So I never really tried to get them, but... There were one thing to try to get, I guess. Hello there, hi. Get over this way, and... Oh, thank you. Thank you, and... Alright. Cool. In that case, we can get more, and... It seems like, since the angel killed them, we didn't get as many souls as we might have otherwise. I'm not entirely sure. What if we... Is this gonna work as a drop-down? I... Let's see. Can I... No, you can't do that. What does? Boots? What looks like boots? Okay, so that is not going to be an option. Oh, we've died enough times. What is he going to do? Quick timing. Think of the poison spell. Fetch promise. There's some old man. Solemn duty. We died so many times that he... This really mangled Oh, wow. Well, that's... That's brutal. Let me see. Night Slab, DS3, Ring City. Right at the swamp before the third angel, guarded by a herald knight in the left corner. Die three times or miss it and come back to lap. Gift it to you and refine the knight slain. Okay. Well, you know, that makes things easier, but I'm a little humiliated. So the main reason I was dying was that I... Okay. Anything to say? I wonder what he would have said if I had actually killed that thing instead of literally falling off a ledge trying to get on that tree. Whatever. Whatever. Life is about failure and humiliation, I guess. Hello, hello. And... Killed one of them for us. Cool. And... Oh, what? Alright. Get over this way, and... Okay. Please. One, two. Mm, mm. Oh, my... Okay. My goodness. And... What? What? Why are you so evasive? I, okay. Uh -huh. One, two, four, and... Uh, please. I, thanks. Goodbye. And... Aw. Uh -huh. What's interesting about the Thralls, and they actually aren't much smaller than the player, it's just... Uh, they're very hunched over. The real thing is just... The Pilgrim tied to... That one. Not sure where I could find it. Okay. Eh, you know, that's one fewer thing to deal with, I guess. Oh, come on, alright. And, oh, please, uh, alright. Hit hands. One more. Cool. And, oh, of course there's another angel. Oh, 
Oh god. Come on, come on. Fine, and what is- Oh, that's the Toxic Aura, because- From the other angel, because we got the place where it couldn't hit us. Okay. So is this a Poison Swamp or a Toxic Swamp? That's the question. Desert Pyromancer Gloves. Okay. Big thing is, I presume, should be a way to take out its host pilgrim. I assume. Oh, whatever. I... Maybe, which way should I be going for that, then? Okay. Maybe up on this side? Maybe. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, poison. I, okay, and... Oh my goodness, alright. Heal, heal, and... Oh my... Okay. Roll, roll, and dodge, dodge. Oh my goodness, more thralls. Is that what's going on? You've got to be kidding me. Okay. What? Okay. It's just... Where is the pilgrim? That controls that angel. But frankly, I should just... Steel protection. So I presume it would be dealing physical damage. Presumably. Oh, alright. That's my life now. Oh, okay. Well, we didn't. That makes no sense. Because to kill the angel, you have to kill the pilgrim. Otherwise, it just respawns pretty much instantly. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. Good, or any of them could get hit by that. One of them is. Okay. Oh, and he actually flees. Don't worry, I kind of figured. Okay. Let's just run over. Oh, well, that didn't work right. Thank you. Okay. We're over and get our stuff. Thank you, thank you. Oh, my goodness. I, okay, cool. One, two, three, four, and... Oh, my... Oh, all right. Thanks, and dodge, dodge. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Just gotta figure out where to go. Yep, poison, toxic. It is interesting that they deal toxic. It really does imply that they're at least somewhat insectoid in nature. Which makes some sense, but still. Dodge. Mm -hmm. Dodge. Okay, heal. Okay, and just dodge. Okay, alright, and dodge. Dodge. Oh, please. Uh, heal, heal. Dodge, dodge. Okay, please. Uh, bring a favor. Oh, alright, and heal, heal. So you can't hit us here. That's good. We kinda, we kinda ate with this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, just... Where do I go? Where? So the Ring of Favor is also really good. Ring of Favor is another really good option, so... Thanks. Thanks, I guess. Huh. Quite frankly, yeah. Ring of Favor plus three as a replacement for... The Eye, maybe? Actually... Uh, hmm. It's hard to say. It's getting tough. I'll probably hop up somewhat shortly, because we did get pretty far, but... Yeah. Tarquin Ring is not amazing, but the issue is we need... I guess we could get one more attunement for one more attunement slot, and I wouldn't need Dark Moon Ring most of the time in that case. It's it's an idea. It's an idea. I suppose. Who knows, really? Okay. Okay. We do that, but I just that pilgrim is its whereabouts. I'm. Not certain of. And cool. Goodbye, enjoy death. Where was my where's my blood stain? Okay. Thanks. Thanks. And then we can 
Thank you for trying to poison me. That really makes my life better. Dodge it. Oh my goodness. I Thank you. Oh, that, you know, chances of that are pretty high, frankly, so. Dodge it. Thanks, thanks. True the souls, and down here's another item, so. We can dodge it. Get that in. Oh, a Titanite chunk, I guess. That's something. Come on, and. Dodge it, dodge it. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Heal, 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 and. What the. Mm. Poison, of course I'm poisoned. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, let's. Is that his protection? But I just. I need to know where that pilgrim is. I. Dodge it. Uh, please. I dodge. Dodge. Uh, come on. I, mm. This is. Get out through here. Then. It's really just a sort of. Find and kill the pilgrim. And then we can. Oh, you can, you can see me through there? You've got to be kidding me. Find and kill the pilgrim, and then... Oh! Herald Knight right there. Thanks. Okay. And, of course, you're building a toxic on me. Great, great. Well, because it's... Because they're physical. It's actually physical damage. All light, quote-unquote, in Dark Souls is actually pure, purely physical damage. Where do I... Where do I actually go? I guess this is where the Herald Knight would have been? I guess? Okay. Interesting enough. I guess we could kill this guy just so I don't have to go back. Annoying. Finding clutch and... Sun's firstborn and then we just toss lightning at you until we get sick of it. Oh, it is. It definitely is. That's undoubt- it's undoubtable, but... I mean, to be fair, terrain blocks almost all projectiles, regardless of what they are. So it's... Nothing out of the realm of the ordinary. At least for souls. And that's the annoying thing- oh my- okay. Come on, alright. need to run up and take you out, I guess. So what's down there, and- Really, the question is this, where can I actually find... Uh, thanks. Dodge. Thank you for the guillotine. We'll use it on you. Oh, well, or not. Herald Curve Greatsword. Oh, it's just from there. Fun. And then we can just move it. Dodge. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, okay. Thanks. One more, or not. Or one more, but we need more S's for that. Okay, so let's just go down here and kill you. Thanks. Okay. Alright. Use another one. At least it's just a normal poison. Then let's get over there. Tighten that chunk and... Hmm. Alright, so... Frankly... I think I'll just bone back, because I'll actually be able to switch out the rings I'm using now. That would be helpful. Well, not bone back, but cold sword fragment back. It is interesting that they keep giving homeward bones in here, because... Untended Graves is a completely optional area. It's not like Dragon Area in DS2 where you're going to get the aged feather just from progressing through the game. Two minute. Finally, another two minute slot. Cool. Well, Thank you. Well, but what I mean is that I find it interesting that they give you a lot of homeward bones when it's a late game area. And presumably, if you were going for completion, you would probably have Coiled Sword Fragment. But the issue is that Coiled Sword is not by any means a mandatory area. Which is why. Probably. Maybe still protection, definitely. Prisoner's chain, and this is yeah for melee. This is pretty good. For a melee setup. Not maybe instead of left eye, but the nice thing is, even with hammers, we should be able to carry or wear heavier armor now. Yeah, yeah. Gauntlets. Weather gauntlets, sure. 
What do I have on me? I've got... Right, we need to get rid of Karthus. I mean, get rid of Blackfire and put Karthus on instead, and these are... We are not using any rings right now. These are just the slots we have. So pretty much as soon as we got Darkman, Darkman Ring, we just didn't need it anymore. That's life. Okay, cool. Charity of those of little faith. Oh, ye of little faith. So in that case, we can... Put our tears back up, put our flame mark back up, and try to figure out how in God's name we are meant to do this. Okay. Tree's over there, so the Demon Prince would presumably be at the bottom if we found a way to reach it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, but the question is just... How much damage would Dark Boy do to compare it to something like Magical Weapon? Got enough Titan on that we can upgrade things comparably. So, two, three, and alright. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, cool. Alright, and just wear that. Keep going through more of the swamp. Hope we find the angel. We probably won't. There we go, and thank you. Okay. That way is. Nothing I can see at the moment precisely, and then we can... Oh, goodness. I... Okay, well, do not want that toxic on me. It is profoundly strange that of all things, the angels can inflict toxic. Oh, whatever. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Okay, we're... Okay, cool. Well, let's just go the way that ends. We're down here now, which is... Useful. There's a thrall here and also a herald knight. Somewhere. I hear it. I hear him coming! Isn't that great? Okay, so let's clutch and other rings. Let's take that and they're not coming over all that fast, actually, so they're not that one, but Mord's ring, so dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, thanks. Cool. And just hit and okay, alright. Good damage. Okay, and can we Slam it. Big. Big. Okay. Cool. And dodge. Mm. High damage. And just out of the way. Out of the way of you. I, mm. It's just... Places I'm trying to get to are... Well, because... I figured that I could... Try to... Attune stuff while it was coming towards me, switch my rings around, and I was right about that. It was still very risky, but it worked. And there we go, night down. Okay. Good amount of souls, too. Oh, it is. But I won, and that was first try, too. The funny thing about it is that if I hadn't just fallen my death trying to look for other stuff, I wouldn't have had to have Lap's help. It's funny how that happened. In a favor, let me see... Fina, Faithful Beauty, so that was a loud track from DS1, the guy who killed the Firekeeper, actually. What, what, a, what a piece of work, really. Still Protection, and... right, it was Prisoner's Chain. This is our setup for times like that. Okay. Just want to look at Lap's dialogue, then. Oh, goodness. Not, not that, not that. Amnesiac Lap. Check out his dialogue. Then after, if you find the treasure, doesn't seem to say anything special if you do find the treasure. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. We can just put flame mark up again, kill these beetles, and if things are merciful, we might find a pilgrim somewhere. Don't think we will. Then what is... Oh, thanks. I... You can reach me in here? In here? Okay, whatever. Okay. Thanks. Kill more beetles. And... They have really weird... Shells. Honestly, for the longest time, I thought these were mushroom enemies. Soul of a weary warrior and... Oh, toxic there. Thanks. Okay. That was all we got from here, I guess? 
I suppose the tie knot slot might have been off over this way originally. Oh, yep, exactly, because that Herald Knight is now dead. Thank you, Lap. Okay. But it's just... Mm, there's so many other things to look for, and I'm not even precisely sure of the right direction to go in. Huh. Does that... There's no pilgrim for me to beat down real quick to kill you. That's it. I think this might be it. This might be it. Can I go up here? I can go up here. That's good. Dodge. Okay. Seal protection is definitely helping at least a little, that's for sure. So thank you for doing that. Slightly try to poison us and fail. The Titan Eye Chunk and Poison Scales moment, I guess. Okay, so what happens if we go over here? We go up this way and I presume there should be a pilgrim somewhere that we can just obliterate, I hope. Here is Angel Head, time for revenge! Nice. Okay. I have no idea how happy that makes me. And of course the poison daggers. Annoying. I mean, poison greatswords. That's something. Oh, and it's... Oh, Desert Pyromancer Zoe. Hello there. The Guardian of the Lost and Forsaken. And oh, interesting, you're throwing knives or what? And oh, goodness, that didn't hit. Okay. So she drops a special pyromancy called Flame Fan, which is basically equivalent of some of the more weapon-like pyromancies, but for... I mean, weapon-like spells, but for pyromancy, which is... Oh, okay. See? One, two, and slam. True combo. Love that. And I guess we could. Flame Arc, because I think we might be running out of space, maybe. Dodge and dodge and okay. Oh, what? What? Okay, and interesting. Wasn't expecting that. In that case, we should pop tears one more time. Oh, Hajime Mouse sent you. So I can't exactly check your name right now, but thank you for following. I am in the middle of a fight in Ring City, and it's more than a little painful, I'll say. Okay, oh, and I. What? What? Okay, thanks. Take you down before I can get to that angel. What? 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 Oh, what? Okay. Interesting. Uh, interesting. I. Mmm. Thus. Deferencia. Oh, hello. Interesting name you have there. How are you? Okay, so. Gotta put Carthus Flamark back on her stuff. And. Ooh, my goodness. Uh, ooh, my goodness. Let me to. No, it's not a real person. It's an NPC encounter. That's Desert Pyromancer Zoe, who... Oh, you know, go ahead. Fall to your death. That works, too. Wait. That didn't kill her? Well, thank you for following, Vast Deferencia. Big Souls fan. I'm just trying to survive. Clearly, she is coming back up the other way. Some of her set dropped from the area. The big thing is... No, seriously. That was actually ridiculous. I gotta find the angel. Take her out. Literally. So there should be... The pilgrim... Oh my... Wait, where is... So... It says angel ahead time for revenge, but I can't find... I can't find the... The big thing is, if she comes back... I should just focus on... Taking her down. Did she come back? Did she come back? Huh. Where is she? They're trying to poison me, but... No, seriously, where'd she go? If she died, she would drop flame fan, that's a thing. Probably right into my inventory. That's the other thing. So does she even know does she even know how to Sorceress Ozempic say? Ozempic? I'm confused, interested, and more than a more than a little worried. Ozempic in the context of Souls. I... Oh, it was in Dark Souls 3. I am almost finished, actually. This is one of the later game DLC areas. I have done some PvP things, but... I don't think I ever actually vanquished an invader. Because... Oh, playing with equal stats in this one is 
really, really tough. Tougher than other Souls games, I'd say. Specifically because of... Oh my goodness. I, oh, what? How do I... Where do I go? Where do I need to go in order to take the Angel out? I have no idea. I, okay. Storm just 30 minutes. Have you killed Gundyr? That's the real question. So there should be... I imagine there might be an angel back here. Yep, we're down on this way. So where is... So there's angels, all of these human pilgrims anchoring them, and... Presumably there should be... Okay, there's one down here. Just gotta kill him quick. The saint of the people. So if you're talking about being a saint, does that mean you might be running a faith build? That's honestly very, very true, specifically because... We got a few more Twinkling Titanites, so I guess we could try leveling eyes, up eyes with stuff. We really felt like it? Maybe. So is this going to lead us to the other angel, or...? Oh, nice! So, what was your starting class? Are you doing a faith build of some sort? Yeah, that... I'm proud of you, because it took me a lot longer than I like to admit to do that. Because I started as Deprived, because it's the only starting class that has equal stats. And that is the challenge here. Leveling up every stat equally. And you'd better believe it's a challenge. Because especially in Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 3 added the luck stat. Yeah, it... Oh my goodness. Well, I... I must warn you that eventually that snake form becomes... Not a standard enemy, but a mini-boss enemy, so... Oh, nice. Yeah, the healing E is helpful. One thing you might want to consider doing is... Well, it's... Okay. Once you get to Cathedral of the Deep, talk to Gale, Red Hood guy, and go into the painting, and grab a Blessed Gem from behind the tower. Maps will help. Because Blessed Gems give you HP regen that scales based off of faith in a certain way. So that would really, really help your durability. Just, I can't make great use of them because I'm not running a faith build. I'm not really running a build, but it would be probably useful. Guess the question is, was the Angel of the Swamp killed or the other one killed? That's going to make the difference between whether this was really good or just kind of mediocre. Oh, I... The maggot corpses? Yes, maggot corpses are probably the freakiest enemy. But they are incredibly vulnerable to fire. And as a result, they are very, very satisfying to kill. Because as nasty as they are... Fair. So in that case... Do you have anyone who you're trying to do co-op with? Or... Okay, so no more angel. That angel's dead. So the other one, though, I'm not sure where I'm going to be able to find it. You know, there, there is a ring. The true ending involves getting hollowed and getting shriveled up like me. Because unlike in Dark Souls 1, normally you never get all shriveled and undead like this. Unless you do a certain class that gives you hollowing. But if you do that, the NPC involved will eventually... She gives you a ring you can equip, though to be fair, it does mean one ring slot is taken and there aren't really mechanical benefits. Prevents you from looking ugly. Saint Ozempic Marley Bjorn. Interesting. You know, if it works, it works. I guess the question is... There are a number of good face spells. Lightning is really, really strong. If you can get access to it... Oh, that's... That's really, really big. I know one of my friends, not her boyfriend, but she was playing it with a guy she knows, and she did focus on having a nice heal build. What I will say is that if you really want a fun co-op experience, I would recommend... Yeah, yeah! Oh, is, is he a big souls guy? Is he a big souls guy? Yeah, that's the thing. Is that Elden Ring has... I would say easier co-op in a number of ways, but the big thing about it is... There are mods for Elden Ring that allow you to co-op outside of... 
Well, basically an Elden Ring, which I presume he will probably try to get you to play eventually as well. There will... You can come up in big areas and in dungeons, but... Areas are basically gated off at times, based on where you are. But there are mods which are, aren't that hard to install that allow you to co-op anywhere. Ah, interesting. Well, the thing about that is that it would allow you to, among other things, focus on building other stats instead of vitality for armor. But I will say that cleric armor does exist for a reason. Clerics, especially in Souls, actually have kind of a reputation for having armor. And, oh my, what? What? Yeah, armor is good. Also, one spell that I'm using right now, which you would probably really appreciate, it's called Tears of Denial, and it's basically like a Pokemon Focus Sash. It allows you to survive one otherwise fatal hit at 1 HP, which is really, really useful. Okay, and slam the hammers, slam the hammers down. The cost is a little prohibitive at times, but it's very, very worth using. Well, I know, but what I'm saying is that you can make an aesthetic build work if you know what you're doing, so... You know, especially if you're playing with other people, it's best, you know, because I'm playing by myself and entertaining people who enjoy watching me suffer and die. But... It, oh, everything aside from DS2. I will say, as someone I played... Oh my- wow, that's a lot of poise damage from the whip. Interesting. Ah, Filionor! So that would be Shira. So that's actually pretty late game. It comes from this DLC, so I- what? Okay, interesting. So you might want to rush it, or alternately what you could do. You would have to kill her, but if you progress through the DLC, she invades and tries to kill you anyway, so... It's really, you know, no harm, no foul, I guess. Big question is, can I... Okay. I guess I'm gonna be trying to get you from range. Come on, Zoe, die. Die, Zoe, die, Zoe. Please. You are more annoying to fight than I... What? What? Oh, no. I... All right. Please. All right, and... Dodge up... Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Philinor's Catalyst is good... What I will say is that the best way to get it, if you wanted to use it right away, would frankly be to have somebody who has access to the DLC just drop it for you. It's an option. Because you can get through the get to the DLC early if you rush Painted World, but it's not by any means easy. Oh goodness, I Okay. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, well, like I said, there's nothing to lose. There's no shame in killing Shira because she invades you at the end of the DLC area. And, oh my goodness. Girl is crazy. Yeah, but there's a mod that allows you to... I'm dead. There's a mod that allows you to do... It's called Seamless Co-op for Elden Ring. Originally, it... Sorry about what. You don't have to apologize for anything. I'm not trying to criticize your playstyle in the slightest. I'm just saying that... You want to run a pretty faith build, then you know what to do. Well, you might not want to hurt anybody, but Shira wants to hurt you. It's just self-defense. That's what you should say. You know, she she she's gonna be striking first, so get ready. But it's just Zoe is maybe cell swords might be better than. Oh my goodness! Wow. Thralls and- oh my- what? At least the bullet gun isn't poison, but I- oh. Yeah. Because, well, and here's the thing. In order to beat the DLC, you have to kill Filionor. That's why. She's Filionor's knight, which means that once you- Well, very specifically, and- If you've ever heard of a- There is- There's an old classic anime, original video animation known as- Classic Ozempic, known as Angel's Egg, and among other things, features this girl carrying this big egg, well, self-explanatory, and Filionor's whole thing is basically a reference, in the sense that when the egg is destroyed, the world kind of falls apart, and that's more or less what happens when you get to Filionor and interact with her egg. Oh, they really are. 
Now, frankly, the hammers just aren't well suited to them. I should have been using twin blades on them. Ah, oh, whatever. I think, yeah, exactly. If I use twin blades for the Zoe fight, I might do better. Nice, nice. I, I'm a fake fan. The only 81. So, we have a stupid little in-joke, which is that whenever I get to a poison swap, we say 81. Because a guy I know came on and we had been joking around about trying to figure out the best and worst numbers from 1 to 10. And as a bit, he decided to develop a huge vendetta against the number 9. And he compared the number 81 to a poison swamp like in Dark Souls. So he came on, I recited it, and I talked about... Oh goodness. Oh wow, I thought that would have looked better. We've started saying 81 whenever we... Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Then if I recall correctly, the other guy, the other protagonist, comes in, breaks the egg, and everything just kind of falls to pieces. But okay, so we can get Zoe, and that should be alright. Gotta take the thralls down first, hope we don't get two poisons. Come on, dodge, dodge, oh my goodness, okay. Hit, hit, and oh, oh, ooh, 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 I, all right. Come on, come on, oh, please, I, all right. Thanks. Thank you. Well, the entire joke is that apparently the number 81 is like a poison swamp. So apparently, poison swamps are like the number 81. You know, A equals B, therefore B equals A. But that's what I've been led to believe. Oh, come on. It, well, it's just, it's about being too curious. You're unwilling to let nice things rest. Oh, nice, yeah, it, it's, it's a really, really good one. It's also a lot more flexible, I would say. I think, and quite frankly, faith builds in Dark Souls and Elden Ring are really, really good, even better than, even better than in Dark Souls 3. So I would think you would be able to have a lot of fun with that if you want to go for a cleric build, because you'd also be able to output really, really good damage. And additionally, in Dark Souls, in Elden Ring, okay, she's out of Estus, that's good. The buffs, yeah, they're really good. And the DLC, which should be coming out soon, the main reason I'm going through DLC, DS3 right now is because I want to finish all the Souls games with these funny... Yeah, exactly, that's what they're called. But like I was saying... The Steamless Co-op mod would be interesting, and you, honestly, honestly, if any are interested in streaming, I would be more than happy to invite you and your guy to form a group of, I don't know, ideally six, to go through all of Elden Ring and co-op. It'd take, the question is, you know, it'd be a scheduling nightmare, so that might be too much of a commitment for, I, for any of us, but like I said, my dream is, of course... Six people, full playthrough of Elden Ring in co-op, and we all kind of do an RPG class type of thing. So someone would be, like like you were saying, like a cleric. Someone else could be, you know, a strength warrior. Someone else that, yeah, yeah, exactly. It could be a fun idea, but like I said, it'd be a bit of commitment, so I'm not, I wouldn't want to force anyone else to get involved with it against the wall. Big thing is, I, I will say this, in no uncertain words, you're a loyal enough fan that if you were willing to play Elden Ring with us, I would be willing to get you the game if you had a computer that could run it so that you could join in if you were interested. Maybe. Always in our hearts. Just like the number 81. So the question is, will the other angel be over here? And then... Mm -hmm. Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't that be funny? That that would be nice. Come on. Interesting. Pick up the item, Twinkling Titanite ends. Okay, so the other angel's gone. So we have free reign to explore the swamp now. Yeah. Time for revenge, so... What is interesting is that the location of the angels is frankly not all that tied to the location of the other stuff. Huh? So what if we... Okay. This... I'm not sure we can really recover from this. Yeah, wouldn't it be really funny if before I actually made any money off of streaming, I bought something for a fan instead? Conveniently timed, because... What I will say is... Also, no pressure, but there is a small but devoted fan cord that mostly is just a schedule cord. 
So if you have any interest in knowing when I'm going to be going through more of DS3, you could check there. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, you'd be able to help each other out. He would be able to help you. But that would hopefully make things a good deal easier. We'll see. Come on, but... Thank you very much for following and chiming in. It really is a lot of fun when people are active in chat. Though, of course, that's not to say that there's anything wrong with wanting to lurk. So let's simply crush over here and... Come on. So these beetles are actually Dark Souls 2 enemies. Hey, it's no problem at all. Likewise. Okay, so I guess... That Herald Knight saw me all the way... A random loincloth? What the heck? Yeah. It... I will say, though, it is worth the effort. The DLC is also 40 bucks, which a lot of people, myself included, are hoping means it's really, really big. Which, generally, all things considered, it does seem like it'll actually be pretty close to the size of the base game. I appreciate it. So am I. <laughs> yeah, this is... Chat engagement is... Probably the thing I pride myself on most. Well... It's $80 with DLC, $60 for base game. DLC alone is $40, and since I got the game a while ago, I had to pay a bit more for the DLC proper. So the Herald Knight is finally coming over. It took you this long. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I am always happy to make people feel welcome and amused. Let's just keep on going. Take this Herald Knight down and dodge. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. And okay. Dodge. Ooh, interesting. Sucked out of your body. Why? In what way? On to... For end. Plunge it. Oh my. Okay. Dodge, dodge, and... Yeah, the bundle is... Well, there's some bundles. One that gives you a big stature if you want. I don't know. 12 inches of Mesmer or whatever. But there's also just a bundle that allows you to get the DLC for cheaper by way of getting it packaged with the base game. But the bundle is just buying more uh, Legion of Leggings and Titanite Chunk. The bundle is DLC in the game. 60, 60, it's only 60 for base. So if you really wanted, you could try it out first. Play through the main game and then maybe get the rest of it later to play through it more. But then you would end up having to pay more. So it's just sort of... It depends on what you want to risk. So let's put Purple Moss Clump down and... Hello, Beetles. Hello, Beetles. And there we go. Thanks. Oh, and also we can check out Description of Flame Van. Well, hopefully that goes back down. And this was... Zoe's... Should be... Yep, right here. Orange look at the Fan of Flame. Desert Pyromancy's true beauty is that all the Desert Pyromancers, which is not poison, became the unassuming queen of the Feeble Ones. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just... Worry about it later and enjoy DS3 with your with your guy now. They are cute. It's a shame that they're very, very poisonous and that as a result I have to kill them. Also, I probably should have equipped Caressing Tears, but you know, that's life. And is there anything else over here other than... It was nice to kill those angels, I will say. To quote System of a Down, I cry when angels deserve to die. Wake up, grab a brush, and put a little makeup. I I should have mentioned that. I should have mentioned that. Yeah, exactly. That is the biggest one. I did. I really did. You definitely can. And I'm sure you saw, but yeah, it was definitely an incantation because it had the... They were holding a seal instead of a staff. Or at the very least, they weren't holding a staff. It should also be, if you've seen some of the Crucible Knights, a way to use more of their abilities. Yeah, and it's... Well, to be fair, if I recall correctly, Millennia, the sort of secret boss of the main game, or one of the two in general can sort of be the harder secret boss, she doesn't have a gimmick you can use to cheese her like Moe does. She... She has a big butterfly motif. She has butterflies associated with her found all around the world. And I believe, at least during the boss fight, her big signature attack, Scarlet Aeonia, which gives Scarlet Raw, which is a super poison, 
also just makes a bunch of butterflies show up, and a lot of her attacks also have butterfly particle effects. Yeah, yeah, it is. It would have been a sacred seal. Good on you. You, you, you do catch on fast. Okay. So in that case, we went over there and killed that one butterfly. No, no, that that should be the case. A lot of people were talking about that butterfly incantation. Very, very excited for it. I do wonder what it'll do specifically. A lot of people think it might be sleep related. Because sleep is a pretty strong status in Elden Ring. But in the base game, there isn't really a good way to use it outside of... Wait, so how am I going to get back over there? There was one thing in a drop down in another spot. I'm getting all kinds of turned around now. There are weapon greases that you can equip to make weapons inflict sleep, but you cannot actually inflict sleep using spells. There are no sleep spells. Yeah, yeah, she is also generally considered to be the hardest boss in the base game, so prepare yourself, I suppose. Okay, how am I going to get over to that side? I guess we're just going to have to drop down. I hope I live. This is tough. So if it's only one of your top two, what would the other one in your top two be? Maybe a honeybee? That's always a good option. So we can live to that. If we go over there, we can find something, I presume. But how am I going to get over there? Can I... Okay, I can jump over that. What's going to be in here? Okay, one Titanite scale. And then this was where we were from the start. Oh, of course! But Millennia is on an entirely different level to the point that a lot of people say that she's probably one of the hardest bosses in FromSoft history, period. Well, you know, as with all things like this, it's up to user interpretation. Oh, interesting. Are you... Do you do entomology, or are you just a big fan of insects? I... I wish I knew more about bugs, frankly. That's really cool. But I'm going to have to get up there eventually. There was some item, and pres given how long it took, I presume it's going to be something useful. Butterflies and ladybugs. Oh, so interesting. How do you feel about people calling ladybugs lady beetles? Because there are some people who do that. Fair, well. That's more than I knew, so there you go. Because I, what I was taught in elementary school is that butterflies drink nectar. I was told nothing about butterflies being scavengers and decomposers. When, frankly, that is honestly a bit cooler. Well, because ladybugs are a kind of beetle. That's the, that's the reason. People call them lady beetles because they're beetles. Or I might be wrong. It would be really funny if I was entirely wrong. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Put some respect on their name. Yeah. Well, I guess... I think it depends based on the person, because for a lot of people, they hear the bug and it's just... Boot. I mean, it's right. It's true. <laughs> Is that... A lot of people... You know, when they hear bug, it kind of gives sort of a creepy crawly feel, but... I, I think there's something dignified, a bit more dignified about a beetle. There, I think that there are a lot of people, I think, who... Even if they're grossed out by bugs, have... A healthy amount of respect for beetles. You know the profound strength of of the be of the majestic beetle. Okay, so let's go down over here and okay, there was something I didn't pick up. Just another twinkling tide. Not could be good for weapons, but we can use this to draw back down onto where we were before and have mercy. So there's some things over there, and I presume that's going to be the way to. Not Demon Prince, then the next bonfire of some sort. What? What? And... You know, there you go. Finally. Vast Deferencia, you managed to complete Stressing Me Out's life. Are you proud of yourself? That means she can die happy. Probably not die right now, but when she does, she can die happy. Take the plunge, you won't die. So over there is... And that would be down to... Over there. Yeah, yeah, it's... Essentially, the entire idea of the DLC, of the second DLC at least, well, frankly, all of them is, oh, and another bonfire, so... Is this going to be the way to Demon Prince? Either way, we can get one more level up before that, so within the Earthen Peak Ruins and within the Earthen Peak Ruins. That's so silly. 
Okay, I think we might be close to Demon Prince. I never said I never said it would kill her. I just meant that she's satisfied with what she's achieved in life, and what she's achieved is getting to hear someone seriously use the word bougie. Yeah, exactly. She can't die. We've made a pact. She can't die until I finish Elden Ring. That's the big thing. So... Demon Prince is weak to slashing damage and... How close is it? Somewhat to dark and also to magic. So the idea, I suppose, would be... Only if you want to. Hang on as long as you like, frankly. So we should upgrade our Priest Shunt a little. Let's reinforce our Priest Shunt a bit. And then a tight knot chunk. Pretty good spell buff. This should ideally be power. Exactly, exactly. You did a good thing today. So that'll be our best buffing option. I would still have to use a ring in order to actually use Dark Blade. It's it's mostly a joke. It's mostly just... If it motivates her to take care of her life... Oh, Firelink! Yeah, that's the that's the hub area. It's... Other Souls games have... Oh, and a magic circle. Have their own kinds of hub areas. But... Arguably... Oh, and the Demon Prince is right there. I would say that it was probably DS... 3 that started the idea of it being a place you just teleport back to. The thing with... Or at least not geographically connected... Well, Demon Souls, there's the Nexus, which is not geographically connected. Dark Souls 1 or 2, Firelink Shrine, DS1 Firelink Shrine, and DS2 Majula, which is their starting area, are geographically connected. She's good. You can make her embrace darkness, which is actually arguably the better ending of the game. Because so much about the game is the idea that Eventually, you have to let go of your obsessions and let things change, sometimes even disappear, for the sake of the better good. And, well, I do read the wiki a lot. And what's interesting is, that said, I might actually like to use Flash Sweat for this fight. We'll see. Pyroflame and a Chime. Well, you know, it's... You, you, you can get this knowledgeable yourself by reading the wiki. And reading the wiki can be a good way to... Weirdly enough, improve at the games because gives you a lot of information, and this is a little better. A lot of information related to where to find things, what to get. So it's not strictly necessary. Well, she can, but hauling is only relevant if you do the Word of Hollow's quest line. And like I said, if you the way that the hauling questline works, there's a DLC who gives you five free... There's a guy who shows up early on. In your early area, you have to look around. He's in a big group of guys who are mostly dead, but he's still alive, so you always gotta check. You always gotta check. Is that... You talk to him, he moves to the shrine, he can level you up five times, gradually increases your hauling, but after five times, he dies, and then Yuri of Wander, who shows up, and she gives you this untrue dark ring, which allows you to retain human appearance while hollow. Which is about the only thing it does, but it's not meaningless. I am not rebelling against yapping. What gives you that impression? Sunset armor and a bit more fire, which should be good for Demon Prince. The question- oh, but actually I need... Seal protection would be okay, but if I actually want to use... I would need to equip Priestess Ring in order to equip Dark Blade. What about the drama? The drama of everyone dies because, again, well, souls, there's a lot of tragedy in souls, but beyond even that, it's because learning to let go of things is a pretty common theme in the game. The entire deal is that the Age of Fire has been gone on way too long, even in Dark Souls 1, and then 2 and 3 only make it worse. So, and it's not that the Age of Fire itself is bad, it's that it has to be kind of cyclical. It's a cycle of death and rebirth. And that just trying to keep prolong things and have them go on forever leads to things getting rotten. 184, but how much would I get from Dark Blade on this? So you can check my AR, so right now it's 307. Dark Blade gets to 434, but if I use Priest Shine instead, 34 versus 
And the instance of the buff actually stays the same, so Demon Prince is right down here. Before it Oh wait! Crystal Chime is still better? It's really weird. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's you gotta You have to let the world naturally continue onto something strange and new but better. Demon Prince, the boss down here. Gorgeous view, who was killed by the quarter ahead, and it's gonna drop. No, actually, we just have to plunge down. But they're in this tree hollow. The last demons in the world, arguably. Said this guy was also killed by a guy named Malorian. It is a fun one. I might actually chill out here in a bit and dodge. Okay, okay, interesting. All right, I'm right. I forgot to cast my tears. Forgot to cast my tears. Okay, so they're pretty tough. They're pretty tough. But what's interesting is that they are a ritual and slightly modified version of an enemy called the Great Bat. Exactly. And, well, what's interesting is that if you play as a faith caster, you would actually get a lot of use out of dark magic, too. Well, the arena's big. You can stay away from them. It's not unreasonable. Then we can... Well, I can't believe she'd be a liar. Maybe. Oh, but can I... Will this overwrite? Oh, okay. So Flash Sweat and Tears cannot coexist. That is interesting to know. So in that case... Do I even really need anything else? Well, the weakest to Slash Damage. Second weakest to Dark. Have our Tears, have our other stuff, and... Well, in theory, given that the Age of Fire is just something that should end in favor of the Age of Dark, neither is inherently evil and both are dangerous. And frankly, I think there's a lot of glamour to the Dark Miracles, too. It's... It's about... It's, it's a mindset thing. It's a mindset thing. So just dodge. One, two. And, okay, dodge. Oh, well, all right, and, Interesting attack. Okay. One, two, and... Oh, my goodness. All right. Dodge. As in... As in, change your mindset? I suppose. Demon in pain and demon from blood. And I know one of them. The second form has slightly different attacks based on what you do. And... Oh, my goodness. And I, okay, all right. I don't think I can ga like gaslight gatekeep girl boss move out of this one. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. It can work. It's the idea. And, oh my goodness. I, mm, I need to run. I need to run. Then we just get Dark Void back. Hopefully, and how far are you going to go? Okay, Dark Void back. And, oh goodness. Alright. Okay. Oh, we didn't successfully dodge out of the way that night. Was that dark or was that... What was that? Okay. Dodge, dodge. Oh goodness. Okay. Cool. And, okay. Oh, what? Dodge. Dodge. What? What? Oh, please. This is tough. Well, the big thing about duo boss fights is that a lot of trouble comes from not being able to separate the enemies adequately. And if you have two people, you can make it work better. You can have one will focus on one player and the other will focus on the other. So it can be a lot more useful. One, two, three, and... Oh, come on. You know, it's, it's just another way to have fun. It's just another way to have fun. Come on, come on. Let's take these guys out and be more vulnerable now. And I think, maybe, one, do oh, what? all right. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, ooh, please, all right. Running out of Estus. Ugh. You know, I actually have no idea how my sister Boyd sings. She's a pretty big Sims person, but I know very little about her play style. Like, oh, okay, well, this is bad. Two and okay, please, please. And, all right, and dodge. Okay, one, two. And, well, I died. Okay. Okay. The big thing is, is if I'm only going to be using 
It's for buffs. I should probably switch out my Estus. Yeah, I... If you want to enjoy Souls games and ideally get good at them, you gotta learn a bit of humility. You have to be prepared to experience profound humiliation every now and then. Okay. I am simply going to switch out my flasks. Switch out my flasks. Go over to my Estus, and there we go. Well, I, I got pretty close to beating Phase 1, which I'm happy about. Big thing is, we gotta go back and take down those demons. But, I know that one of them, you kill one of them. No, you actually have to, you have to kill both, and then the last one you kill comes back. So if I burst them down, actually, actually, maybe I should. Let me think. How much, I have a stupid amount of Titanite. In that case, what I might want to do is level up heretic staff as well. That said, I think the question would be what would be the AR with Dark Blade versus Great Magic Weapon? 434 versus what if I put Magic Weapon on there? Great Magic Weapon instead. 434 versus 422. So not that much less, and the benefit is I would be able to equip a slightly different ring. Probably Pontify. We need to equip something slightly less heavy then. All the, all the brass armor. What would be close and have good fire resistance, arguably? This is tough. That sounds like a modest proposal to me. Okay, fire, which armor should be good here? So the question is Pontiff Knight set would be. Could I get close to. Not as good fire res, and that's high too. All the leggings and good fire resistance, and I'll be doing a lot of fire. I just look so goofy. Let's fight these guys again. Exactly. You know, you have to you have to use the power of incredible violence. Go down here. You know that that that, that scares me a little. I'll say that much. Let's go down here and... Okay, cool. Going down with our shiny swords, and a lot of duration is gone already because of that, I'm sure. Where's our blood symbol? I don't know where it is. I guess we could count it to losing it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, items are an option too, but it's not as good. As you may expect. And, oh my goodness, I'm dodge, dodge, thank you. Okay, and, alright, what am I gonna do? Now you're... Dodge. Oh my goodness. Okay. One, two. I guess the idea would be... Could I hit the head? Dodge. Oh, okay. Head, head, and... What? Dodge. Come on, come on. Alright, we have more Estus. Focus on one. Focus on one. And... I know a lot of people do get into fashion souls, as it is called. It's pretty classic. Well, it's... He looks very similar to the Batwing Demons, who you haven't gotten to Highwall yet, but when you get to Highwall of Lothric, the- oh my goodness, that hit me? You get to Highwall of Lothric, some Batwing Demons will take you there, and oh, okay, interesting. Huh? Mercy, yeah, no one spared your mercy. I guess that's how that works. Thanks, dodge- oh, please, that- uh, uh, goodness. I feel like, once I only have to fight one of them at once, I, okay, I rolled too late. That was tough, I, Dodge, oh, what? Okay, interesting. This is tough. Dodge, and dodge out of the way. Okay, now you're out of, oh, nice, so we can, visceral, I mean, critical, critical. There we go, okay, cool. Come on, come on, I, all right. So which one of you is, I can't tell which is which. That's annoying. Okay, what if I slash it? Okay. One of the right is the one we want to hit right now. Oh, goodness. Okay, you're replenishing. Okay, oh, goodness. Alright. Come on, come on, and. Ugh. Mushing is in. Oh, I thought you meant mushing is in. Like I'm telling a dog to obey or something. I guess that is also an option. 
Okay. So just one, two, and oh, okay. Please, please. Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I am. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. oh, please. I'm... Dodge. All right. We need to kill you and what can we? One, two, three, and dodge, dodge, dodge. And... Okay, we got one of them down. One of them down. And all right. Tears pop. That's not good. And I. All right. That is true. No, what you're... Not corrupt, just vengeful. The people you're killing will deserve to die. That's it. One demon down. It's exciting. Okay. So if we stay behind you, I think that should work much better. So now we need... Great magic weapon up again, and just dodge. Okay, and... Oh, please dodge. Oh, come on. One... Oh, no, not like that. Dodge. Okay, please. What are you doing? Exactly, because that's most of them, frankly. Dodge. Okay, thanks. And one, two, three, and dodge. Okay. Staying below you is actually really, really good. And another quick hit. And, okay. Out of my way. And there you go. Okay, Demon Prince time. Exactly, exactly. It's precisely how you need to think. That one's going to become the Demon Prince now. So how big is that explosion going to be? I... because I presume it's going to explode. Yeah, okay, cool. Thanks, and just... One, two, and... Okay, just... Out of my way, and... Alright, thanks, thanks. Oh, goodness. Big fireball. Don't like that, and... Just dodge... Oh, what? That was one heck of an attack. Yeah, this is phase two. Oh, okay. One, two, and... I guess the question is, how do I want to... Uh, if I hit the head, I can deal a lot more damage. And dodge! Okay, thank you. One, two, three, four, and five. I know that if I stance break you, I can... Oh, okay. Stance break you, I can go for a critical, and that should be good. But dodge... Oh, thanks. What? What? Okay. Interesting. No! No, no, no. What? Grab attack? Oh. Alright. I'm gonna do this a couple more times, but I think this would be a good thing to do first time tomorrow. First thing tomorrow. The big thing is on Wednesday, tomorrow, and on Saturday. Those are the times I want to... The big thing is that I had the DPS. I had the DPS for the fight. I just... And also, I don't need to equip the shield until... Big thing is that the, the shield I've got in my left hand, which I occasionally cycle through, gives me 20% more souls. Almost. Almost. I'm almost done. Like I said, if you have any interest, I do post schedules on Twitter, Discord. Also, just on Twitch. I do put schedule details on Twitch. Yeah, I try to stay pretty consistent, but sometimes other people take too long in the bathroom. Okay. So which one is... Dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks, just hit it. Oh my, okay. Ugh, oh, please. Dodge. One, two, three, and four, and... Okay, come on. Let's just do that. One, two, three, four, and... Okay, all right, all right. No! Wait, did someone... I don't think some... No, nobody took critical level. Thank you very much. Well, I appreciate everyone who comes in and joins... Joins the club. So, rest assured that you and anyone else you decide to bring are more than welcome. Okay. Ooh, I'm... What? All right, I'm... All right. Bad, bad, bad. Thank you very much. Yeah, exactly. Very... Very cleric of you. And... Oh, interesting. I, uh, so, which one is the one that's got more stuff in you right now? And I... Dodge, dodge, all right, and, okay. One, 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 two, oh, no, it's the other. Okay. Dodge, oh, please. So, Demon in Pain is the one that, oh, please, I... You know, they've got wings. Maybe they move like angry birds. Yes, one, two, and three. Okay, interesting. One, two, so I can kind of use one to... 
keep the other away, but it, never mind. It's... I don't know. The state of the American economy or something. Everyone's gotta have their, have their grift. Well, it's not even always just bots. Sometimes it's just scammers. At least, they, at least they simply have some ability to tell what I'm saying. But the big thing is just... Oh. I lied to them shamelessly. They're gonna try to divest me of my hard, hoarded money. I have no problem with just saying that I'll buy something from them when I won't. Yeah, it, it's silly. It's really silly. Yeah, like VJAN. That's where I'm looking. If you want to advertise our... And the big thing is always, if you look at their accounts, what they have always looks like, either looks like crap, or is outright stolen. Sometimes it's even both. And, okay, cool. One, two, three, and, come on, just one, dodge, do oh, okay. Yeah. I have my defender. Oh, please. Yeah, it, it's very plainly scam stuff. It, honest, it's honestly kind of sad how little they seem to be trying most of the time. Okay, and, okay, you're over there. Demon in pain, demon from below, and, oh, there we go. Cool, that's critical. Melissa666, oh, goodness. Evil Melissa from hell? Dodge, one, two, and die, and thanks. So now we got that. Time for a bit of Estus, and then... More great magic weapon. Okay, cool. Yeah. All you gotta do is laugh at him. Dodge. One. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay, I was not expecting that. Three ends. Can't continue the combo too long, but... The nice thing is that they don't have any attacks that go behind them. Which is very, very useful. Dodge. Mm, also, that's... You can dodge pretty early for that. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. Literally. Quite frankly, maybe she could go back. One, two, three, and there we go. There we go. Okay. Cool. So we got him down. If we're lucky, we might be able to make this work. If this doesn't work, I might just chill. We'll see. You want to see someone get annihilated, but instead you're watching a different kind of annihilation. And just... Thank you, thank you. Okay, cool. Alright, and you are moving around way too much. One, two, three, and... Okay, dodge. Okay, alright. Now this is not bad. Not nearly as bad. That do oh, well, alright. Never mind. Okay, just... And, oh, interesting. So you can just push me back, and... Okay, at least this fire isn't doing... Damage and dodge, and dodge. And oh goodness, I dodge. And oh goodness, I need to get behind you somehow, and then you're gonna do a big, big one. And oh, interesting. Okay, I was not expecting that. And okay, cool. And just dodge. Okay, cool. One, two, and oh, all right. Thanks. Dodge. And mm -hmm. Stay behind you somehow. And then let's dodge. And one, two, three. Four and just out of the way of that, hopefully. And thank you for the laser. And there we go. Cool. Now we just this roll you. I'm trying. I'm trying. Then let's do this. Silver thing up. That's good. And presumably we can actually. Do oh, what? All right. Big, big, big damage. Okay, we can get out of the way of that, which is nice. And dodge. One, two, and dodge. Dodge. Oh, come on, come on. That, okay, that didn't hit me. That's good. Just, oh, please. I, all right. Use our S's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty wisely. And just, come on in. Okay, cool. One, two, and dodge. Oh, please. I, what? Okay. Save me, save me. Save me, and I, uh, and only a few more hits on Demon Prince. Only a few more hits on Demon Prince. Getting close. And it's out of the way of the laser, out of the way of the laser. The way the laser ends. What? Dodge and okay. You're gonna go you're gonna go big now. You're gonna give her a big hit. And so close. So close, okay. So just slash 
Okay, and just dodge. Okay. Wait, did we dodge that? We did. One, two, dodge. Oh, please. Uh, all right. And, okay. Heal, heal, and just dodge. Oh, my. Oh. Okay. Last the boss. Last boss of the drag heat. Last thing for the drag heat period. And oh my goodness, I. Accept your fate. Accept your fate and dodge, dodge. Oh my. What? What? Okay. Heal, heal. We need healing. We need healing now, badly. Dodge, dodge. Okay. Now you're over there and run in. One less it. One less it. Die, die. Oh, that was so satisfying. Goodbye, Demon Prince. Okay. Oh. Took me down to my very last Estus. Have mercy. Okay. So there's a little bonfire over there and... I suppose, and there's an item in here. That was insane. A small envoy banner, which would take me to Ring City, I believe. But before that happens... Yeah, exactly. Demon Prince is back in hell with every single art scammer on Twitch. Absolutely insane. So... The level of humor has simply been elevated. So I will... I can level up a couple of times. We'll be chilling. The magic weapon was good. Let's level up a few times. Maybe. You know, I've always wondered what Dark Souls bosses would be like as Twitch streamers. I, I think we're all sort of contributing. We're contributing. We're collectively contributing to the level of drama here. I think that's just the way I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna use one of those Crestfallen Night Souls, and that'll give me just enough for one more level, and. Really, though. She should pay us commission. Cooperative. Let's get our strength and... A little bit more. Reducing our damage a little, so... We will be able to get to... Get pretty close to 25, I think. Should be able to use lightning. Maybe. That said, I'd probably be better off just using a different ring instead of... One point on Soul Center, but yeah, that's... We got a good amount done, and... First, thing, first order of business next time is going to be just to step into the Ring City. Thank you, everybody. This was lots of fun. Okay. Thank you so much. Sayonara.